When I get back from the store, y'all's rooms better be cleaned and I want them dishes out of my sink. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Mama, I washed dishes last time. I don't recall inquiring on the last time you've washed dishes. Yes, ma'am. Kyrie, you out of hearing or did you hear what I just said? I hear very well and your other two sons responded, which means you've been heard. You got a smart ass mouth and I know you got it from your damn daddy's side because you ain't get it from mine's. Why can't you be more like your brothers? Okay, it's time to snitch. Let's start with Brian. Where were you last night? I saw you sneaking in from the back door at 4 a.m. What? Wow. Oh, I was just hoping Mama's pride and joy and Miracle Baby was going to open his mouth. You want to talk to Mama about why Planned Parenthood called here the other day? Said that you and some girl named Brianna missed your appointment? Wait, Mama, there's more. I didn't mention how one of them caught genital warts and your credit was ran for them to finance some Adidas. To her ass, I wasn't calling her back. <laughs> Stop talking. Wrong child. That's not mine. I mean, I don't know what that is. Bingo. All right, you got option A or option B. Choose one. Mama, let me explain. You want me to choose? We were just hanging out. All right, I guess I'll go with my personal favorite. Mama, please listen. You know what I like about this one? It leaves a mark. So if you decide to do some stupid shit again, it will start to sting and you'll remember how it got there. See this one, this one don't do too much damage. He'll be right back at it tomorrow. Mama, I'm telling the truth. Did you use a condom? Yes, I did. But y'all were just hanging out. <laughs> I'd like to know which one of you sneaky fucks drank my cranberry juice. Am I talking to myself or do I have to start swinging? Now, you know I would not touch your shit, Savon. Kyrie? What? Did you drink my cranberry juice? I didn't, but I want to know what was going to happen if I did. The fuck did you? Yes or no, you fucking psycho? If I say yes, what's going to happen? You're going to get your ass beat. That's what's going to happen. Can you say it again for the people in the back? Kyrie, I'm going to beat your ass if you touch my shit. Savon, I know you ain't out here threatening my baby. Mama, he drank my cranberry juice. I drank it. Come beat my ass. Come here. Do what you said you was going to do to my baby. All right, Mama. Yeah, okay. Kyrie, why did I receive a phone call from your teacher earlier? I don't know. She said she told you to stop talking while she was teaching and you told her to shut her fat neck having ass up and to go eat a fucking Snickers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mama, he gives Miss Platypus problems all the time. You'll regret that. Brian, did I ask you for any extra information? Kyrie, you better start talking or I'm going to get in that ass. Mama, there was no reason for me to say what I said. I am so sorry. There's nothing I can say to justify me disrespecting that lady. As punishment, I give you my phone and I won't be playing my game for a week. Don't let it happen again. It won't. Hell no, nah, mama. Hell no. Nah. Beat his ass. Who the fuck are y'all talking to like that? Mama, give me a second. I'm still trying to process this. All right, so solve this mystery. I asked to come home to no dishes in my sink, and there are three of you, so I just knew someone would comply. But I come home, and there are dishes in my sink. The question is, why? Go. Mama, it's simple. It wasn't me or Brian's turn. It was Savon's. Who came up with this turn shit? It wasn't a part of my terms and conditions. Well, Mama, I thought it'd be fair because there's three of us. But Mama, no problem. I washed them now because we're trying to go to the mall this weekend. Okay, solve this riddle and you can go to the mall this weekend. There are three boys and one sink full of dishes. Out of all three, which one spotted the dishes? We all saw them, Mama. It was just Savon's turn. So you knew what might happen if I saw them and still didn't take initiative regardless of whose turn it was. All three of you are grounded. Get the fuck out of my kitchen. Mama, before you say anything, that's not mine's or Savon's. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I asked anyone a question. 
You didn't, but please stop talking. I'm very upset at the moment. I do not wish to get physical just yet. I'm just going to ask, whose is this? It's not ours, mama. So then it's mine's. I wish it was, because I can't get shit with y'all's asses here. Somebody better tell me why Trojan's ass is in my house, and I mean now. Mama, it's not ours. Okay, Kyrie. Oh, shit. Yes, ma'am. Do you know who this belongs to? I do, actually. It's mine's. I brought it home from school and put it on a banana for educational purposes. Damn it. I really wanted to fuck y'all up. Next time, though. How much did that just cost us? Everything. Okay, so today I am a human lie detector test and be advised as your mother, I will know when there is deception. Brian, you're first. What were you doing last night? I was on my game. Deception detected. Kyrie, what were you doing last night? Minding my business. Inconclusive. Try again. Watching Moesha on Netflix. No deception detected. Brian, let's give it another go. Mama, I was on my game. Deception detected. It's okay. Breathe. We'll try again in a moment. Savon, what were you doing last night? I was on the phone with a girl. Deception. I was with a girl last night. No deception detected. We will discuss that matter at a later date. Brian, I was on my game, mama. Deception. If you were on your game, which I confiscated last week, that means you went in my room to retrieve it. I wrecked your car, mama. You don't get tired of me fucking you up. You know what? I'm not even going to touch you. I'm taking everything out of your room. No phone, no TV, just white walls and silence. Do you understand? Do you fucking understand? Yes, ma'am. Fuck out of my kitchen. Mama, are you approachable? Go ahead. As you know, I'll be turning 18 next week and there will be some changes in this house. My curfew is no longer 10 p.m. It's 2 a.m. I will no longer be responsible for your other two sons when you're not here. I am grown and responsible for myself. I will no longer ask you to go places. I will just be telling you. If you have an issue with me, you can no longer put your hands on me because it then will be considered assault. Is that all? Yep. Well, then I too will be making some changes. Since you will be an adult, you are now responsible for getting yourself to and from school. I don't give rise to adults. Also, I cook for children, not adults. You'll need to get a job. I'll need rent money and light bill money. As for your curfew, you will not be able to gain access to my home after 10 p.m. Me and my children will be sleeping. Where you went is where you will stay. As for me putting my hands on you, as an adult, I will now throw hands with you. And because I am a petty mother, I'll call the cops after and tell them a grown-ass man just put his hands on me. Sounds good? We have a deal? Mama, I'm depressed. You said you're depressed? Yeah. Are you going to ask me why? Humor me, Brian. I don't really have that many friends at school. I can't talk to Savon when he's with his friends, so I end up sitting by myself. I'm not in any sports, so the girls there don't even look at me. That's why you're depressed? Let me get this straight. You're an 11th grader who makes straight A's, has a four-year scholarship waiting, you're wearing clean clothes, you live in a clean house, and you're well taken care of with a bright future ahead of you. And you in my kitchen talking to me about these little bitches at school not looking at you because you don't play sports? I'm 100% sure these are some hoes with no morals or aspirations in life. As for you not having that many friends, you write about the wrong shit. Let me tell you what you need to be worried about. Me seeing you start to lose focus and fuck up your grades because of this little bitch-ass crisis you having. I'm going to become your new depression. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen talking to me about you depressed. Boy, if you don't go sit down and study for that test you're about to take tomorrow, and I want nothing more but an A on that, or there's something else you're going to be depressed about. Mrs. Jackson, thank you for taking the time to meet for this parent-teacher conference. I feel it is long overdue. I'll get right to it. Kyrie interrupts my class. He talks about my hairline when confronted. I've had to send him to the office only for him to come right back with the same attitude. He is very dis- Talk. Interrupts your class. Me asking for a pencil? Talking about your hairline? Don't recall doing that. Coming back from the office with the same attitude? Yes, because you just interrupted my education by sending me to the office for asking for a pencil. Kyrie, you're lying and dis- Address me, not my child. All right, let's address his lies and disrespect. What is your action plan on correcting his behavior? Mr. Rushcock, all I'm getting from this meeting is you've been harassing my son because he asked for a pencil. He takes eight classes and you're the only teacher complaining. Where are the other seven teachers? They feel it's a waste of time and I'm starting to understand why. Mama, he also makes me stand up in class because he thinks I'm falling asleep. This conversation is now graduated to a meeting with the principal. I guess y'all want to act brand new because y'all got a bigger house than the rest of us. Y'all still ain't shit. You talking awfully a lot of shit from my brand new installed carpet. As a matter of fact, take your shoes from Payless off, please. Fuck you in this carpet. 
Y'all so fucking uppity. I told my mama not to bring me over here. We told our mama not to let her. Last time you were over here, we accumulated some roaches. Brian, I will fuck you up. Hmm, that has to be the virgin and you talking. We both know your bitch ass couldn't fuck shit. Your mama's a bitch. <clears throat> Call my mama another bitch. Call her another bitch. Uh, Tamika, what's going on? Mama, it was tragic. His face fell into Kyrie's fist. No, that's not what happened. You're right. I forgot to mention you wanted to play truth or dare and dared us to pull our pants down. No, Aunt Tamika, that's not what happened. Evan, I don't know what y'all do at Charles' house, but I don't play that shit here. Aunt Tamika, that's not true. Leave this door open, Brian. Where I want you on seventh period today. I skipped class to go off campus with my friends. Interesting. You have three options. Choose one. Hand over your keys. Next. Why'd you miss fourth period? My mom was in the bathroom. I ate a chimichanga and it didn't sit right with my stomach. Choose your options. Mama, they're all the same options. Oh, yep, they are. Which means you must be lying. So as you know, your brother has decided to conjure up a child. No, mama. No. I knew it. I knew out of all of us, he was going to be the first one. Mama, please tell me you whooped his ass. Oh, y'all know I handled it. Okay, good, mama. And you ain't ever got to worry about me and Brian doing something like that. For real, mama. We ain't, we ain't stupid like that. That's good to hear. So I guess we can go back to our rooms? No. As you both know, I like tying up loose ends. I'm having a hard time believing that the both of you knew nothing about this. But mama, we didn't. The next lie will result in me fucking both of y'all up. Brian knew, mama. Really, Kyrie? How did you know he knew, Kyrie? So Brian, I guess me being in the shower was the perfect opportunity for you to come and try and start an argument with me because you know I couldn't defend myself. But I'm out now, so what's up? I asked you to turn your speaker down because it was loud as fuck. Hey Brian, I need your tone and your body language to match that energy you had 15 minutes ago when I was in the shower because you were mad aggressive. If you let me finish, you missed opportunity for adoption. I asked you to turn your speaker down. You refused, end of discussion. Hey, what did you say you was gonna do when I said I wasn't turning it down, Brian? You said you was gonna beat my ass when I got out, right? I'm out, so what's up? I'm hearing a lot of talking and not enough swinging. Oh, yes, sir. Stop all that slap boxing. Mama, what the fuck? Mama! I have a collect call from Brian Jackson. To accept the call, please press one. Mama? Mom? Where are you calling me from, Brian? Mama, I was with some friends after school, and the guy who was driving us, he... Well, Mama, I didn't know the car was stolen. I'll repeat the question since you are hard of hearing. Where are you calling me from? Jail, Mama. I'm sorry. Jail? That's weird. You tell me you were staying after school for some tutoring classes. Mama, please. They said I can go home because my story checked out. So I'm innocent, but they need a parent to come get me. Are you sure you want to come home tonight? Yes. Okay. So let me tell you what's going to happen when you come home. I'm going to beat your ass until you have no ass left. And then I'm going to ground you until there is no ground left. Or you can stay there and call me tomorrow during business hours. I'll stay here. Awesome. Have a good night. Okay, so mama, I cleaned my room. I cleaned my bathroom. I cleaned the guest bathroom. I did all my homework. I washed dishes. And I folded all my clothes. I already cut the grass and the neighbor's grass. Yeah. What do you want to go to the movies with my friend? There's a dish in my sink. Okay, so when I'm done, can I go? Where did you put the lawnmower? In the garage? You are not about to have my garage smelling like gasoline. Go put it in the shed. Mama, we don't have a shed. 
Go make me one. Oh my God. And then you can come back and wash this coffee cup. And that spoon. Today is a new day. I'm not sure what y'all were used to before, but get unused to it. Y'all are out of control having babies, catching STDs, having a smart ass fucking mouth. It stops today. And as long as I'm here, there will be order in this fucking house. Do I make myself clear? Kyrie, activate code 86. Did you just try to grab me, Greg? Did you just tell me to bend over, Greg? I don't want to bend over, Greg. Greg. Let go of me. my brother. Let go, Greg. Greg, let go. <laughs> <laughs> Did we make ourselves clear? <laughs> is there a reason all three of you are in my kitchen right now? Well, Mama, Christmas is approaching and you haven't really asked us what we wanted for Christmas yet. I don't know what type of mother y'all think I am, but I'm never asking to spend some money. But I am traditional, so what do you want? Well, all three of us want our own PS5. Three PS5s for my obedient sons. Savon, you ain't getting shit but some Pampers and some formula. Kyrie. Yes, mama. You ain't getting shit. Brian will be the only one getting a PS5. If I'm not getting no PS5, ain't nobody getting no PS5. Brian, tell mama how you opened up a credit card in her name. Jesus. I love when y'all snitch on each other. It saves me a lot of money. Brian, go bring me that credit card and my belt. So Brian, where's Kyrie? He's sleeping. How long y'all mama leaving y'all over here? Until she gets off from work. Where's Savon's baby? Y'all don't wanna go play outside or something? We have a park up the street. Fuck all that. I'm trying to catch a fade with Kyrie since he thinks he's the biggest and baddest in his family. We'll see about that. <laughs> Dylan, if I were you, I would stop. I cannot help you if you get yourself in a situation. Oh, you won't need to do nothing. I got that. Man, please. I ain't scared of Kyrie. I'll beat his ass. I want to see that. I want to see that. I was just... Shut your bitch ass up, Dylan. Get up. Get up, Dylan. Get up. Kyrie, you're not going to touch my- Try and stop me, bitch. Try and stop me. Mama, we need to talk to you about your new boyfriend. Excuse me? You let this man live here rent-free and you let him eat up all our food. Oh, and what do y'all do? He's a grown-ass man, Mama. Savon, you are now 18 with a child of your own, still living in my house rent-free and unemployed. Mama, he stays on his game all day. What grown-ass man at the age of 40 is playing Fortnite with 12-year-olds? Why are y'all in my business? Well, let's talk about your business. Your business likes to shit in our bathroom and leave his booty residue on our toilet seat. Listen, this is my house, okay? And if I wanna bring a man up in my house, I can do that. Y'all's asses don't pay shit here. I have lost count of the little period smelling bitches y'all that snuck in my house. I'm not asking y'all to make them bitches pay rent. Start paying some bills and then we can have a conversation about who the fuck I bring in my house. Help me understand how my son gets arrested for assault. Tamika, I told you you're too soft on the boy. Greg, shut Greg. your ass up. You don't Stop. fucking speak. Kyrie. You don't talk. Cut it Mama. out. You need to train him to only speak when he is talking to. Okay, enough. Kyrie, why were you fighting at school? And it better be a good reason. Greg, I got this. He don't love his life. Stop. Greg, you don't love your life? Kyrie, start talking. Well, first of all, Mama... Timmy Turner's fat ass thought it was okay to try and bully me because I had my do-rag on in class. So I picked up my desk and threw it at him. And now he is in a hospital and my son has a pending assault charge. You need to apologize to him and his mother and maybe she'll consider dropping the charges. His mother should be arrested for child abuse. She clearly is stuffing his fat ass 10 meals a day. Go to your room. Kyrie, what did I tell you about going to my room and touching my charger without asking? You told me to start asking you first. But I'm not doing that because you weren't using it. So I just helped myself. Um, I don't like your tone right now. I don't give a fuck about what you don't like. The next time you go in my room and get my charger without asking, it's going to be an issue. I mean, it could be an issue right now if you want. Boy, you don't want none of these problems right now. Stay the fuck out of my room because we both know I will fade your ass and all you're going to do is go cry to mama. 
I'm not going to stay out of your room. And these problems you say I don't want, I want all of them right now. You ready, ho? Come here. Stop, sweet bitch. Stop, sweet bitch. Stop, bitch. You hit like a bitch, nigga. You hit like a bitch, nigga. Move, 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 move. Oh, no. Go ahead and finish, because y'all both going to have to fight me next. Mama, this is Miss Vanessa. And Miss Vanessa, this is my mother, Tamika. Savan, I didn't ask you to introduce us. I asked you why is she in my house. <laughs> I'm Versace's mom, the girl that your son impregnated. And the only reason why I'm here is to find out what type of grown-ass woman threatens a 17-year-old girl. My sons, they sneak a lot of whores in my home. They all get threatened. My daughter is no whore. She is the mother of your grandchild. And I'd like to know why you haven't bothered to meet your grandchild yet. Your daughter's name is Versace and she named the child Louis Vuitton. I'm still waiting for a DNA test on the handbag. Tamika, you are one sorry excuse for a mother. You are not gonna threaten my daughter and think I'm not gonna say anything about it, okay? Bitch, I'm you not got one more time to disrespect me and I'm a mop. No, you're not gonna ass, get okay? mocked with you. I, it's gonna get mocked with you. You know okay? what? I will see you and your son in court. How about that? How about it, bitch? Fuck out of my house and make sure you had a whole high school football team in court, too. So, Greg, we snitching now? You a little snitch bitch now? What the fuck are you talking about? Well, Greg, our mother has obtained information on something that happened while she was at work that only the three of us knew about. You were also here that day, too. Man, I ain't got to explain shit to y'all's last. Yes, asses. the fuck you do. I ain't got to explain yes, shit. Now, do, Saban, you 18 now, so we can handle this like grown-ass men if you want to. Greg, this is not. <laughs> Greg, don't get your. This ass is not energy that you want. Right this ain't what you want. And Greg, your first mistake is thinking that you're gonna fight one brother and not have to fight the other two. Well, step around this motherfucker. I'm so sick of y'all's little asses and y'all soft ass mama. She still got y'all in the goddamn titty. Yeah, I said it. What's up? Uh, all three of y'all coming? Let's go. Let's go. So I know I got in town a day late, but boys, go ahead and tell grandma what y'all mama got y'all for Christmas. My mama got me a DNA test for Christmas. She got me some shoes for Christmas. Some shoes and a DNA test. Pam, after the year they've had, I just know my baby Kyrie got his PS5 for Christmas. I remember you telling me that you asked your mama for one. I did tell you that grandma. Unfortunately, it didn't happen. Pam, Kyrie has been horrible this year. Brian hasn't been any better. And so we will get to your inconsistencies as a mother momentarily. Where is my great grandchild? I'm waiting for a DNA test. Mama, that is my son. Savon, we have been through so this. So not I'm only proof. have you kept my son. No, your son boys, hasn't been in their but lives. Not, but you are now keeping Savon from seeing his son. I'm going to go ahead and invite myself to stay so I can oversee your mother and skills from this point on. Kyrie said his mama be sneaking you in here when they're asleep. So I thought I'd get here 15 minutes early to meet this Gregory. Lady, who the hell are you? Well, I could be one or two things. I can be the person to let you walk out of here with your freedom attached and you never come back. Or I could be your worst fucking nightmare. <laughs> Lady, this ain't your house. What's that noise? Is that police sirens out here? I wonder what they'll think when they find an ex-con who recently just put his hands on his girlfriend's children and just pushed a 75-year-old woman against the stove. I'm still a little woozy. Oh, lady, I never touched you. Oh, Gregory, don't be ridiculous. I know that, but the police don't. You know what? This whole fucking family is fucking crazy. I'm out. Oh, Fuck you, old lady. Oh, not even in your dreams, bitch. Here you go. You must have a fucking death wish. Don't you ever in your fucking life throw some shit at me, Savon. And what the hell is this? It's the results of the DNA test you requested. You haven't opened it. You want me to be the first one to open it? I'm confident. What you got your homeboy in here is moral support. That's cute. Trying to save you the embarrassment, son. What's it say, mama? Savon, you got me fucked up! You really went out here and made me somebody fucking grandmother? I'm still taking parenting classes and coming to terms with the fact that God had the audacity to allow me to get pregnant three times and you go and pull this shit! Oh, Savon, I cannot wait to come over here when I heard the news. Where's my great grandbaby? Oh, grandma, you gonna have to ask my mama where my son is. Tamika, 
That was real fucking cute, Savon. COVID. I don't know where the baby mama has been. I don't know who Bullshit. she's been around. I Give it up, Tamika. You're still trying to hold on to your youth, which you lost when you decided to have three boys your whole oh time God, in high grandma, school. Stop. You're a fucking grandma you now. Stop. Get over it. Pam, who the fuck do you think you are? You've had several kids and several abuela. Can you please just meet my son and his mama? Tamika, you're already an unfit mother. Don't be an unfit grandmother, too. Pam, expire already. Mama! Fine, Saban! I will meet your trash-ass baby mama and her son. Mama, did you figure out when the baby and Versace can come over? Saban, leave me alone. I've been working and I've been tired. When I figure out a time and a date, you will be the first to know. Okay. Hey, mama, I gotta talk to you about something. Brian, please, my nerves are bad right now. If you about to tell me you got somebody pregnant. No, no, no. It's not that, mama. Um, I'm gay. <coughs> God, what's the issue? We got beef or something? You got, like, you gave me an unwanted grandchild, and now, how do you know? How do you know? Have you ever been with a man? Like, how do you know? How do you know, Brian? I have a boyfriend. Shit! You know what? I have an idea. Mama, how about you meet the boyfriend when you meet Versace and the baby? <laughs> you ready to see, Grandma? Here you go, Mama. Is there a reason his diaper isn't changed? Wow, you're holding the baby and still talking shit. Bro, stop. Not because she's talking about our baby. And when did I sleep with the whole football team? That's what I want to know. And when did you have me removed from your premises? I'd like to see you do that again. You've been talking all this shit about how the baby isn't his. And Tamika, you put your hands on me, I swear you're going to jail. You put... Ah! Mom, stop! Mom! Now hand me his diaper bag. Hey Ma. So my firstborn decides to have a baby on me. My middle child is confused about his sexuality. And now my baby boy is coming in my house after curfew. Mama Brian gay? Where the hell was you at Kyrie? Mama. And do not lie. I was literally outside talking to one of my friends. You're so full of shit. Mama, I'm serious. I'm about to beat your ass. Wait, I got some information for you. Just hear me out. Now, I know you probably have forgiven Savon and accepted your grandson, but I just thought you should know that your grandson was conceived on your mattress. Also, all of Brian's homeboys that you let come over and spend the night, I'm starting to realize that they weren't just coming over here to play as PS5. God, y'all stay running up my light bill. Um, not y'all. That's Brian and his PS5. Savon, keep my name out your mouth. Mama, can you please meet my boyfriend this weekend? Which one of your little homeboys that you always have in my house is your boyfriend? <laughs> so you want to go there? You really want to go there? God, how did I not see it? Mama, can I go to my homeboy Jabari's house this weekend? Mama, can my homeboy Eric stay tonight? Which one of your little homeboys turned you out, Brian? His name is Trenton, and I turned him out. Brian, get the fuck out of my kitchen. Oh my God, mama. Other teens' parents accept them. Why can't you accept me? I'm not accepting the fact that my 16-year-old son is getting bent over by another boy. Ain't nobody bending me over. You know what, mama? Don't even worry about it. I don't even want him to meet you at this point. Okay, I'm gonna keep this short and simple. Brian, I need you to allow your mother to process your sexuality her way, not by you forcing your boyfriend on her after you just came out to her. That's not how we do things, okay? And Tamika, it ain't no damn Tamika. Him and his brother have been doing too much to me. I'm about to fucking snap. Okay, Tamika, I don't give a fuck. After you've snapped, though, I need you to snap the fuck back and accept your child for who he is, just like you've accepted the fact that you're no longer just a mother. You're a grandmother, too. Pam, you're somebody's mother, grandmother, great-grandmother, and sugar mama. Get the fuck up off me. You know what? I was going to wait until he popped up on your ass, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you now because I want to see you break a sweat, bitch. The boy's father is in town, and I've invited him over to see them.
Grandma, you did what? <laughs> I'm going to jail. <laughs> What's going on, Mrs. Vanessa? Tamika, you put your hands on my daughter, bitch! You put your hands on my daughter? Come put your hands on me! Come put your motherfucking hands on me! What you gonna do with it? What? Bitch! You put, you put your hands on my daughter, bitch! You my house, you ain't Stop. bitch! Stop! Fuck your daughter, bitch! Fuck your daughter, bitch! Bitch. You Capri, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let go of her. What are you doing? Capri, oh my go. goodness. Brian, Let come here and break it up. Come here. When all this is over, my mama is going to be mad at all parties involved. I still need her to meet Trenton. Uh, so you gave me Vanessa a concussion. Savon, I didn't ask you for any medical updates on that bitch. I was just letting you know. I hope she falls asleep with that concussion. I could have ended her entire existence, but instead I chose to give her a concussion and ask for her daughter, that fucking animal, had she gotten past your brother and touched me, Louis Vuitton would have been a motherless child right now. This is your fault. How is it my fault? Mama, be grateful this lady is pressing charges on you. Tell her to press them. Oh my God. You impregnated that endangered species and brought her and her hippopotamus looking ass mama in my house. It's your fault. Go get the door. That? So y'all's mama has talked to me about everything that's been going on and I feel like you just got time. here. We really don't care what you have to say. Kyrie, you disrespect me again. I'm going to knock your whole head off. I'm going to hit you so hard that you're going to experience vision and memory loss. Now, Savon, you ain't got shit I need to say to me. What? You ain't got shit to say to me. Keep that shit over there with them. Don't bring that shit over here. Get your bitch ass on somewhere coming up in here like you right shit. Savon, I will demolish you. You think you like that, but you have not seen me. I will tear your ass up. All three of you. Now, the next person that decides to let their daddy issues get the best of them, I'm rocking your shit. You have a son and no job. I got a problem with that. You have one month to get a job. I'm done talking to you. You want to keep them? Because I'll take them out. Both of them. Roll them again. What are you talking Shut about? Shut up! Dad, I don't want no problems. I just want to be gay and not be penalized for it. That's fine, son. You can be gay. But what you're not going to be doing at 16 is bending anybody over. And if I find out that you have, you can say goodbye to Trenton. Now, I have some exciting news for y'all. I'm moving back to town and y'all will be at my house every weekend. Huh? How does that sound? Girl, just seeing him yell at them did something to me. Mom! <sighs> Mom! Oh, girl, let me call you back. So, you're really going to let that man just come in here and talk to us like that? You just let him come in here after being gone for eight years and disrespect us like that? And you didn't even say anything? Well, he is daddy. <laughs> I mean, he's y'all's daddy. And I can't control how he's talking to y'all. I'm just glad he said he was okay with meeting Trenton. Don't nobody care about no damn Trenton. You better be glad I didn't tell that man y'all be playing in each other's booty. Mama, are you really about to send us to his house every weekend? Are y'all yelling at me? Wait a minute, because I've been waiting years to say this. Do I need to call y'all's daddy? <laughs> Do I need to call y'all's daddy? Do I need to call your father? <laughs> Do I need to get your daddy on the line? Okay, mama. Was that a threat, Kyrie? Do you want me to tell him you threatening me? Oh my God, I finally get to meet Michael's other children. Your father wanted to be here, but he had more important matters to attend to, like a business meeting. Okay, and who are you? Oh, where are my manners? I'm your dad's wife, Karen. Okay, Karen, where do me and my brother sleep? Well, we have three beautiful biracial children that have their own rooms. So I'm going to have to put you guys in the guest bedroom. Um, I figured one of you guys can sleep on the floor and the other two can sleep on the bed. I'm pretty sure that's what you guys do at your two-bedroom apartment. Wait, what? Y'all, I'm about to spit on this bitch. 
Oh, you're an ignorant Karen. We live in a four bedroom, two story house paid in full by my mother, Tanika Jackson for your information, bitch. Get your facts straight, ho. Come on, let's go, y'all. Tanika, it is finally nice to meet you. I wanted to sit and talk to you about the boys. Their behavior this past Saturday was completely unacceptable. Do you mind if I have a conversation with my ex-husband? Oh! Tamika, what oh! the hell? Oh! Michael, please explain to me why oh! my children, why my children oh! arrived at your home to oh! an unidentified white woman insulting them. Oh! I was at work and she is my wife and I told her to take oh, care of them until I got home. Oh. Mm. Okay, honey, I got you. Tamika, I can't believe you push your hands on my wife. I don't give a fuck, Michael. That's for her telling one of my kids they got to sleep on the floor. Look, I'm going to give you time to get your Becky's mouth under control and your house in order before my children's next visit. Have a good day. <laughs> Karen, thank you for joining us today. Now, y'all both are stressing my son out, so I have both y'all here in hopes that y'all can talk things out like grown women. I want an apology. You ain't getting shit. Your kids came into my house being disrespectful. Me and their father, your husband, have taken care of it. You know what? I think it's time for the boys to meet their siblings. Your kids are toddlers, three and under. What do they have in common with my teenage sons? <laughs> Actually, Tamika, my kids are 15, 10, and eight years of age. I believe Kyrie's 15 as well. It's crazy how close in age they are. So just to clarify, your child is the same age as my child, which means you were sleeping with Michael while me and him were still married. Oh, cut the crap, Tamika. He was on his way out the door into mine. You know, when I used to work for him as his office assistant, he used to come to me all the time and tell me how miserable he was in his marriage and how he's ready to leave. You were his office assistant. That's why you look so familiar. So when you got pregnant, did you already know that I was pregnant with Kyrie? I only knew that your marriage was failing, pregnant and all. <laughs> to make it out, kill the girl. <laughs> Pam, she know who she talking to. She. Mama, how long do you plan on staying? Girl, San Antonio got too much going on, and I hear you out here shooting at bitches and missing. I know you didn't see me take out at least five of your daddy's wives growing up, so I'm confused as to why Michael's wife is still walking around. Well, Grandma, I'm happy you're here, and I can't wait for you to meet my baby mama and our son. Mm-mm. Your mama told me that your baby mama got rabies, and I'm sure the baby got it, too. Uh, Brian, what's this to hear about you liking little boys now? Timothy, you let him like little boys now? She doesn't have a choice, Grandma. Oh, so he's the parent and you're the child now. Got it. What my baby Kyrie been up to? He's been fighting and getting kicked out of class. No, grandma, them teachers don't like me. Oh, so they need me to go up there and show my ass then. Timika, you ain't went up there yet. Mama, it's not the teachers. It's Kyrie. He does not like to listen. Nah, it's them. It's okay. I got something for they ass messing with my grandbaby. Y'all take my stuff upstairs. I ain't going nowhere. Well, Michael, I'm not 100% comfortable with my son meeting your other children yet. I mean, their mother did just try to kill me. Oh, Honey, my please, gosh. I have dealt with that, okay? My son's posed no threat to you. Karen, shut up. This isn't about you. This is about Kawhi meeting his brothers. Pamela, do not speak to me like that in front oh of my, my son, God. okay? Enough. Now, Kawhi, are you ready to meet your brothers? Am I ready to meet my brothers that I now have to share you your money and your house with. Oh my God, seriously, Kawhi? Yeah, Dad, I'm ecstatic. Don't be like that. Now, your brothers are a little different from you, so when you meet them, give them a chance. Oh, no, Mom said that they're from the east side of San Antonio and to call the cops if they make me uncomfortable. All right, Savon, Brian, Kyrie, this is your brother, Kawhi. What's up? It's nice to meet you, Kawhi. It's nice to meet you, too. Dad, 
What is the Kawhi? Did you mean to name him Hawaii? No, it's Kawhi and Dad. What is a Kyrie? Did you mean to name him Caillou? Oh shit! <laughs> I was not expecting that. Y'all done? Because y'all gonna spend this whole week and get to know each other. Dad, we gotta get to know you first before we get to know your son Kawasaki. Kaiju, do you wanna fight? Yes, no. I do. Kyrie, I do. Stop. I do. No. I do. Okay, back up. What was his name again? Kiwi, Kawasaki, Korea. I don't know. I don't like him. His name is Kawhi and Reed. He is your brother. Give him a chance. Wait, his name is Kawhi? <laughs> oh, that bitch Karen couldn't find anything original. She had to find a knockoff of my baby's name. Tragic. Mika, I'm about to go play bingo. And what the fuck is this? Uh, Mama! <laughs> Kyrie, go to your room now. Why? Tammy? I heard you've been looking for me. Tamika, you trying to get me sent back to jail? No, mama. Then why the fuck is this tired ass, old ass bitch in your kitchen? Old? Baby, my shit is still rejuvenated and replenished. <laughs> bitch, I will mama, rip you apart. Not in front of Kyrie. Good job. You did not all that and still haven't made your way over here. Hey, you bitch. stop. No, no, no. No, no stop. All right, boys. So I was thinking maybe we can go to the mall today or catch a movie later. I'm down with that, mom. I know you would, baby. You guys want to go to the ball with us? Sure. Yeah, that sounds fun. Great. Kyrie. Nah, I'm just trying to do my two days with your husband and go home. <laughs> yes, and I agree with you. But your dad wanted me to get you guys out the house. I said no, Karen. Kyrie, don't talk to my mama like that. Kawhi, your ass whooping is still pending. You're threatened by me. Just admit it. You talk Kyrie, all this stop. shit like you're thinking bad, but you're not. We are not like, going you're to You're not. Do I'm not going to disrespect my parents' house and lay your ass out. Because you know I will. Oh, what the fuck, bro? Shit. You hit my mom. I meant to hit him. I blame you for Kyrie's actions. He's watched you respond to everything with violence, and now he thinks it's okay. My son is no bitch like you. He would not tolerate disrespect, not even from your racist Becky. My wife is trying to come to terms with the fact that I am now bringing three boys into our home. Oh, is she? Well, my sons are still trying to come to terms with the fact that a man who has forgotten that he is black and has black sons is now trying to force his way back into their lives. God, you sound just like the bitter black woman who took my kids from me because she couldn't accept the fact that it was no longer her. It was now someone else. Look. Agree to Kyrie going to military school, or I'm sending his ass to juvenile. Have you lost your fucking mind? No, but you clearly have, and Kyrie is the proof. You have three days to decide. Kawhi, what do you want to eat? I don't care. Mom, who's that? Kawhi, go to your room and call 911. Honey, come over here now. Tammy, you got five seconds to get the hell out of my house. No, 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 honey, that won't be necessary. Uh, I invited her over. Uh, Tammy came into the office today and uh, we talked. And, and I think the best way to handle Kyrie is by sending him to therapy. I originally suggested sending him to therapy, but you said you would press charges if I didn't send him to military school. Well, I've, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I think the best approach is to send him to therapy. I'm 100% okay with that. All right, Tammy, it was nice meeting you. You gonna introduce us, Brian? Mom, dad, this is Trenton. It's nice to meet you, Trenton. Look, I accept my son and I accept you too. I accept y'all's decision. But remember that y'all are still young. How long has this been going on? Uh, for about a year. A year? A whole year. Brian, you just came out four months ago. Samika. So who's doing the bending? Uh, nobody. Both of us. Both of us. We both take turns doing it. We're both doing the bending. Breathe, mama. Breathe. Mama, we gotta talk. 
my nerves are bad right now. Think about the safety of yourself and others before y'all tell me whatever it is y'all got to tell me. Did you get our stimulus checks? We were supposed to get money too. Mama, hello. Mama, you didn't even bother to tell us that you got it or ask us what we wanted. My mortgage is $1,500 a month. My light bill is almost $500 a month because y'all don't know how to turn shit off. Did y'all know that I have to spend almost $1,000 in groceries to feed y'all's big asses? I pay for fucking cable for y'all because I don't need it. Cell phone bills, clothes, shoes, haircuts. So here are your options. I can give y'all y'all stimulus check or y'all can keep y'all's lives. Fuck out of my kitchen. Hey, Brian, have you seen my Skittles? I can't find them. This sounds like a personal problem. Did you eat my Skittles? I don't know, did I? I'm gonna ask you one more time. Did you eat my Skittles? Yes, yes, I did. I did, get over it. Be prepared to taste the rainbow. Mom, can I go to Josh's house? I clean my closet. That's fine, but I need all your shoes that you don't want to wear in the back so I can give them the goodwill. Yes, ma'am. And call me as soon as you get to that boy's house, Kyrie. Don't make me call his mom to make sure I you're will, there. I will, mama. I will. Um, Kyrie, didn't mama tell you to clean your room? It is still a mess. So you cleaned your closet, but not your room? Well, mama, you told me to just get all my dirty clothes off the floor. I got them off the floor. I don't want to hear that shit. Go take care of that, and you can try to go to Josh's house another day. Mom, can I go to Trenton's house? My room is clean and my closet is clean. Ooh, that exhale sounded a little homophobic. Yes, yes, you can. Call me as soon as you get there. Hey, Mom, catch. Kyrie, where did you get this? I found it in Brian's trash can in his room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go play my game. Okay, Kawhi, I need you to wash all the dishes and then you're done with your chores for the day. Okay. Brian, I need you to mop the kitchen floor, vacuum the carpets in the house. I need you to fold everyone's clothes. And then I need you to go clean Kawhi's room and clean the guest bedroom that you and your brother sleep in. Are you serious? And Kyrie, you can cut the grass in the front, back, and side of the house. Karen, Kawhi doesn't have that many chores. How about he goes out there and help Kyrie cut the grass? No, Kawhi is light-skinned and has sensitive skin. I don't want him getting dark from being outside. But my brother can go outside in the hot sun, though. Brian, I'm sure your mother has you guys outside all the time. Look, this isn't a negotiation, okay? Your father told me to contact him if I were to have any problems. So do we have a problem, Brian? No, Karen, we don't. I didn't think so. Kyrie, I need you to get up and go cut the grass. Ma'am, I'd like you to remove the bass from your voice and remember whose child you are speaking to. You can call your husband and tell him we have a problem. I'm not cutting your grass. Get off your damn phone and go cut the grass like I've asked you to! What was that? Kyrie! Was that your stern voice, Karen? Go cut the grass! It didn't give what it was supposed to have gave. You are unbelievable! Mom, I'll help Kyrie cut the grass. No, you will stay inside and wash the dishes. Kyrie will go outside and cut the grass. Hey, Karen, you need to calm down right now. Brian, don't tell me to calm down. You know what? You go outside and cut the grass with them. How about that? Go out there and cut it with them. You're just mad because my dad is going to leave you and go back to my mom. You know what? I'm going to handle you like your mother handles you. Kawhi, go get my whip. You mean your belt? Whatever it's called, go get it. Mom, I'm not gonna go get your belt. I think you should call dad. You know what? Fine, Kawhi. I'll go get it. You stay right there, mister. Brian, I got it. Oh, you got it? Hello. Hey, Grandma Tammy. Hey, baby. 
Karen was just yelling at me and Brian because we wouldn't go outside and cut her grass. And now she's threatening to go get her master whip and whip us. She gonna do what? I'm on my way. I'm on my way. All right, Grandma, who you got? Draco or Harry? Draco season with the book bag. All right. Would you rather be rich and unknown or famous and broke? Give me the money. Okay. Last question. Android or iPhone? M Motorola. Grandma, what is what is a Motorola? Is is that your medicine? What are you doing? Just playing around with this app called Wishbone with Grandma. You literally can compare and vote on everything. Like, what do you prefer, Brian? A fleet or an enema? Wait, is there a difference? Grandma, how would you feel about me getting a tattoo? I don't care, Brian, as long as it makes some sense. It will, Grandma, but you know my mama might lose her mind if I get one. Child, your mama know better than to touch y'all in front of me. Thanks, Grandma, but I do need you to go because I need somebody 18 and up with me since I'm under 18. I got you, baby. Thanks, Grandma. Happy Mother's Day, Mama and Grandma and Tammy. Oh, thank you, baby. Where's my Happy Mother's Day, Brian? I'm sorry, do you have children? Brian! What's up, everybody? Happy Mother's Day. Uh, Grandma Tammy, I'll tell you this is my baby mama, Versace. Tamika, that's the baby mama that got rabies. Um, excuse me, old lady. I don't know who you're referring to, but not me. Tamika, call animal control. It has lost its mind and it is speaking to me. Savan Versace, there's food over here if y'all want some. Happy Mother's Day. Brian, how's your arm? Grandma, can you make me a plate, please? Brian, what's wrong with your arm? Uh, Brian, what you want on your plate? Everything, Grandma, everything. Brian LaShawn Jackson! What is wrong with your arm? I got a rash, Mama. Let me see it. <sighs> Grandma told me that I can get it, and she said you can't touch me in front of her. Now, Brian, I did not tell you to tell her that I said that. <laughs> and yon, yon, now. Grandma. So you got a tattoo. <laughs> See, normally I would have lost my shit by now and beat your ass. But I have a surprise of my own. Me and y'all's father have decided to work things out. What? Not only that. He will be moving back in this house in June. And I can't wait for him to see that, Brian. Because he gonna tear your ass up and I am going to watch. From now on, I'll be letting him do the beating around here. Surprise. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to me. There's no easy way to say this, but Karen, I'm leaving you. You're leaving me and going where, Michael? Me and my ex-wife have decided to work things out. <laughs> Another bitch was gonna come back and take you from me! Don't do this to us, Michael! Oh, come on, Karen. Your disrespect towards my children, making my son go outside and cut the grass by himself, Kawhi could have helped him. Kawhi is light-skinned. He has oh sensitive skin. God. Michael, I'll be a single mother. Is that what you want? Oh, you'll get through it. You have daddy's money. You'll be fine. And I'll still be involved in my children's life, just not yours. Are you trying to cry? It's not working, honey. You know what? <laughs> I forgot who the fuck I was. You know what? Go back to that hood rat. Michael, you just go back to that fucking hood rat. Okay? You'll regret every moment of this. Leaving me. For Shaniqua. Watch your mouth, Karen. I would hate to have to put you in the trailer park. <gasps> Savon, Jordan, y'all wouldn't happen to know what happened to my sushi. It's no longer in the refrigerator where I left it.
I must have missed the joke. Ma, what makes you think me and Jordan had anything to do with your sushi being gone? Savon, who is Ma? I ain't no damn hoochie. And I don't know why you're trying to act all calm in front of your cousin. You know damn well when I pull this belt out, you and your brother start sweating and shaking like a stripper. Mama, we didn't touch your sushi. See, Savon, you, you know, you know I ain't fucking stupid. You know I ain't stupid, okay? Who touched it, Casper? It's only two of y'all in this house, including me. And I didn't touch it. Jordan? It wasn't us, Auntie, but I did see Kyrie in the refrigerator last night. It looked like he was eating something. Boy, is you stupid. So, Jordan, you're accusing my baby of eating my sushi. I think so. See, Jordan, I don't like putting my hands on my baby. So for your sake, you better hope he actually ate that sushi or I'm coming for your ass. What? You told on Kyrie. Not only that, you lied on Kyrie. So he's a kid. What the fuck is he going to do? We're no longer in trouble. That's all that matters. Jordan, you got to ask your mom if you can come back next week. Oh, for sure. We was lit this week. What's up, Kyrie? Hey, no hard feelings about the sushi. I just knew you were going to get in trouble. I got my ass beat, Jordan. My mama lost her damn mind and actually put her hands on me over some sushi that I didn't even eat. Oh, you be all right. Hey, you see my bag? I thought I left it right here. I swear I left it right here when we went upstairs. You seen it, bro? You mean this bag? Give me my bag, Kyrie. Jordan, do you love your life? Kyrie, give me my bag. In this cheap ass bag, there is a box of condoms, blunts, and a lighter. Your mama is upstairs with my mama and they'll be down shortly. Once they get down, I'm going to empty this bag in front of them. Yo, are you Kyrie, serious right now, Kyrie? Please don't do this. Savon, get your brother. What do you want me to do? Tell her that I ate the sushi? Fine, I'll tell her. Now give me my bag. Oh, Jordan, this, is, this isn't a negotiation. I'm telling you what's going to happen when she comes downstairs. And girl, I seen that the other day. Jordan, did you find your bag so we can go? It's right here, Aunt Tanya. Kyrie, stop! Oops. What the hell? Oh my God, I'm so sorry. How clumsy of me. Jordan, <laughs> Jordan, what is this? Mama, I can't explain. I don't want to hear that shit. What the hell is this in your bag? Hey, auntie, I think it had something to do with the girls that were over here the other night in Savon's room while my mama was at work. In Savon's room. Ma, he's lying. Ma, he's lying. I swear. He's lying. Mama, you have no legitimate reason to not let us go out this weekend. I don't need a damn reason to say no. If I say no, it's no. I don't need no damn reason. Yes, you do. What kind of parent just says no to everything? This one! She does! Now take y'all asses to y'all's room. I don't want to see y'all until dinner time. And since y'all got so much fucking mouth, dinner has changed from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Oh my God, you don't let us go nowhere. Brian, you will lose your life by talking back and walking away from me at the same time. Oh, hell no. Lord, I'm about to lose two children, and I don't want to. I'm not a bad parent, Lord. I take care of my kids. I'd like to see the gates of heaven, so I need you to give me the strength. Oh, no, they got me fucked up. Brian and Kyrie Jackson, get y'all's asses back in this kitchen now. Y'all off the chain today. I'm only gonna ask one time. Which one of y'all slammed my fucking door?
My belt is rated E for everybody. Somebody better start talking or everybody gonna catch this belt. Bree, did your brother slam the door? He told me the truth. I'll let you go out this weekend. Really, mama? Really? He didn't slam the door, mama. But he did sneak out the house last night. So that means I can go out this weekend? Kyrie, for once, for once, we were protecting each other. What is wrong with you? So you slammed my door. Damn, I hit the jackpot. I was looking to tap one ass and now I get to tap two. So do y'all want it in the kitchen or do y'all want it in y'all's rooms? Mama, why are you going around telling people that I put my hands on you? Because you did. How? Savon, you put your hands all up on me. I snatched the belt out of your hands. Assault? It was not. I prevented you from attacking me. You preventing me from attacking you was an attack against me. Mama, you went and told everybody that I pushed you in between the washer and dryer. When did that happen? When you raised your hand up to stop me from putting my hands on you, boy, you might as well go ahead and slap me. You might as well push my ass to the floor and start kicking me. Brian, where you going? Outside. What's outside? The world. Now, will your answer remain the same or will it change? What is outside? Trenton is outside, mama. Hmm, how unfortunate that you now have to take your ass back upstairs to FaceTime that young man and tell him that you would not be going outside today. Mama, you are so homophobic. How am I? Brian, you love throwing that homophobic card at me. You are grounded right now, okay? That means you cannot see a little boyfriend. Now, my belt, however, is very homophobic. Take your ass upstairs. Ah. Was there something else? No, there wasn't. Mom, I need to talk to you. If you tell me that you're about to have another baby with that bat from hell, I'm moving out. Today's my last day in this house. Yeah, gather your thoughts. Before I go, all the money you took from me while I was growing up, I'm gonna need that back. What money, Savon? The money that people would give me on my birthdays and you would be like, oh, uh, I need the money for bills so you can have a place to stay. Or the money that I would get from cutting other people's grass that you volunteered me to cut and you still have the audacity to collect. I calculated all the money that you took from me growing up and it came out to about $5,475. I'll take that in cash or cashier's check or cash app. I should have swallowed your Tamika! ass. I need you to gain control of this situation quick. Where is this coming from, Savon? Lately, you have been on 10. And I'm 18. I don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with it. And you keep threatening to whoop me with the belt. I ain't scared of that belt, Tamika. Have I not proved that to you? <laughs> Mama, get him before I kill him.
You better get him right now before I take him out. But then I thought about it. You've been experiencing hot flashes. You've been lashing out over unfolded clothes and unwashed dishes. I mean, it, it makes sense. You are experiencing menopause. Savon, get your ass out of my house. Get out. <laughs> I'm leaving right Where now. Where you gonna go? My baby mama house. Go stay with her then. She can buy the pampers and formula for that baby. That baby that she'll never see again. Oh, I don't give a damn, Savon. You couldn't afford you the do. baby anyway. I was taking care of that baby. You better get your ass out of my house right now. All right, I'm out. I'm, I'm leaving right now. I'm out. You done lost your damn mind talking about you moving out. You ain't got a pot to piss in. Where are you going to go? Oh, hell no. I know it ain't no... Oh, hell no. It, it might be the change. It, it might be. All right, now that Savannah is gone, I'm going to take over his room and you can take over my room. How the fuck do you get to decide who gets Savannah's room? You know what? I don't even care. You're staying in your room and I'm getting Savannah's room. Kyrie, I will go get mama and let her decide. Okay? All she has to do is take one good look at your filthy ass room. You got fucking underwear on your floor. Your room smells like feet. And what does your room smell like? Febreze, ass, and lubricant. You don't get tired of me fucking you up? Do I get tired of you fucking me up? When have you ever in your life fucked me up? I do not recall. Kyrie, it is nothing for me to go around this corner right now and beat you up. I'd like to see you try that dumb shit very much. I'd like to see you, Mr. Powerbottom, come around this corner and put your hands on me. Kyrie, all you gonna do is cry like a little go bitch. Here, I'm not gonna get in trouble you. Just you just gonna put okay. your hands on me. I I'm going through something right now. Um, a little change. And y'all are in here arguing about a room that I did not authorize either of you to have. And then y'all are in here talking about y'all are going to fight. And I was waiting to see who was going to actually go around the corner. And neither one of you did. So, Brian, proceed around the corner to fight your brother. Pussy. Kyrie. Come around this corner and put your hands on your brother. You better not. I <laughs> do not have time for this, okay? I done already kicked y'all's brother out. You kicked him out, mama? That's no, no. He got tired of your emotional mood swings, kind of like what you're having right now. And then he decided to move out. You had no choice but to watch. Would you like to find out what happened that night, Brian? Would you like me to show you what happened that night? Is you ready for that? Are you ready for that energy with me? Okay, mama. What happened? I said, okay, mama. Both of y'all get the fuck out of my kitchen. Is it the hot flashes again, mama? Go get the door. Whoa, you said I don't pay any bills in this house, so the door is not mine to get. Do you love your neck? Because I will break it. Uh, this is Vanessa, what are you doing here? <laughs> Brian, how are you? Tamika, I came to speak to you, mother to mother. Bitch, I haven't seen you since I put you in a hospital. And now you're in my home. Because your son is in mine. And I'd like to know why. Vanessa Savon is 18. My parenting and him acting like a grown-ass man in my house does not mix. Not that it's any of your damn business, but he chose to leave. 
It's my business because not only am I taking care of my daughter and mine and your grandchild, but I am now taking care of the father too. I understand that you have reached a point in life where you can no longer ovulate, but that is no reason to abandon Savon. Brian, please escort this lady out of my house. <laughs> Tamika, I ain't going nowhere until we figure out what we're going to do about your son. He got my daughter pregnant and now he's in my house. I'm not about to take care of him. Vanessa, you will be leaving my house, dead or alive, but you will be leaving. I hope I'm not interrupting. Dad, this is not a good time. Michael, I know, I know you didn't just bring this bitch in my house. Tamika, what is this I hear about you kicking Savon out? Damn, I leave you to go back to my wife and you get back in me by kicking my son out? Oh, you said you left her? <laughs> Damn, Tamika, everybody trying to get away from you. It's a good day to go to jail. It is a good day to go to jail. I'm gonna give y'all to the count of three to get the f out of my house. Who the fuck do y'all think y'all talking to? Let me know, cause I know y'all not talking to Tamika Jackson. I will light each and every one of you the fuck up. Michael, you not get out, get out, get out, get out, bitch, get out. Feel better. Karen, I told you to go through the front door. Honey, you're home early. What's going on? The possum that was on our doorstep a couple of days ago that I told you to get rid of, I just caught it trying to sneak out my back door. And I'm just confused as to why. She came over so we could talk about Kawhi transferring schools. Did you know that I find knives to be far more effective than guns? It's just something about feeling the knife penetrate the skin that satisfies me. Do you think I'm stupid? No, 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 not, not at all. Are you sure? Because you know exactly who the fuck you're lying to right now, Michael. Why the fuck is this possum now inside my house after I gave you clear instructions to get rid of it? Honey, she came over so we could talk about Kawhi transferring schools. Speak, rodent. Rodent? That was cute. Michael, please tell your ex-wife that you are leaving her for me again. And I didn't come over here to talk about Kawhi transferring schools. What the fuck do I look like coming over here for that? That could have been a phone call. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Tamika, I can't do this. You know what? It's fine. It's fine, you Uncle Tom ass bitch. The only reason why I took you back was for my kids. But I realize now that that was a weak bitch move. And I'm a hood bitch. I know better. I know better. I don't need you. <laughs> and I don't want you. Get out of my house. Michael, she is giving you a way out to come back to me and our light-skinned children. Take it. Tamika. Capital murder. A charge that I am considering living with if you and your Becky do not leave my house right now. Let's go, Michael. K 
Aiden, why did your school call me and tell me you weren't in fourth period today? I don't like the science teacher. She smells like farts. So I went off campus with my friends. Okay, then that's not okay. I won't tolerate that. Oh God, calm down, mom. It was just one class. Well, make sure it doesn't happen again, Kaden Jackson. I'm not playing with you. I'm just going to tell you right now, it's going to happen again. Kawhi, I want to get your father out the house this weekend. He's been very depressed ever since he moved back in. So I'm leaving you in charge of your brothers. Yeah, I think that'd be good for her mom. I think he really needs that. I just think he needs time to adjust with being back in the house with his real family, you know, his light skin family, the right family, you know. Kalani, Karen, I have asked you several times not to call me by my first name. I am your mother. You will address me as such. Oh, Karen, look at you trying to put your foot down. <laughs> I'm going to take my dad out this weekend. He doesn't even like you, okay? I overheard a phone call with him and Grandpa, and he pretty much told Grandpa that you took him away from his Nubian queen. I didn't take him from no Nubian queen, okay? He left her for his queen Elsa. He left her for his ice queen. And you know what, Kalani? Effective immediately, you are grounded. <laughs> what are these words you're making up? What is grounded? I've never heard of that before. It means you're confined to your room. No TV and no phone. No laptops. No PS5. Yeah, that's right, mister. Now you take back what you said about me taking your father from that Queen Jemima. Karen, if you ground me, I'll run away and go get somebody's daughter pregnant. Kalani, give me your phone. Kalani, give me your phone. <laughs> no. Kalani, since when do you backtalk me? You are acting like your other brothers. Your fathers are the children. You are raised like that. You know what? I'm gonna... What? Oh, I'm gonna... What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> what was that? Are you lost? No, I'm right where I need to be. In a life-threatening situation? I came to ask you why my husband hasn't seen his son since he left your sad, pathetic ass. I mean, not that I care if he sees them or not, but it seems to have him depressed. Careful, further disrespect could result in serious injuries for you. Tamika, don't be one of those ghetto baby mamas who don't let their children see their fathers because he simply no longer wants you. Karen, the only reason why I have not reached across this counter and snapped your neck yet is because I'm... Because you're what? Divorced? Again? Depressed? Seeing a therapist? Just give it up. He's mine and will forever be mine. And Brian and Kyrie are still minors. So if we have to go to the courts to see them, we will. So start cooperating, bitch. And let my husband, my husband, see his sons. Let's see if Michael lets you do that. Especially because for the next seven months, I'll be visiting an OB, GYN. Pick up your face.
Because child support is a motherfucker. And when I'm done with you and Michael, <laughs> you're gonna need a job, a real job, bitch. Whoa! I wonder how the cops are full of us trying to attack a pregnant woman, Karen. I wonder how they feel about that, Karen. You can't be pregnant! You can't be pregnant! Are you melting, Elsa? Because it's happening. It's gonna happen, okay? You're gonna be a stepmother of four. <laughs> Mama, I promised that me and that girl were just playing my PS5. With the door locked, Kyrie, I swear, ever since you turned 16, you've been like your brothers. Ma, we wasn't doing nothing. I know what unexperienced smells like. It took you five minutes to open that door. And when you finally did, it smelled like a seafood market. I told y'all, when y'all have these females over to leave my door open. But I can have my homeboys over with the door closed. Yeah. Oh, shit, no, because Brian ass took advantage of that. Give me your phone. Mama. Give me your damn phone, Kyrie. Oh, my God. Savon, how the hell did you get in my house? Mom, I want to come home. I learned my lesson. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for disrespecting you. It won't ever happen again. You must have pissed your grandmother off, and she sent you over here with a scripted apology. Oh, mama, for real. I realize that I left too soon, and this is your house. I have to respect it. Uh, I think I'm in a good mood today, I think. Um, you're 19 years old now, Savon, and you have maxed out all three strikes with me. You do something else, and that's it. That is it. Disrespect me or talk back to me in any kind of way. Challenge my authority in any kind of way, and that is it for you, sir. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. You won't have no problems, I promise. Mama, what is this? Where did you get that? I found it in your room. Why the f are you in my room, Brian? That's not the point. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Brian, you're grounded. For what? For being nosy. Get the f out of my kitchen. Oh my God, seriously? Mama. Are you really? Kyrie, you're already grounded. Mom, I just want to know. Okay. Well, you're now grounded even more. Why? For being nosy. Get the f out of my kitchen. Oh my God. I got so many questions. You're grounded. <laughs> you can't ground me. Look, what did I just, what the, what the f did I just tell you when you came back in here? Don't disrespect me, Savon. Don't talk back to me, Savon. Don't challenge my authority in any way, Savon. And you are doing just that. You're right. I can't ground you. But I can make you homeless. You know what? Um, I'm grounded. Oh, okay. Now get the f*** out of my kitchen. <sighs> hey, Mama, this is my friend Latoya. Sardines. What? Is this the little girl that I caught you with last week and she had your room smelling like under the sea? Mama, can we go to the movies this weekend? Sure, if your brother decides to go with you. Mama, no, because then he gonna wanna bring his boyfriend and then he gonna treat me like I'm a baby. Sounds like a personal problem. Um, Latoya, is it? How old are you? I'm 17. Oh, so you're a predator. My son just turned 16. No, we're in the same grade. Oh, so you're repeating the 11th grade. Mama, can we go to the movies, yes or no? Can you clean the piss off the toilet seat or no? Can you clean that dirty ring around the bathtub off or no? Can you take a shower without being told to or no? Can you stop introducing me to females that smell like fish bowl or no? Mama! Ma'am, what exactly are you trying to imply? Sweetheart, I need you to seek medical attention ASAP. Your scent is offensive. <laughs> Ma'am, I smell like blossoms and cherries. Ask your son. 
you want to take her to the movies, I need you to take her to the nearest pharmacy so she can gain control of that pH balance. You know what? I can't do this, Kyrie. Your mom is rude. I'm leaving. What was that? Kyrie, she smelled like China sea. Really, mama? I'm not ready for you to date. I'm not ready for you. I'm not used to you bringing females. I'm not ready for you to date, okay? Get out of my kitchen. Mama, I don't have a clear understanding on why I can't go to my friend's house or take a girl out to the movies without you being rude, but Brian and Savon get to do whatever they want to do. You know, for the past couple of weeks, I have been trying to respond to y'all's attitudes differently. Try to be more understanding, you know, of y'all's frustration, if I, it was something I said to cause you to have the attitude. But Kyrie, I need you to control your emotions before I let mine loose. I wonder if you can still smack your lips if they're busted. Hey mama, this is my girlfriend Jasmine. Hi Miss Jackson, it is so nice to finally meet you. I've heard nothing but positive things about you. Interesting, especially because I've heard nothing about you. Mama, this is my girlfriend, Jasmine. I heard you the first time, Savon. What do you want? Are you about to be out all night? Please make sure you take a plan B in the morning. I do not need any more grandchildren. Uh, you do know he's a teenage father, right? Yes, I do. Miss Tamika, where did you get your bonnet? I love it. I got it from a beauty supply store. It's beautiful. And I love your son. He is an amazing father. So Jasmine, tell me about yourself. Well, I currently attend UTSA. I'm trying to get my degree in business management. Um, I own my own apartments. I own my own car. Um, I was raised in a church. Um, and for work, I file people's taxes. Oh, see, I knew it was something. I knew it was something off about you. See, a mother knows. A mother always knows. You out here scamming people. Is that what you want, Savon? Somebody who's out here scamming people out of their taxes? Uh, no, ma'am. I work for an actual tax company. I'm actually one of the assistant managers there. I've been trying to get Savon on board so he can, you know, gain some financial stability. It's nice to meet you, Jasmine. Really nice to meet you. Mama, are you serious? All Savannah is going to do is get her pregnant and you're going to be a grandmother of two. Kyrie, I have told you to control your emotions before I let mine loose. Let them loose then. Savannah and Jasmine, could y'all clear the room, please? Versace, why every time you come up in here, his diaper isn't changed? Well, change it, Tamika. He's a baby, so he's going to piss every five seconds. You know what? I'm just going to keep him for the weekend and your incompetent ass can go do whatever it is you need to do. Versace, what do you want? Savon is not here. I didn't come for Savon. Of course you did. You're the type of baby mama who uses the child as an excuse to see the father. Lie again. Mama, can I use the car to go see Trenton? Brian, leave me alone. What's up, Mama? Oh, shit. Mm. Jasmine, have you met Versace, the baby mama? <laughs> no, I've been trying to avoid that at all cost. What exactly does that mean, Jasper? Can y'all not do this in front of my grandbaby, please? Savon, you've been avoiding our child for weeks. And for what? For this chick? I haven't been avoiding my son. I've been avoiding you. Why are you here? That's what I want to know. No one is speaking to you, Jermaine. It's Jasmine. Whatever the hell it is, your wig is getting broke and tired. 
My wig costs more than your life, and I know little Miss Aquafina with the low IQ score isn't talking. Little Miss, I need welfare but can't spell welfare. Little Miss, I forgot the pin number to my EBT card. Let me call my mama and get it. Isn't talking. Pregnant. Savon, take her to the clinic. It's not mine. You better be lying. Mama, you gotta believe me. That is not my baby. I don't know, Savon. I took her to the clinic and she is pregnant. It's not mine though, Mama. Come on, you know the game. She clearly is mad because I'm with Jasmine. How is Jasmine, by the way? You know, I would never admit this to you, but I actually like her. She ain't talking to me at the moment, but when I take this DNA test, it's going to clear all this up. <laughs> you better hope so. Because I'm still coming to terms with being a mother and a grandmother. What's up, bro? How you doing, Miss Tamika? All right, Rashad, how's your mom? She doing good. You ready? Where y'all going? We're just going to the mall, mama. Bro, why did Versace pop up the other day? For what? I don't know, but all of a sudden she's pregnant. She's pregnant. Yeah, bro. Crazy, right? Did she happen to say by who? She's saying it's me, but I never touched her. She's clearly mad because I'm with Jasmine, and that's why she's doing this. Hey, bro, I'm gonna wait for you in the car. All right. Mama, you gotta believe me. I believe you. What changed? How long have you known Rashad? Since we were kids, you know that. How long has he known Versace? As long as she's known me, but I mean, they don't really interact. Why? Why, Mama? Savon, I know you have some of my intuition in you. You just told your homeboy that your baby mama was pregnant. And he seemed very concerned. As a matter of fact, he asked you, did she happen to mention who the father was? Hold on. Let mama handle this. Let me handle this. I'm going to set up a meeting with Versace and I want you to bring Rashad. Don't tell him that she's gonna be there. As a matter of fact, act like you don't know nothing and let this all play out. Tamika, why are me and my daughter here? We've already established that she's pregnant with your son's second child. You need to get Savannah to stop populating. In the meantime, tell your daughter to close her legs. I've only been with Savon and only Savon, Tamika. I know you remember what happened last time you disrespected my child in front of me. I do. I remember you being in the hospital with a concussion. Why are we here? Perfect timing. Hey boys, how was the mall? Vanessa, this is Rashad. Rashad, this is Vanessa. I don't care who he is, Tamika. Why are me and my child here? Rashad, you know Versace. Versace, you know Rashad. Mama, can we go? Well, before you go, I just wanted to say congratulations. I am truly happy that I'll be a grandmother of two. In lieu of that, I have set up an apartment for you and Savon, and I'll be assisting you both until you're able to do it on your own. And what about his little girlfriend? Unfortunately, she is no longer in the picture. Okay. 
under one condition. I'd like a DNA test. <laughs> Tanika, you are... S <laughs> that won't be a problem. We've done it before. Mama, I don't have to prove anything to her. No, we gonna provide one. We ain't got nothing to hide. It's Savon's. Like the other one is Savon's. So that won't be a problem. We will provide one. Versace, you seem worried. It's just a little swab in the mouth. You and Savon have done it before. I don't want Savon involved. But he currently is involved in my grandson's life. What happened? Why the sudden change? It's not Savon. What? I'm sorry, I, I didn't quite catch that. Then whose is it? Mama, can we please go? Hell no! Tell us who the pappy is. Leave me alone, Tamika! No! Tell your mama whose baby it is, Versace! Or I'm gonna tell her for you. As a matter of fact, you got five seconds to tell her. Five, three, fine! Five. It's Kawhi's! What? Who the hell is Kawhi? Hello, Karen. Tamika, I know you don't know how to spell restraining order, and you might not even know what it means, but you are violating it right now. See, normally I would have put my hands on you by now, but I'm going to let this news do that for me. I want you to meet Versace and her mother. Her name is Versace, like the brand. <laughs> and what's her mother's name? Gucci, Dulce, Gabbana. My name is Vanessa. Do you have a son named Kawhi? Why is my child's name in your mouth? He's been seeing my daughter. My son is very friendly. I find him making friends with the strangest people. He's friends with the kids at his school that ride the little bus. He's been sleeping with my daughter too. Well, my son likes to experiment on bizarre creatures. Your son got my daughter pregnant. Go on! What? Based on your facial expression, I can tell you know who this hood rat is. Oh, this is so ghetto. This behavior definitely came from your dad's side of the family. I'm gonna take you to the clinic to get tested for STDs and whatever plagues this girl might be carrying. Lady, you got one more time to disrespect my child. And as for whatever the hell she is conjuring up in her uterus, I want it 86th immediately. My daughter's keeping this baby, and your son will be financially responsible for the baby and her and me for the rest of his life. As a matter of fact, we're going to take him to court to start the child support process. We're going to take y'all for everything y'all got. How old is your daughter? She's 19. Why? You have two options, and these are very lenient options. You can either take your daughter to the clinic or you can take her to the nearest police station where she will be charged with statutory. My son is a minor. Brad, I don't understand how you're still doing your homework. Mama, leave me alone. Math is not my strongest subject. How is math not your strongest? Boy, math is so easy. I was good at math when I was in high school. Well, then you do it. You come over here and do it, mama. Come do it, since you know so much. I tell you what, your homework better be done by the time I get back downstairs. Wait, where's the app for
for this I can use My homework is finished. Mm -hmm. Just a minute ago, you were stupid. So um, how did you f start figuring this out? I downloaded this app called Goth Math. It is the most powerful AI calculator with free online tutors for all of the math problems. All I had to do was snap a pic of my question and I got step-by-step -step answers instantly. Good morning, mama. You look so beautiful this morning. She's literally wearing the same bonnet and tired ass robe she's been wearing for years. It's too early to whoop your little ass, Kyrie. I haven't even had my coffee yet. What do you want, Savon? So I was I was at the dealership yesterday trying to get a car and um they said I need a cosigner. Have you had a conversation with your father about this? Why is it always me? I much rather go through the parent who's been there since day one. The one who has broke her back trying to make sure I had a bright future. My mama. Hmm, that was real smooth. What kind of car is it? It's a Hellcat. A Hellcat? Savon, you work at Chick-fil-A. And I know the Lord is not paying you Hellcat paychecks. So I will co-sign on something a little more cheaper. Like a Honda Civic. A Honda, ew, mama, that ain't gonna work. You gonna cry in your brand new Honda Civic or are you going to cry in the passenger seat located in my car? Hmm. I ain't had my coffee yet, boy, leave me alone. Hello. Who is this? Ma'am, you called this number. You sound like your name is Tanika Jackson. My name is Brandy Tobert. My son's name is Devante Tobert. And I am calling in regards to your son, Brian. Go ahead. I'm listening, Brandy Tobert. I've been noticing that your son has been in my home for the last six weeks and he's been staying the night. Get to your points, Brandy Tobert. I know your son is a part of the LGBTQ community, but my son is not. And when I knock on my son's door and it takes him five or 10 minutes to open it, I have a problem with that. Listen, you not being able to enter your son's room because he's too busy being bent over or bending my son over has nothing to do with me. You keep your son away from my son. I will not allow him to corrupt my child. Brandy, 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 listen. Your son is gay and sexually active, okay? Seek some therapy if you cannot handle it or get a glass of wine to cope. I do. My son is not... You know what? I took my son, my healthy son, to the clinic to get tested, and his test results came back positive for chlamydia and herpes. Now pour a glass of wine for that bitch. Mama Brian got that shit. Well, Tamika, this is a step up from the last house you had. You went from a one story to a two. I don't ever recall inviting you to that one, so I'm confused as to why you've invited yourself to this one, Tina. Sis, we just wanted to stop by because we, um... Tommy, I am the oldest. I'll be the one letting Tamika know why we are here. Tina, didn't nobody make you our spokesperson? Yes, Tina, we can speak for ourselves. <laughs> but I am the richest and oldest sibling. So I will speak first. I invited myself here today because I haven't seen or heard from you in five years, Tamika. You haven't heard from me in five years because I do not like you, Tina. That's why. Now, why are you in my house? Daddy is sick. And against my better judgment, he would like all of us under one roof for Thanksgiving. So I was thinking we should have it at your house, Tamika. Hmm. Now that you have all the space. Now, why is he sick? Why can't we have it here at your house, Tamika? Because it's my house and I don't want nobody in my house right now, Tina. Mm. Look, y'all, she thinks she's too good. 
I would say we can have it at my home located on the top of the hill in Killeen, Texas. But Daddy is here in San Antonio, and I don't want him to have to travel. I heard that beautiful home and that hill you live on is going into foreclosure. You wish my home with my successful husband and six beautiful children was going into foreclosure. Oh, you're claiming all six now? I know that biologically you were only able to give birth to two. It is really tragic to see that Michael has left you for a white woman. It must be heartbreaking to know that your husband had to impregnate other women to get his other four children because you physically were unable to give him any more. Michael says he wishes he never had any children with you. I'd much rather that than to be married to a man who pushes me down the stairs because I forgot to fix my hair in the morning. <gasps> Tamika! Okay, that's enough. Y'all do this every time. This is the problem. Chris is getting better. Thank you for stopping by. And when I get the chance, I will go check on my daddy. Uh, we need to finish discussing Thanksgiving. Please get out of my house. I will not make the request again. Your house. You mean your house that you're renting? <laughs> I do hope that you find a home for your family soon. I would hate to have to hear that Chris has knocked your head in between the washer and dryer next. Grandma, baby getting big. Can I hold him? His mother will be here any second, so um, hold him at your own risk. I ain't scared of that hood rat. I ain't scared of your hood rat, mama. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Okay, now don't be getting no ideas, Jasmine. <laughs> Me and Savannah are definitely taking it slow. Jasmine, I know my son has turned you into a pill popper every morning. No kids anytime soon. Outstanding. All right, Tamika, where my baby? Masashi, do you always let yourself into people's houses? Um, my child is in here, Tamika. Why is this stranger holding my baby? Because she wanted to hold him. Okay, so I'm assuming she'd like to get beat up too. I see you stepped your wig game up and I see you've stepped yours down. Your lace is showing. When you buy wigs, you should consider cutting the lace before applying the wig. Tresemme or moisturizer could keep your wig under control or a brush or comb. You should really um, start changing him more. I noticed when I changed him earlier, he had diapers rash. So you're letting random strangers change my baby's diaper now, Tamika? Get my baby up or I'm gonna have to put my hands on you. And then you'll go to jail for assault. I mean, you're already a murderer. Oh, Jesus. What's that supposed to mean? Who did I murder? Abortion queen? You don't recall your last monthly visit to the clinic? Jasmine. Too soon. Tamika, I'm really about to touch her. Take my baby out of her arms right now. You really gonna fight me in front of your son? Wow, you are mother of the year. Shadi, I don't do too much of this back and forth, so you either give my baby up and catch this fade, or you ain't leaving this house until you do. <laughs> I will call the cops on you. I'm still trying to figure out how Savon went from a hood bitch to a scary ass hoe who doesn't have 20-20 vision. You know what? You ain't even worth it. I'm going to take a page from your book. Um, Give me my baby or I'm going to call the authorities and say that you kidnapped him. Okay, so let me grab my things so we can get going. Oh, it's cool, no rush. Um, I'm sorry, what's going on here? Mama, were you stepping out somewhere with an unidentified man? 
Oh, my bad. My name is Alex. No, no, no. Tamika, he does not speak or think. I need him to just listen. Saban. Mama, we have not decided to address him as of yet, so please answer the following questions for him. Hey, boys. Um, We were just going to breakfast. Well, I have a problem with that because who is we? Savon, Kyrie, help me out. Does this unidentified man have a name, Mama? This is Alex, and he is taking me to breakfast. See, the problem I have with that is, I don't know Alex. Savon, Kyrie, do y'all know who Alex is? I do not. Me neither. Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Alex. Um, I'm 27 years old. Sir, as of right now, you do not have the floor. Mama, what is happening? And did he just say he was 27 years old? Mama, really? Look, is your mama not allowed to have a life? The real question is, do you love yours, Alex? Alex, I am so sorry. Can we reschedule? That is a great idea, mama. We need time to collect data before we can let him step out with you. As a matter of fact, Brian, I'm not feeling him. He came up in here kind of cocky. Yeah, I don't really like how he came in here and started speaking and he wasn't even spoken to. Yeah, and that cheap ass cologne he got from Ross or Burlington is offensive. You know what? I have heard all facts and evidence presented here today from all parties, and I will now take a short recess and return with my decision. I have reached a decision. This man must pay a fine of $500 each to myself and my brothers for entering our house and speaking out of turn. Are you serious right now? Mama, if he speaks again, I will hold him in contempt. After all payments have cleared, he is allotted one breakfast date. After that, he will cease to exist. Alex, let me walk you out. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. Mama, it is something different about you today. What? You got some new perfume. Your school called today and said that you missed fourth period. Keep skipping class and I'm gonna skip all over your ass. No, it's not the perfume. I can't put my finger on it. What is it that is different about you today? But Brian, you have really lost your mind. You have went from my favorite child to now my problem child, okay? You and Kyrie have traded places. I got it. You got a new robe. Wait, no, that's the same robe you've had for years. It's the wig. It's always that second child that wanna test the waters. Keep it up. Mama, I hope you don't mind. I brought Latoya over again. Hello again, Miss Tanika. <laughs> Latoya, it smells like you've taken care of your hygiene problem. You know, at first, I thought you wore bonnets because you were bald headed. I had no idea you actually had hair. I don't think we've officially met. I'm Brian and I will beat your ass. Stop! Mama, she ain't mean it. You know what? I feel pretty. I'm in a good mood. I'm not gonna let little stank stank get under my skin today. Tamika, it turned out so good. I love it. Thank you, Jasmine. The first genuine compliment I've gotten today. I, I like the wig, mama. I like the wig. I like your hair, mama. Mm, thank you. Who's this? My name is Latoya. What are you? I'm clean. And what is that scent I smell on you? Bitch, Bath and Body Works. I smell cottage cheese and ass.
Okay, um, Kyrie, y'all go ahead and have fun wherever y'all going. Oh, mama, I was gonna ask you if Latoya can spend the night. <laughs> you done lost your damn mind. No, she cannot. Oh, but you let the Jasmine girl stay the night all the time. Latoya, I don't like you. And I wish my son would find somebody else to date. Preferably somebody with good hygiene. Hello. Hello, this is Principal James Caller from Theodore Roosevelt High School. Am I speaking to Kyrie Jackson's mother? Ugh, I swear the little boy does not get tired of me whooping his ass. Well, I do get tired of making these type of phone calls. Um, Kyrie was in my office earlier for using vulgar language towards another student. Why y'all always calling me first? Y'all never calling his daddy. I tried your husband first. He didn't answer the phone. He is not my husband. And that is not my business. All them kids at the school be cussing. Why is my son the only one getting in trouble? I'm not exactly sure why you're worried about somebody else's child when your child is going to be in ISS for four days. What the hell does ISS mean? In school suspension. No further action is needed from you at this time. You know what? I'm just going to take my baby to another school. Yes, go ahead and help your child avoid experience and accountability. James, you disrespect me. One more time, I'm coming up to that school and causing a hostile environment. Your son has already done that. Bitch, have my baby waiting in the office. I'm about to pull up. He will be waiting along with his withdrawal papers and security. You are going to need more than security to handle me. I will be there in the next 15 minutes. Bye. Well, Jasmine, you have a lovely home. Thank you. I'm so glad that I finally got you guys over. Is it just you here by yourself? No, ma'am. I live with both my parents. Interesting. What are your parents like? Oh, they're amazing. My dad is a lawyer and my mom is a principal. You'll get along with them just fine. My baby sure know how to pick them. Uh, Jasmine, where's your bathroom? It's down the hall to the left. Okay, well, I'll be right back. What you guys in here doing? Nothing, Mom. Do you remember Savan? I do. How have you been? I've been good, Miss James. Jasmine, I have never seen a toilet that had a faucet in it. <clears throat> Tamika Jackson? Kyrie Jackson's mother? Jasmine. This is your mother? Yes, ma'am. Do you guys know each other? This is the loud mouth ghetto parent I told you about who came up to my school because I expelled her child for using profanity. You forgot the part where when I came up there, your scary ass refused to talk to me woman to woman. I would not get off my chariot to speak to any parent who is upset because their child is being punished for their behavior. Lady, you have no proof my child used profanity. Kyrie came into my office and admitted it. Yeah, right. You probably pressured my baby into taking the blame. So you're one of those ignorant ass parents who doesn't think their child does anything wrong? Mom! Jasmine! You said that your parents were amazing. I'm assuming you're talking about your father because your mother is horrible. Savon, you seem like a fine young man. You must get your charm from your father because your mother is ghetto. Bitch, don't get stretched out in your own home. I own too many weapons. I promise I won't get touched. Oh, well then go get these weapons you speak of. Go retrieve them. Mom. I'd like to see them. Mom. No, I I'd like to see them. Go get them, Veronica. Mama, chill. Listen, I already kicked your son out of my school and now I'm kicking you out of my house. Veronica, you have yet to get these weapons that you speak of. Where are the weapons? So you're refusing to leave? Where are the weapons? If you do not leave my home right now, I will make sure your son doesn't get enrolled in any school in Texas. You will have to homeschool him. Mom! Oh, you been lost your motherfucking mom! Mom, calm down! Bitch, go mom. get him, mom! Go get him! Mom, mom go relax. get him! Mom! I'm waiting! Get out! Jasmine, it's been nice, but your mother is the reason why you'll never see my son again! Let's go, Savon! You were supposed to be picking the baby up at four. It is two o'clock. You were here two hours early. Why? I need to talk to you. If you are pregnant again, then you're at the wrong place. You know where Planned Parenthood is located. I'm not pregnant. I don't give a shit. For God's sakes, Tamika, I am the mother of your grandson. You must want that to mean something to me. Yes. Could you for once be nice to me? Why are you here two hours early, Brittany? Me and my mama got into an argument. Oh. I don't give a shit. Go talk to a therapist, not me. 
she kicked me and the baby out. She kicked my grandbaby out the house? Yeah, she did. She decided that me, my baby, and her boyfriend couldn't coexist under the same roof. So she told me I had to find somewhere else to live. I thought I was evil. Your mama is the devil. Well, my grandbaby is welcomed here forever. You, however, are going to have to figure something out. I got three boys and they don't like you. And that's fair. Thank you. I'll just come see him whenever I get a chance, I guess. You have three months to get it together. You need to find a job, a house, then you need to get out. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You will not be disappointed, Tamika. I promise I will not disappoint you. Well, I know you won't because you're in my house now. And in my house, I like to harm people who disrespect me. Are you going to pick my son up and leave? I got to talk to my mama. She can't quite do that right now. Um... Uh, because she'll be staying here. Mama, do you hate me that much? <sighs> Baby, I don't hate you. You ruined my chances of ever seeing Jasmine again. And now you're moving the one female that I cannot stand in the house with us? Where is she gonna go? To a women's shelter with your son? Is that what you want? Whatever. Mama, can you please go apologize to Principal James? Mm. Come on, mama, think about Jasmine. No. Her mama won't let me see her. Keyword, her mama, not your mama. Now take Versace upstairs and show her where she'll be sleeping. I need to run to the store. What do y'all want? I don't know why my mama allowed you to stay here, but let's get a couple of things straight. Number one, whatever happens in this house while my mama is not here, you will keep to yourself. Let me dumb it down for you. I know you dropped out of high school. You are blind. You see nothing that goes on in this house. We each have chores that we are assigned. You will now take some of that responsibility. As a matter of fact, you'll be taking all the responsibility. We throw house parties when our mama goes to work at night. When these parties occur, you do not. Dumb it down for her, Kyrie. She does not have her high school diploma, which means she has trouble comprehending. You're not invited to the parties. Are you getting any of this? Because I don't feel like you're taking it seriously. <laughs> During the duration of my stay, you both will stay the fuck out of my way while I try to get Savon back. And if either of you try to hinder that, Brian, I'll tell your mama that you have a 57-year-old sugar daddy somewhere in Atlanta. And Kyrie, I'll tell your mama that she knew about the 57-year-old sugar daddy. Brian, what the hell is she talking about? Even if that were true, what makes you think my mama will believe you over me? Now, Brian, did you not think I wouldn't gather my receipts? I screenshotted your profile on the Sugar Daddy's website. Now, your mama operates like a lead detective, and she will investigate if this information is brought to her. So you stay out of our way and we'll stay out of yours. Not quite. You help me get Savon back, and this information stays with me. So that's why you conned your way into our house. The thing is, he loves Jasmine and hates you. Okay, well y'all's task is to make him see that he's really in love with me and hates her. Yeah, but Jasmine didn't sleep with our brother. You did. <gasps> You're right, I forgot about that. So we need to find a way to make her look worse than me. Hypothetically speaking, let's say I have a way to make that happen. Will you leave? Brian, you are not seriously considering this. Look, mama will kill me if she finds out and then kill you for being guilty by association. If I get Savon back, sure, I'll leave. You're right, my mama is a detective. So she'll call your mama if she hasn't already to find out what really happened and if you really got kicked out. 
Kyrie, now you know I am not stupid. I knew y'all mama was going to investigate. Which is why I made sure my mama changed her phone number and her location. You strategic little bitch. We'll help you and then you'll leave. Mama, I have some information for you. I'm listening. Brittany has been lying to you. Be more specific, Kyrie. She never got kicked out of her mama's house. She's only here for Savan, and she's blackmailing Brian to help her. You said that she was blackmailing your brother. What does she have on him? Mama, the bottom line is that this girl plays you. She will be dealt with accordingly. Now, what does she have on your brother? Alexa, Kyrie, you already know how I'm going to come. It's about to get real physical around here. So I suggest you start talking or there goes your ass along with Brittany and Brian's. Brian has a 57 year old sugar daddy that lives in Atlanta. I'd like to be granted full immunity from all further action from you. Close my door on your way out. Tanika, what is this about? When I am ready for one of y'all to speak, I will inform you. But I just don't understand why I'm here. Now, if I knock your head off your shoulders, would you then be able to comprehend what I meant when I said I will inform you when I am ready for you to speak? The thing is, you're popping off at the mouth about everything but the reason I'm in here. And Tanika, <laughs> please understand that I've never been scared of you. You ain't gotta be scared to get your ass beat. Mama, I can explain. Mama, I can't explain. I was just bored and went online and found somebody who said he would buy me stuff. That's not my concern. My concern is that you find her more terrifying than me. I don't. So why didn't you tell me about Mr. Earl Gibson in Atlanta? I didn't know how you was gonna react if you found out. Trick, I am ready for you to speak. Oh, I can speak now? That bag has quite a few swings left in it. Look, I don't owe nobody no exclamation. Explanation, stupid. And you're right, you owe me nothing. I knew what type of time you was on when I let you stay here. I just wanted you to prove me wrong. You have two minutes to go upstairs and get your stuff and get out of my house. Here's what you're going to do. You are going to clean out Mr. Earl Gibson's bank account and give me all of it. Every last cent. Or I can beat your ass and you still clean out Mr. Earl Gibson's bank account and give me all of it, every last cent. Fine, outstanding. Versace, I don't hear you moving up there. All right, mama, I'm about to head to the skating ring. That didn't sound like you were asking me, more like telling me. Well, I mentioned this to you yesterday. I remember. I said that I would think about it. I didn't give you an official answer. Mama, can I go to the skating ring? With who? Jared, Corey, and Miles. Well, I've never met them, so that's a red flag. What time were you supposed to be coming home? I was going to be back around 12 or 1. Something's not quite right. The skating ring closes at 10. It only takes you 30 minutes to get home, so you would have arrived here at 10.30, not 11 or 12. That's another red flag. Okay, I'll be home at 11. We were just hanging out after that. Okay, I see. So you had intentions on doing more than just the skating ring and you weren't going to tell me about it. That is a total of three red flags and your evening is now canceled. So I can't go to the skating ring? No. However, you can get out of my kitchen and go to your room. Mama, may I go to the movies with my friend Trey to see Spider-Man? And then can I go to the mall afterwards? 
I'll be sharing my location with you while I'm out. That sounds legit. Call me when you get there, son. This is my friend, Carmen. I am honored to finally meet you. Savan talks about you all the time. We were just gonna go upstairs and play video games. You play video games? Oh no, ma'am, I was just gonna watch. <laughs> Savon talks about you all the time. And what exactly does he say? Uh, well, that you're a good mom? <laughs> Savon, if I can't get none in my own home, neither can you. Mama, it's not like that. Take her ass to a hotel. Ma, it's not like that. So you introduced her for what? I wanted you to see who I'm bringing to your house. Okay, and now I'd like to see her out. <laughs> Your mom is funny. Hey. Hello. Look, I wanted to apologize for my mother's behavior the last time we all saw each other. I know she could be a bit much. A bit, not a lot. However, I love you, Miss Tamika, but throwing that bag at her didn't make the situation any better. Jasmine, where are you going with this? Because it sounded like we were on the same page for a slight second, and now it sounds like we're off of the same page. So where, what are we doing? But she's agreed to let the past see the past and allow Kyrie to enroll in any school in Texas. I missed you around here, girl. I missed you too, girl. Now, where's Savon? Savon? <laughs> yeah, girl. Savon? My boyfriend? <laughs> <coughs> Mom, we about to... Well, uh, Jasmine is back, so you can go ahead and get rid of Miss Little Laffy Taffy. <clears throat> Carmen, do not. Do not. I will come over there and take your laugh box out. I will rip your laugh box out of your throat. Do not. Is it okay? It looks like it's malfunctioning. Jasmine, I can explain this. She's just a friend. It's okay, I understand. But I'm here now, so she can go. Who can go? You, my love, let me walk you to the door. I've been here since last night. You can go, though. The door's over there. Where you came in. Carmen, I'm asking you to leave. There is no longer a purpose for you. <laughs> Savon, do you want me to go? Yes. Quietly. See, I don't usually ask a second time for a bitch to leave my house. So if you want your bob to stay intact, you'll do what I asked you to do and leave. You know... So, I have some news. I haven't told my mama yet. I wanted to tell you guys first. Um, I'm pregnant. Do you know what time it is, Tamika? Do you want to meet Jehovah? It is five in the morning. Where have you been? Out being grown. I have a serious problem with that. I don't give a fat rat's ass what you have a problem with, Brian. You can't be picking and choosing when you want to abandon your motherly duties. Let me try and find who the fuck you might be talking to. My question hasn't been answered, though. Where have you been all night? It is simply none of your damn business. Okay, so when we sneak out or sneak somebody in, remember that it's none of your business. Okay, here's where you got the shit ass backwards. This is my damn house. Everything that moves in this bitch, I will know about. Supper. Kyrie. 
Is that your name? All right, go upstairs. So what type of time we finna be on? I don't know what my mama got going on and what homeless shelter she retrieved you from, but the same shit applies. Stay out of our way. And if I don't? So you don't remember what happened last time all four of us were in the kitchen together? Y'all scary asses had to jump me because one-on-one -on -one was impossible. You were talking unlimited shit to all three of us, so it warranted a triple attack in one. Y'all really ain't about that life. All y'all finna do is talk shit, jump, then get grounded. Okay, so now you know what type of time we finna be on. Well, at this time, this house is a mess. So clean it, all of y'all, or I'm gonna tell y'all mama y'all not listening to me. Boy, you must have forgot. We don't give a fuck if you tell our mama. Why you acting brand new, Greg? It's a brand new year and a brand new Greg. Y'all real life scared of y'all mama. So disrespect me while I'm here and I will expose everything y'all do in this house. So you're going to snitch during the pillow talk? Absolutely. All sneaky shit will get reported if I get disrespected. What y'all down here doing? Oh, nothing, baby. The boys were just about to wash the dishes and clean the house. Savon, you are so lucky Jasmine's recent pregnancy test was negative. Okay, mama. I don't want no more grandkids, Savon. So if you can't pull it out, then tell my dear Jasmine she needs to learn how to chug it. Ma! Ma, what is the deal with Greg? The deal is mama gotta have a life too. Well, damn, how many lives do you need to have? Mama, somebody ate the rest of my Cheerios. We didn't do it. Baby, we need some more Cheerios. I ate the last box. Hmm. Greg, that was Kyrie's last box. Yeah, well, he needs some more Cheerios. I ate the last box. No, you need to buy him a new box of cereal, Greg. That's not fair. Kyrie! Yeah! I like that shit. I don't know why you have him here, mama, but he's going to get touched every time I see him, and I want my new cereal by the end of the business day. <clears throat> What's up, Lace Front? Hey, Section 8. How are you? Bitch, I will section eight your entire head off your shoulders. <laughs> I want to see that. Tamika, where is my baby? Upstairs taking a nap. He was really tired when you dropped him off earlier. It seems like he's not getting enough sleep at home, you know, with all the roaches crawling all over his face. Jasmine, go find you something safe to do. <laughs> Bitch, I'm in safe mode. What you need to do is get my baby off that pallet of blankets that you have on the floor and buy him a real bed. Your baby? Jasmine, do you want to take a trip to the emergency room? Because I'm about to reach out and touch you. Then reach. And my baby has his own room and bed. A mattress on the floor by itself with no foundation is not a bed. Okay. <laughs> the baby is upstairs if you want to go get him. Hey, Brian, mama asked me to cut Miss Diana's grass, but I ain't doing that shit. So I'm going to need you to do it. Kari, leave me the fuck alone. No, I just asked you to do something. Yeah, but mama asked you to do it. She did. She did ask me to do it, but I I'm not doing it. You are. I'm not. Now get the hell out of my face, ho. But you are. Brian, I will turn your whole world upside down right now. Okay, so turn it, bitch. <sighs> you are really testing my patience. I overheard a little conversation last night about you trying to sneak your boyfriend in tonight after mama goes to work, but we both know I will fuck that up. So go cut her grass like I asked you to. Well, I can fix that. He just won't be sneaking in tonight. Mama! I'ma cut Miss Diana's grass for Kyrie. I don't give a damn who cuts it, it just better get cut. Okay. Thanks, bro. Fuck you, man. Hey, Ma, I'm about to start rapping. You wanna start what? Rapping! Because I'm good at it. You want to hear something? Oh, I was in here. Uh, uh, yo, check it. Uh, uh, it's Young Vaughn on the track. Hey. Where the rest of it at? I used to work at Chick-fil-A, but that my pleasure shit wasn't working for me. Now I'm self-employed and working for me and the pleasure's all mine the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Uh. Don't do that ever again. It is not for you. Close my door on your way out. Listen, I can always make time for you. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you later.
Oh, hurry. You can't be sneaking up on people like that, boy. Listen, I don't know what you think you heard, but you ain't hear shit. That was just my friend. Greg, where my mom at? She's upstairs. She'll be down in a minute. What y'all doing? Hi, mama. Hi. How are you? Oh my god. So, um, I just wanted to let you know that I finally have enough money to get my dream car. I thought you were using Savan's car. Mama, I still need my own car. Okay, so go get it. You said you saved enough money. I'm short a thousand dollars. Then I suggest you save up some more. Mama, please. Mama, please, when you want something. I don't really know if I like you like that right now, Brian. Didn't you sneak somebody in my house the other night? I did see somebody sneaking up in here last night. Greg, you're broke and living off of my mama. You should never speak, ever. How much is this dream car of yours? It is none of your business, Gregory. It's none of my business, but you're over here asking us for our money. My mother's money that she worked hard for? You don't even own a bank account, Greg. The only thing you own is a wallet, and even that's in the negative. Keep talking shit, because when she gives me that $1,000, I might consider giving you some of it, because you clearly need a phone. What are you talking on? What is that in your hand? It's a phone. It flips. What kind of phone flips? Okay, I'll think about it, but don't hold your breath. Mama, don't worry about it. Greg actually told me before y'all came down here that he was going to help Brian out. What? He said that he was going to use some of the money from his unemployment check and his disability check. Boy, I ain't got no damn disability. My apologies. He was on his phone earlier, and I heard him tell somebody that he was going to help Brian out with his car. Is that true? Yeah. Uh, that's nice of you. Um, okay. I need to run to the store and get some groceries. Are you coming with me? Yeah. I'm coming. What the hell just happened? I happened. Savon, tell mama you don't want to be touching the air. Yeah, I'll be touching the air. I'm talking about the AC. The AC? Why would I touch the AC? It's too cold. You turned the heater on last night because your whole ass was cold when you got out the shower. So did I touch the AC or the heat? I'm confused. You look confused. You didn't finish high school. So I don't expect you to understand. I don't. You said I touched the air. Then you said I touched the AC. Then you said I touched the heat. You did! Are you trying to say thermostat? Yes! The thing that you touched because it got hot, so you turned it off? Bitch, you're the one who turned it on in the first place! Brian LaShawn, watch your mouth! Neither one of y'all pay bills in this house, so nothing you do not pay for it should be touched. Mama, it be cold. Put some damn socks on! And I don't want to hear that shit because both y'all asses be sleeping with fans on in 30 degree weather. No wonder why y'all cold. Turn the damn fan off. Now touch my shit again and I'm breaking everybody's fingers. I don't care if you didn't touch it. Okay, and that needs to include Kyrie too. What about Kyrie? Because you be turning the AC on when it's hot. Mr. Powerbottom, what do you be doing with that Astro Glide from Walmart? Shut your ass up. You can't even spell Astro Glide. A-S-T-R-O. You are a bottom and a hoe. Baby, it got cold, so I turned the heater on. Gregory, do you pay any bills in this house? The better question is, who are you going to sleep with tonight? Your seven inch toy or a 13 inch Greg?
Y'all don't touch my shit again. I'm talking to the boys. I'm talking to the kids. Don't touch my shit again. I don't pay shit in here. Do y'all think I'm a joke? No one said that. Did I ask for you to speak? You asked a question, mama. In your mind, it sounds like a question. In my mind, I'm still speaking and I am not ready for you to speak. So how do I know if it's a question or not? Keep talking, Brian, and I'm gonna hit Savon. Mama, you do realize I'm 19 now. You're right, you're right, you're 19. So I'll be squaring up with you and tap dancing on your brother's asses. I didn't drink your Stella Rosa. I do not recall asking who drunk it, I just know that it's gone. That's a problem for me. Y'all have five seconds to tell me who's going first. And if no one answers, I'll just start from oldest to last. <laughs> okay. One, two, five. Now try again, because I said I didn't drink it. Like, you... Savon, you are very fast. But I wonder how quickly you can stop these. Greg, it was Greg. Why are you yelling? Did you, did you drink my Stella? I ain't drink no damn Stella. Baby, I'll buy you some more. <clears throat> One of these days, Savon, I'm going to beat your ass. You think because you're 19 that mama can't touch you. But I can. Gregory, you go in my Stella again without my permission, and I'm going to call your fifth baby mama and give her your social security number. Now, you said you were going to buy me some? Yes. With what fucking money? Go upstairs and get my purse. Uh, baby, what if they out of the flavor you like? Then I would start worrying about what Latanya is going to do with your social security number. Look, baby. baby I want my damn Stella tonight. Take the boys with you. They can be very helpful. Jasmine, can you please stop posting pictures with my baby? Savon, do you have a problem with me posting your child on my Instagram? I didn't think so. I'm the mother and I'm asking you to stop making it look like I'm not the picture. But you are not in the picture and I'm not going to stop posting my baby on my profile. I've always wondered if your hands can back up the shit you talk. I already got your baby daddy. His mama loves me. Your child is getting attached to me and detaching from you. I don't need to fight you. I've already won. You can have Savan. I don't want him or his mama. Versace, listen, I'm not about to go back and forth with a bitch that's below my tax bracket. What the hell is a tax bracket? Something that you cannot obtain. Listen, I might not have daddy's money like you, but I take care of me and my child. Happy Mother's Day. Here are your flowers. You're awesome. If you want me to stop coming for your motherhood, then stop coming for me. But you wish somebody was telling you Happy Mother's Day and talking about your motherhood. Girl, I'm focused on being a lawyer and buying a house, not being someone's unwanted baby mama and someone's dodged bullet. You done? You had enough? Because if you can't afford daycare, then what makes you think you can afford to go back and forth with me? 
Betty, I wanted you to meet my lovely mother, Beverly. His only mother, his biggest supporter, his first love. And did I mention his only love? Mama, this is my woman, Tamika. Gregory, baby, I'll be the judge of that. How old are you, and what are your intentions with my son? I'm just trying to get to the bottom of who you are. My son says you've been feeding him, clothing him. I don't clothe him. When Greg's moved in, he moved in with three pairs of outfits and one pair of shoes from Walmart. He is still wearing those three pairs of outfits and those one pair of shoes from Walmart. Well, that's just sad. Gregory, when you lived with me, didn't I give you the best? Mama, I'm 45 years old with 10 kids. I can't live with you forever. I know, baby, but Mama wants to make sure she's taking real good care of you like I did. And how exactly are you taking care of him? If you cannot answer any of my questions, what makes you think I'm going to answer yours? Look, Miss Banana. Who's Banana? I don't see a banana. Is that not your name? Greg, this conversation with me and her has lasted longer than I've liked it to. Why is she here? Her name is Beverly, baby. And my mama gonna stay here for the weekend. In his room and in his bed. Greg don't have his own room. He sleeps in my bed with me. Doing what exactly? <sighs> It's starting to smell like a Lifetime movie in here. Look, Greg, I don't know what you thought was going to happen with me and her, but it's not going to happen. It's just not. Um, I don't even go back and forth with the bitches that you be texting on your phone. What makes you think I'm going to go back and forth with your mother slash lover? Just because you don't have a relationship with your sons like mine is not my fault. Oh, I do have a relationship with my sons. It's just not a physical relationship. Tamika. Greg, what your young mama got going on? Stop. Are you laying the pipe on your mama? No. Mama, I'm going to get you a hotel. A hotel? Will you be coming with me? Oh, y'all got a freaky mother and son relationship. Hotels too? Can you stop? Look, Biscuit. Beverly. That's what I said. Your son won't be here that long. I just need something other than a toy to play with. When I get tired of looking at him, I'll send him back to you. I could take my baby home with me right now if I wanted to. Then take him. I am not about to compete over a man, a 45-year-old man, who is still nibbling on his mama's titties. Tamika! Come off the titty, Greg. You know what? I've had enough of her, Gregory. She's not the one. I'm the one. Can't you see? Where's the nearest exit? Let's go, Gregory. Look at us, she fiending for you. You're just jealous of us. I'm actually disgusted. You clearly want your son more than I do. So please take him, please. Gregory, go pack your stuff. Yes, go get your three Adidas hoodies and your FUBU tennis shoes from Walmart. Remove y'all's elbows off of my countertops, please. Oh my God. We are not even 48 hours in my new house and I have already found several issues. Such as? Your mouth and your room being a mess. I'm still unpacking, mama. I didn't ask for an explanation. However, I do need a solution. A solution? Sure, sure. When I am done unpacking, I'll clean it up. You see, that doesn't work for me. But it works for me. So try and stay out of my room until further notice, please. Brian, you know who you're talking to. My mom. Then act like it before I forget that you're my child and handle that ass any kind of way. Mama, don't smoke in here. Go in the backyard. Now, the same rules will apply in this house. Example, the dishes. Well, it's quite simple. I don't want to see any. What if we didn't make the dish? I don't care who made them. 
I just better not see them or I'm fighting the first son I see. No questions asked. Next, do not walk around my house barefoot. You both have house shoes for a reason. What about socks? What about what the fuck I just said? Wouldn't socks be the same thing though? Tomato, tomato. Do not go in my snack closet without my permission. <laughs> You'll most likely say no anyway if we ask. See, Brian, that is why you are my smartest child. Not only will you stay out of my snack closet, but you will not ask me to go in it either. As for your grandmother, she will be staying here with us. Mama, go in the backyard. You cannot smoke in here. Girl, start shutting the hell up. Then maybe I can be able to go in the backyard. These rules and regulations were for my sons, not no grown ass woman. Don't let this new house make you forget where you came from. Oh, I remember. I didn't like it, so I came up out of it. <laughs> I didn't like it, so I came up out of it. Well, I did the best I could, damn it. Thanks, Mom. Thanks. Now watch me do better. The porch is that way. And find an ashtray because I don't want no ash on my porch. Boochie ass. Any questions, comments, or concerns? Go clean your damn room. Kyrie, you wanna tell me why you went to a house party after the movies after I only authorized you to go to the movies? Mama, literally all my friends were there. Where the fuck did you initially ask me to go? To the movies. Correct. So who told you you can go to a party without notifying me? Casey's mom was there and she was supervising us. I haven't knocked you unconscious yet. So I'm having a hard time understanding why you're not answering my questions directly. What Mama is trying to say is you should have asked her first. Did she ask you for any help? No, but if your friends jump off a cliff, are you going to jump off one too? Exactly. Oh, so you're letting him help parent now, huh? Um, do you know how many parties this man throws when you're at work? Bitch, take your L! Oh my God, you can never go out by yourself! Excuse me, am I not standing here? Watch your mouth, Brian! Cause guess what? Now you're both grounded! You should've just sat there and stayed on your phone. What is this? My report card. I can see that. Why do you have the F in math? It's not my strongest subject. They started teaching math in kindergarten. You are now in the 11th grade. How are you still having issues a decade and then some later? Because math changes year by year. Find a fucking tutor, O'Brien. How about you be a parent and help me? How about I'm well out of high school and I don't have to? This ain't my report card. You're right, it's mine. So why are you so pressed? How would you like to be pressed into my kitchen floor? Keep talking to me like that. Besides the F in math, I have all A's and B's, mama. Right, you have A's, B's, and one F. It sounds like you can't make up your mind. Pick one letter. I want that shit fixed by next semester. What's up, mama? Who is this, Devon? Oh, she don't have a name. My name is Shay. Shay. You're out of place, Shay. How exactly am I out of place when your son invited me? I, the homeowner, was not informed about your arrival, which makes you out of place. <laughs> Savon, get your mama. Bitch, how would you like to be stretched out on my kitchen floor? No thanks, I get stretched out by your son already. I'm good. Uh, Savon, get this hoe who has a face that only a mother could love out of my house. Um, Savon, is there a reason you left me at the movies last night? Savon, I know you were not turning my house into no hoes pop-up shop. I thought you got rid of this one. Huh? <laughs> Savon has been seeing me since y'all moved. As a matter of fact, I was here last night. That's crazy because I was here two nights before. That's crazy because two nights ago I was with him in Houston. That's crazy because two nights ago that morning I was in his bed. That's crazy because before all that I was in his back seat. That's crazy because prior to that, I was at the pharmacy buying a plan B. That's crazy because I'm two days late. <laughs> That's crazy because now you have to make an appointment at Planned Parenthood. That's crazy because I won't see a doctor until I'm eight weeks along. You know, when I'm able to hear the heartbeat. That's crazy because you won't be pregnant long enough to see a doctor or hear a heartbeat. Damn, mama. 
bit harsh. I want her seen by a clinic. I want her out of my face. And I want that report card to have one letter on it. So y'all mama gone. I think she's gonna be at the store for a minute. No, she should be right back so she can drop you back off from whatever no gated community apartment complex you came from. What I'm trying to say is she's not here and we're all alone. So what y'all trying to do? What you trying to do? Kyrie, hell no. That is your cousin. Why is it so quiet in here? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we wasn't doing nothing. That's interesting. I don't recall asking if anybody was doing anything. We wasn't. We was just we we was just talking. Yes, ma'am. Savon. What's been going on while I was gone? Ma, I don't know. I'm not paying attention to them. Curry. I don't know what you're talking about. Brian. She was in here trying to do something freaky with Savon and Kyrie. I see he lying. He lying. We wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't. I didn't say nothing to them. I wasn't trying to do nothing nasty. He lying, Auntie. Auntie, he lying. He lying, Auntie. Tarika, go get your stuff and wait in my car. I'll be back. Stop playing with my top, Brian. Ain't nobody playing with nothing. How you mad at my friends for being loud? I don't want to hear you and your friends laughing and screaming at 2 o'clock in the morning when I'm trying to sleep. Just like I don't want to hear you taking down somebody's daughter every other night. And keep your friends away from my door. Why are they knocking at my door and playing? Now, I'll be wrong if I open that bitch and knock somebody out. And you would have got jumped. They played a little knock-knock prank. Get out your feelings. Keep them away from my door or all of y'all getting fucked up. You clearly ain't going to do shit. It just happened. And what did you do? Brought me in mama's room to cry about it. I'm letting you know in front of mama that if it happens again, I'm dropping you and your friends. So drop us. Brian, keep your friends in your room where they cannot visit anymore. Okay, and tell him to keep the hoes out of the bathroom we share. You ain't controlling a damn thing around here, especially who comes in and out of my bathroom. Let me catch a hoe in that bathroom and I'ma lace her ass up. These bitches are out of bounds. They are out of place. Keep them in your room. Keep your RuPaul's drag face ass friends in yours. Half my friends are females and won't give you the time of day. Have several seats and some water. I don't want to hear this shit. Y'all both bring unwanted problems to me and expect me to fix it. No, I'm going to give them right back. And you know what? Neither one of you can have company for the rest of the month. Nobody coming in my damn house. I'm in here trying to watch Waiting to Exhale. Y'all know how I am about my movie. Do not interrupt. So, Ma, I got a hypothetical question. Okay. Hypothetical. Okay. As in, it has not happened yet. Okay. Like when I ask, you can't react because... Hypothetical. Right. I'm listening. Let's say I hypothetically went to Houston this weekend for my friend's birthday party. Didn't I ground you this weekend? You did, but that was for me stealing my phone out of your closet, mama. I mean, that is just ridiculous. And you don't care. But hypothetically, what would happen if I did go? Like, what would be the hypothetical consequences? I would fuck your whole world up. Mom, I was speaking hypothetically. And my response was realistically. It was hypothetical. I don't give a hypo damn. I better not catch you outside of my house this weekend, Brian. Or you'll be getting a theoretical ass whooping. Ma, when my friend Joseph comes in the house and asks if I can stay at his house tonight, say no.
Hey, what's going on, Miss Tamika? Hi, Joseph. H how's your mom? Oh, she's doing good. She actually just said that Kyrie can come and stay the night so we can play video games. <gasps> oh, did she? Yeah, she did. So I was wondering um, if he could come over and stay the night. Um, Kyrie is grounded all weekend, so he can't. Huh. That's weird. We, we just came back from the mall that you, that you dropped us off at. He, not tonight. He can't come tonight. Okay. Well, I mean, he said that if my mom said yes, then you would say yes. <laughs> then he set your clueless ass up. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? He don't want to go to your house. He does not like you like that. Brian! That's not true, baby. What y'all want to eat? Do you know how to make shrimp Alfredo? Do you know how to not exist? I was talking to my children that live here, not my son's unwanted guest. <laughs> well, next time, specify who you're talking to. Bitch, I ain't got to specify shit in my house. You better watch your mouth. Mama, we'll just eat some tacos. Savon, I am not in the mood for tacos. Make her fix some shrimp alfredo like I suggested. Shay, I know you are not talking to my mama like that. Brian, I got it. Savon, I'm only going to ask you one time to get your pet under control. Shay, relax. I am not these other hoes. I am not scared of your mama. Deers aren't scared when they're walking into incoming traffic. I'm not asking you to be scared. However, I am advising you be cautious. Well, you don't have to be rude. You have been rude to me since day one. Yes, I am very rude. I am very rude. It's my house. I'm an asshole. Especially to these little fast ass girls who think they can come into my house and not speak just because they've had a taste of my son. And speaking of tasting your son, if I ever get pregnant, I want you to know that I will be keeping it and I am not going to a clinic. I won't. <laughs> By choice, you won't. By force, you will. Savon, I need you to explain to this little hoe, this clueless hoe, that she could have been dead 60 seconds ago. But I am trying to become a woman of God. So I am choosing my words over my fist. Explain that to her. Mama, can we have some shrimp off right now? Sure. Two plates. Two plates. Coming right up. Okay, boys, I got to run to the store real quick. But I am waiting on an important package. I need one of y'all to sign for it when it comes. Talking to my stove. Sign for a package. Got it. Um, Brian will do it. Okay, Brian, you got it? Um, yeah. I'll be right back. And if my package is not here, I'm tic-tac-toeing on both of y'all's asses. Twenty minutes later. You got somebody coming over? Mm -mm. Ugh, another 20 minutes later. Can someone explain to me why there's a package slip on my front door that says, we missed you, we'll try again in six months? Brian, weren't you supposed to get the package? What? You agreed to get that package. And if I recall correctly, you did. Mama, just whoop my ass. Just whoop my ass, okay? I'm sick of this. His ass ain't never getting in trouble for nothing. The amount of stitches they will have to apply to your mouth if you keep talking to me like that. You'll need plastic surgery. The way I'm going to punch you dead in your shit. I won't even recognize you. Kyrie, what is the last thing I said before I left? I told you that Brian got it, and then you asked him if he got it, and he said, yeah. Mm -hmm. What else did I say? 
blah, 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 blah. Super catchy, fragilistic, espialidocious. I slept with Willy Wonka and I let him sugar spice and everything nice all over my ass. Something about Willy Wonka? I said that if my package wasn't here, I was playing tic-tac-toe on both y'all's asses. My got your package. Damn, Savon! Damn! Why? I wanted to beat their ass! Shit! Pray. Thank God. Thank the man above and thank your brother. All right, now I know y'all staying for the weekend, but don't be loud, don't be in here breaking nothing, and do not bother me or knock on my door unless somebody is dying. Yes, ma'am, we got it. We gonna be quiet, Aunt Tanika. And Brian will get y'all blankets for tonight. And y'all can just sleep in my room. Kyrie, you remember your cousins, Corey and Carisha? They're gonna be staying with us for the weekend. What's up, Kyrie? Corey, Carisha, didn't y'all say the next time y'all see me, it was on site? Kyrie, that was almost two years ago. Did you think the threat was going to expire? We let that go, though. Okay, well, I haven't let it go. I'm still holding on to it. Kyrie, baby, we're going to have a good weekend, okay? Yes, after I catch this fade that they say they were going to give to me, they can have a good weekend. Kyrie, you were talking about us first. I might have. I might have. But then you said you wanted to fight when you saw me, so what are we doing? <laughs> I'm not going to disrespect my auntie's house like that. <sighs> well, I would disrespect the hell out of my mama's house, so... Who's swinging first? Are you serious right now? The bottom line is neither one of us are gonna fight you. We are way older than you. <sighs> See, I don't really do too much of the back and forth because I don't know how to communicate properly. So somebody starts swinging before I do. Kyrie, clearly y'all can hash this out. What is hash? Like a hash brown? I'm not hungry. Ree, all of that is in the past. And I would like to dwell in it. We have matured since then. Well, I, I can't even spell mature, but that's fine. Y'all scary, y'all don't wanna fight. It's not that we scary, we just don't care. But online, y'all was real adamant about getting to me and here I am and I still haven't been touched. We're not mad about it anymore. What part of that don't you understand? Y'all scary, y'all scary. Kyrie. I could fight you if I wanted to. Okay. You said you was gonna do that. I need you to do that. And I'm gonna give you five seconds to do that. Really? Five. Kyrie. Three. Kyrie, you better not. Kyrie! Kyrie! I just came home and I feel like there's a whore in my house. Now, I don't know who brought the whore in. I have an idea. But for shits and giggles, I'm going to go through the roster. Starting with Kyrie. What were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone? Playing my PS5. And if you need proof, just check your balance. I charged your card and bought a new game. But mama, is that really important right now? One of your sons brought a whore in the house. You should be trying to figure out which one did that. I believe Brian was next. Brian, what were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone? Now, I know you are innocent, son, but just tell mama what you was doing. <laughs> yeah, um, I was watching Stranger Things and um, I was on the phone with my friend Katrina. There's a discrepancy in your answer. So I'll be right back. Savan! What were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone, son? Tap dancing, mama. I was tap dancing. Bingo. Where did you hide the germ? In your closet? Under your bed? She in the attic. Oh, I hope you're not talking about the attic that locks behind you. The attic that only I have the key to unlock? Little bitch better get comfortable. She ain't coming out no time soon. Brian! Mama! What were you doing the last two hours that I've been gone? I was watching Stranger Things. You may have been watching Stranger Things, but your friend Katrina is in basic training and she does not have access to her phone. I can't watch this anymore. His little boyfriend is also hiding in the attic.
you're both grounded until further notice. As for the individuals that are in my attic, the only way they are coming out is if y'all contact their parents and tell them to come get them out of my attic. Mama, you'll be arrested. I'll simply say that I did not know that my sons were hiding people in my attic. Hello, Savannah, can you get me out? Is that Shay? <laughs> Shay, you ain't coming out no time soon, bitch. I told you to stay your ass out of my house and look where you done found yourself. Locked in my attic. Mom, this is Miss Brenda. It is finally nice to meet you, Tamika. Brian, ever since you were little, you would find stray animals and bring them in my house. You have now upgraded to finding strangers and bringing them in my house. I thought it was finally time for us to meet, so I insisted on coming over. Savon, go get my safe. Wait, mama, no. This is Trenton's mom. Tamika, I am only here for moral support for Brian. Moral support for fucking what? Why are you so hostile? I see why he's afraid to talk to you. You are brutal and unapproachable. And heavily armed. Brian, what is it that you feel the need to tell me in front of this stranger? She brought me and Trenton tickets to go to Hawaii for me and his anniversary. He said that you were gonna say no and that you would make up any excuse in the world for him not to go. So I wanted to come and find out why. Miss ma'am, hear me loud and clear. I don't have to explain shit to you in my goddamn house about what decisions I make regarding my child. Let me tell you, when it comes to my son, I allow him to feel comfortable in his skin and live gay without any judgment. My son is allowed to live gay, but under my supervision. I haven't forgotten that he is still a minor and I am still responsible for him. I have dealt with parents like you before. If you and I speak for Brian, I will. You ain't got to do shit for my son. He is fine. Brian, what the hell do you be telling this lady? Don't charge him up. He is innocent in all of this. It's me. I'm questioning your motherhood. You cannot question shit. You don't even know me, bitch. You know what? Leave my house right now while you still can. Mom, this isn't about you or her. This is about me. You should trust me enough to go to Hawaii and be responsible. You should have came to me alone without the assistance of someone else's mom. Because I don't give a damn what Trenton's mom lets him do. You are my son. Okay? My answer was going to be the same, regardless of who was involved. So can I go? Hell no! You heard that, Brenda? I said no. Why? Not that I have to explain shit! to you, but my 17-year-old son has no business being in Hawaii with your 17-year-old son alone, with no adult supervision. You don't find that weird? Or are you a weird-ass bitch? Brian, you said it yourself that she wouldn't be open to it, and it's okay. The tickets are refundable. Is there anything else you need moral support for? Get her the hell up out of my house, please. Thank you. I just got off the phone with my friend Janice, who said that her son Devin put his hands on her because she wouldn't let him go out with his friends. Damn, is she okay? Mama. I had to stop and think about what I would do if I was in that situation with the three of y'all. But you're not in that situation. Oh, I know. I just feel the need to tell y'all what would happen if I was in that situation. Mama, is your friend okay? I will line it up with all three of y'all. Now, as a matter of fact, all three of y'all will have to line it the fuck up with me if y'all ever thought about raising a finger at me. Wow. How exactly did we get here again? Be glad that we are just here and not there because ain't nobody gonna be calling a check on me. They're gonna be calling a check on y'all. Are you done? Did you get it all out? And then she said she called his daddy to come handle him. What a weak ass bitch. You see, I don't need y'all's daddy to handle y'all. I'm a tall bitch. I can handle all three of y'all by myself. Is this really happening? I pushed all three of y'all out naturally. No pain medicine because I'm really that bitch. I wish, I wish one of y'all would. I wish one of y'all would. But we are not going to. Ever. I'm glad you know. I'm glad you know. Not even him or God can come down and save you from me if you ever thought about putting your hands on me. Ma. You know what? I don't think y'all hear me. I don't think y'all understand. So we finna practice. What? We finna practice. I'ma show y'all what's gonna happen. Savon, get up. 
Get up and raise your hands at me. Let me show you what's gonna happen. Get up. What happened to my drink that was right here? Savon, did you by any chance touch my drink? Fuck you. Kyrie, did you touch my drink? There was a drink sitting on the counter unattended. I did drink it. Why would you do that? It's not yours. Apparently it wasn't yours either as I did not find it in your possession. I sat it there. I was coming back for it. Next time leave a sign. No, next time don't touch my shit. Sit another drink there and leave it. I'm gonna drink it just because you told me not to. Why would you touch shit that does not belong to you? I don't understand the question, but you sound like you're mad right now and you want to come beat me up. You are more than welcome to do that because you're doing way too much talking right I'm now. I'm not going to touch you. Mama's upstairs. You're not about to set me up. So start shutting the fuck up. Then. I'm not going to shut up, but what you're going to do is replace my drink right now. Or you can come beat me up. I'm not going to touch you. Then get the fuck out my face. Just hit him one time. I'll tell mama you didn't do it. He is absolutely right. That is a brilliant idea. I think that you should try it. I'm not going to touch him because we both know if I hit him, he's going to cry like a little bitch and tell mama. It's not a trap. We both know that neither one of y'all scary asses will ever put y'all hands on me. I just wanted to entertain the idea. Kyrie, I will beat your motherfucking ass. Oh, you have such colorful vocabulary, Brian. I'd like to see you put your hands on my baby. Mama, he ain't even no baby anymore. And he drunk my juice. You talking about the drink that was left on the counter? He asked me if he can have it, and I told him yes. It was left unattended. And this is my house, so at that point, it became mine. What is that? A little gift for Kyrie. What did you put in it? Oh, it's sweet tea, but I added some lemonade. Oh, shit. Hey, I made you something. What is that? It's a drink for you. I made it just for you. I've been a horrible big brother in the past and I wanna change that. So I wanna start by making you some sweet tea. This is where I be a big brother and shit. Kyrie, don't, don't drink that shit. Pour it out. Okay. How's it taste? What y'all doing? Mama, Brian made me a drink. What kind of drink? Uh, it's, it's just sweet tea. Here, my have some. No! 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 No. Why well, can't I try none? Yeah, Brian. Why well, can't Mama try none? You let me try it. Uh, Mama, Kyrie put his mouth on that. Oh my God. Tastes a little sour. What'd you mix with it? Tea and sugar? Wait a minute. Hold on, cause I, I... I know what piss smell like. Mama, it was supposed to be a prank on Kyrie. Did you just give me and your brother some damn piss tea? Ugh, mama, I don't feel so good. Brian, you pissed in this shit? <laughs> oh, Dios mio. I know that you don't care about the girls that your son dates, but 
I thought you should know that I really loved your son. You came over here to talk to me about my son. I just need to understand why your son is the way he is. Like, he can't just move from one girl to the next. Like, I have feelings. Like, what can y'all? Carmen, it is 8 o'clock in the morning, and I am not in the mood for you. Like, I gave him everything. Carmen, you've only had my son less than five seconds, okay? You didn't give him shit but a headache. Now, please leave my house. I don't have these type of encounters with his hoes. No, I'm Tindall. What do you mean? You little girls do not get to stop by my house and talk to me after my son has broken up with y'all. I don't know what the fuck y'all think this is, but I do not have time. Merda, you made time for Jasmine. And I have none for you. Now get the hell out of my house and go find your mother and cry to her. My mom is in Mexico. I can't just run to her and cry. No, but you can fly to her. Your son has broken multiple girls' heart, including mine. You as a woman should have a problem with that. Okay. I said this once and I'll say it again. I don't do this, okay? Usually when my son breaks up with one of his hoes, I don't have to deal with them. I actually, I don't have to deal with them when he's with them, okay? He doesn't want you or your cha-cha anymore. Get the fuck over it. I... Ma, what is this? Savan, why are they both here? I thought I made it very clear to you that my house was not no hoes pop-up shop and that the next hoe of yours that popped up was going to get popped. Get that up, Savan! Savan, I don't understand what you see in her. Like, what did I do wrong? You keep popping up on me and my man and I'm getting sick of it. Callate la puta pera. No one is talking to you. What the fuck did she just say to me? Sería tu pedo culo. Not your cheese, Julio. Pere con notes a Julio. Tu no sabes, Julio. English! Bitch, can y'all shut up? Shit. Ay, está bien, papi. I wonder if I start shooting these bitches if you would take me seriously. Brian, what are you doing? Mama finally let you out your room? Did you come down here to piss at somebody else's tea? I just came down here to study. Oh, would you like some piss tea while you're studying? Kari, I've already apologized to you and right now I'm in the process of changing how I react to things when I'm upset. I'm learning how to be more calm. I don't give two shits about you wanting to be calm. And what did you apologize to me about? I forgot, refresh my memory. Peeing in your cup. Mm. You sick fuck. I would beat your ass, but mama has already done that. Okay. Are you done? I haven't even started, bitch. Mama asked me to babysit the twins because she didn't know if you were gonna, you know, piss in their sippy cups and shit. Can you leave me alone, please? No, the fuck I cannot. So guess what? You'll be babysitting instead of me because I have better things to do with my life. Harry, clearly you are trying to get a rise out of me and it's not going to happen. I am not going to do something that mama told you to do. Yes, you is. Or I'll tell your boyfriend you like pissing in people's cups and shit. That's right, inhale, exhale, because you damn sure ain't gonna do shit. So go ahead, asa, asa. Oh, the universe gave me a sign looking ass. Did the universe tell you to piss in my cup? Shut your motherfucking ass up! Shut your motherfucking ass up! All you do is run your fucking mouth, and I will rip you the fuck apart, bitch! So, Brian, did you sneak out the house last night? Nope. Check your security cameras. Well, they were all disconnected at the time that you went missing. But anyways, here are your options. Ma, what's the point of giving me an option if I can't choose? Well, you're selecting the wrong punishment. Please try and select something a little more aggressive. You're leaving me no ch- All right, you have until the end of the business day to turn in those items to me. Kyrie, you're next. All right, so I confiscated your PS5, but somehow it ended up back in your room. How? What do you mean, how? I went to go retrieve it, mama. Okay, 
Well, go back upstairs and go get it and give it back to me or I'm going to beat your ass. No. Okay. I'm going to go grab my belt. And by the time I get back with it, I better see that PS5 on my counter. Freeze all motor functions. The fuck is she talking about? Reset memory to three months ago. Kyrie, this shit is getting old. We are two days into the school year and your ass is already getting expelled. Mama, I do not like Roosevelt. Send me back to Judson. Did you forget that you got expelled from there too? Start taking some accountability, Kyrie. I am not an accountant. I don't have a degree to process accountability, let alone count. You know what? That's fine. It's fine. You're not about to give me no damn heart attack, so your little ass can rot in alternative school. I know how to get kicked out of alternative school too. Oh my God, where did I go wrong with you? The better question is, where did grandma go wrong with you? I am my mother's child. Hey twin. Savon, I thought I told you I didn't want to see you unless you had my money. I didn't gave this girl another $200 for child support. Where is the original $200 I gave you? I spent it on Shay. You spent my money on this walking lace front? Yes, he did. Since you're forever crying about not wanting any more grandkids. Savon, do you not know how to pull out? Damn! You have managed to get every girl you've been with pregnant and my dumb ass keeps giving you money. Mama, I thought you would be happy. I am disgusted. The person that needs to go to the clinic is your ass for a damn vasectomy. What is that? Permanent birth control for that ass. Don't let her do that. They gonna cut you. Bitch, don't be telling my son what to do. I will do that. I'm his girlfriend. I can tell him what to do. You hold no weight in this house, bitch. I am his mother. I will tell him when to piss and shit. You just lay back when he tells you to. Kyrie, since you think you so bad, you gonna do your little time at alternative school. But when you get out that bitch, your ass is going to Sam Houston High School where them kids come to school with razors in their mouth. You bad. Let's see how long you last there. I did not see that coming. Savon, you're getting snipped first thing in the morning. Hey, mama. Oh, Lord Jesus, Brian, do you really want to test it too? No, ma'am. I just wanted to say happy 40th birthday. And this weekend, I'd like to take it to Olive Garden to celebrate. Thank you. It's ever since you were little, you have always been the first child to tell me happy birthday. You know, Brian, you have just become my favorite child again. Thank you. You have made my day. In the midst of all this bullshit with your brothers, you have made my day. I'll go ahead and let you have him this weekend, Tamika, and then you can have him next weekend as well. So you don't see me standing here? Does that work, Tamika? That's fine. You're eventually gonna have to communicate with me about my son. As long as you are broke living with your mother and she is paying child support, I will not. He's still my son. Biologically, yes. Mentally and financially, no. I'm here every time you drop my son off. For like an hour and then you're off with whichever hoe this is. My name is Shay, I didn't ask. But you're not going to sit there and call me a hoe. Would you prefer the term slut or whore? Girl, how many times have you been pregnant? I'll wait. Ugh, oh, enough. Versace, thank you for stopping. Tamika, your son gave me chlamydia. Mm-mm.
I didn't give you anything. Saman, I've only been with you and only you. That was months ago, Carmen, and I've only been with you and Shay. I stand corrected, whore. Tamika, I'll go ahead and go. I see you have a bunch of STDs on your hand. I'll see you this weekend. So Brian, what was all that shit you were talking on Facebook? You were saying something about cousins sleeping with cousins and I feel like that was directed towards me. You quiet as a mouse right now, but has so much fucking mouth on social media. And now that I'm here, you ain't got shit to say. I don't be talking about all the shit you be taking up your ass, but you have the audacity to talk about me and other family members. What I do with other family members is my business. So you ain't got nothing to say? Bet. So you ain't got nothing to say? Bet. Say something, I'm gonna throw this water on you. Take it down a couple of notches. My daughter called you gay. Okay, so what? That is no reason for you as a male to put your hands on her. I'm sorry, that is not what happened. Brian, what other reason do you have for putting your hands on my daughter? Tara, I don't know who the fuck you think you might be yelling at, but it ain't my child. So I'm gonna ask you again. Take it down a couple of notches, or it will get real aggressive around here. Now address me and not my son. I will respect you because you are my older sister. But I'd like to know, what corrective actions do you have planned for Brian's behavior? <laughs> I love the change in tone because you know fucking better. Now, according to my son and my other son and his girlfriend, Tarika threw a drink on Brian. Auntie, the drink didn't even get a chance to land on him. He attacked me. What was I supposed to do? Sit here and let her throw a drink on me? Yes. Yes. Tamika, because he is a male, he should have sat there and let his female cousin attack him. Okay, for one, none of my sons are going to ever allow anyone to attack them, male or female. But you know what? I feel like I'm asking the wrong questions here. What started all of this, Tarika? Brian was spreading rumors. About what? You know what? It's okay. I, I forgive you, Brian. Can we go, Mama? No! You cannot go! You didn't set up here and created all this mess. So you're gonna tell your mama and me what this rumor is. Spit it out, Tarika. Why am I now being yelled at? He's the one who attacked me. I accused her of sleeping with family members. Mama, he lying! He lying, mama! I didn't sleep with nobody, mama! What are you doing about the next year? He lying! He lying, mama! He lying! Now, Brian, that is a big accusation, son. So what proof of that do you have? Majority of our cousins, Jaquez, Tariq, Eric, Corey, Charles, Marcus, Brandon, Uncle Tommy. Uncle Tommy? My brother Tommy? Your Uncle Tommy? Tarika! 
Oh, I'm not done. Damien, Jerron, Britton. Oh, and Kyrie. Who? Come again? I know you ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I know he ain't talking about my... Oh, oh, oh. I know he ain't talking about my son, Tarika. I don't remember Kyrie. I need to know why I had to have a friend drop me off here when one of you bitches could have came and picked me up from the airport. Mama, please, we have a serious situation that is going on right now that requires your attention. Well, I ain't got no money, so... Mama, we don't need no money. Tariqa, tell your grandmother what's been going on. Grandma, all your grandsons have been trying to make a pass at me. Be specific, you little bitch, because you have yet to answer my question on Kyrie. I already told you I didn't touch Kyrie. Who in the hell are you bucking at, Tarika? Tamika, y'all flew me down here to tell me that Tarika been hoeing with her cousins. Not just her cousins, but Tommy, too. Tommy? My son, Tommy? Your uncle, Tommy? Tarika, that is just foul. But I'm not surprised. You get it from your mama. Excuse me? Well, you slept with my ex-husband, Earl. And now look at your daughter. Sleeping with your brother. <laughs> mama, what are you going to do about this situation? Your granddaughter just sat here and told you she is sleeping with everybody in the family. Tara, I don't know what you expect me to do. If I couldn't keep you, Tamika, or Tanya's legs closed, what makes you think I can keep Tarika's legs closed? Wow, I expect nothing less from you. And you know what? Your ex-husband, Earl, was nasty. He came on to me and Tamika. And both you bitches obliged. Okay, Mama, I believe that ticket was round trip. Do you need somebody to drop you back off at the airport? Oh, well, that is very thoughtful coming from you, Tamika. But no, my dear friend Jasmine will be dropping me back off at the airport. Who? Oh. to interrupt whatever this is but what is this yeah what is this Shay do you live here no but my boyfriend okay then so shut your ass up and be seen and not heard I don't understand why you would want to be somewhere where you are not welcomed nor wanted Tamika I just came to apologize to you and Savan about everything oh you mean about what your brother did I hope that you both can forgive me. Well, they don't. And Savon, why do you keep looking at her like that? Like what? Like he wants to be over here and not over there? But he is not over there. You are absolutely correct. A mutual decision that me and him both made. And in result, he went and found the easiest hoe to fuck on. Girl, I'm never easy. Me and him are actually in an exclusive relationship. An exclusive relationship that has resulted in several unwanted pregnancies and chlamydia that you have contracted and served. How do you know about that? Listen, I am not here for this. Well, I am. I've been waiting for an encounter with you. An encounter with me is something that you cannot afford. Do not write a check that you cannot cash. Bitch, I'm rich. Let's go. You really came here because you want my man back. And to be quite honest, I can have him back by the snap of a finger. So snap it. Oops, now that I am back in the picture, I understand that you are not wanted nor welcomed here. Is that true or false? Savon! Oh, you clueless hoe. Looking to him for direction is not going to save you. What was your name again? Shy! Uh, I mean Shay! Oh, poor thing. Your head must be spinning. You can't even gather your thoughts. Bitch, I will fight you! Do you know how many hoes that he has been with that have wanted to fight me but were all unsuccessful? I ain't these other hoes. I will really fight you. Hmm. 
Hmm, that may be true, but what would I gain from fighting a bitch who meant absolutely nothing to him? I did mean something. Probably for a good two to three minutes on your back. But even then, I know you've heard him whisper the name Jasmine a few times. You probably even heard him whisper my name while he's dreaming. Tap out whenever you're ready. Bitch, you know what? No, I don't know. I do have a question, though. What would you like your method of transportation to be? An Uber or a bus? I'm a rich bitch. I don't ride either of those. How will you be getting home, then? Savannah is going to take me. I do apologize, but he is currently unavailable at this time. Please select another option. Tanika, please make her stop. Oh, dear Shay. Now that it's between you two women, I will not get involved. When you leave, then I will stop. Until then, can we discuss why your hair has no part in the middle? Did you put the wig on backwards? <gasps> Did you decide on what your method of transportation will be? You mix matching again. Ma, I got all A's and a B in Spanish. I don't like all these different letters, Brian. Mom, just in case you didn't know, normal parents will be okay when their child gets A's and B's. I'm black and I have a B in Spanish. I know Espanol. The problem is I brag to my friends about you being a straight A student, and yet there is nothing straight about this report card. Why are you bragging to your miserable no man having divorce club friends about my report card? Because they like to brag about their kids. My friend Michelle likes to brag about her son Eric and how he's valid Victorian at his school. Bitch, my son Brian has a four-year scholarship. To Harvard. I'm not going to Harvard. Damn it, Brian, why? Because Trenton got accepted into a two-year college here in Texas. Trenton does not have a four-year scholarship. Let me get this straight. You can pick any university on the planet, but you are choosing to follow that damn boy to a two-year college. Kyrie, tell mama to look at your report card so she can get off my back. I haven't even touched the surface of your back. We will finish this conversation later. Jesus, Kyrie, you got an F in math. Mom, I don't know what she was thinking when you saw my report card. Everybody can't be Brian and get all A's and B's and get four-year scholarships. <laughs> Mama, I know you were not somewhere smoking with my child. Tanika Stavon ain't no child no more. He is 19 years old with a child of his own. Is this what your life has become, Savon? No job, living with your mother, a child that I'm taking care of, and now smoking with your grandmother? You know what? Yes. Yes. I'm a bum, and I'm proud of it. You're so focused on Brian and what school he's going to attend okay. that you're not even focused on me and Kyrie. Because if you were, you'd known that I got a job at Wendy's. Flipping unseasoned patties. What an accomplishment. Shut your bougie ass up. You think you better than me? I am what you felt to be, and you're the oldest. Bring your bitch ass over here and say that shit. Now, Savon, you know you don't want me to come over there and say it again. I will beat your ass, oldest and all. What is going on? Tamika, what have you been doing to my grandbabies? Grandma, she hasn't been doing anything with me and Savon. Just her pride and joy, Brian. Where is this coming from? Oh, gosh, mama, that's a good question. Let's start with your lack of attention for me. You've missed two parent-teacher conferences so that you can go on college tours with Brian. Grandma, you want to go play bingo? You know, since my mama don't got time for me no more, you know, I don't have a four-year scholarship and all. You know what? Both of y'all can shut the fuck up. Because I do the best I can with what I am given. These parent-teacher conferences, your ass goes in my phone and you block the school number. And then you delete the emails from the school. Do you not? You don't want me talking to these teachers. And as for you, oh, you done lost your damn mind. I cannot help it that I have one child left who gives a flying fuck about his future. So I break my back to secure it. Now, feel free at any time to start giving a fuck about y'all's future. And I promise this back can break some more.
Now, all four of y'all get the hell out of my kitchen. Uh, I'm the mama. You can't talk to me like that. You're the mama living with the daughter. I take care of you. Savon, on 10 20, 2022, you were home when I was falsely accused by Brian of stealing mama's car. Mama, your honor, can you please instruct the defendant to ask an actual question? I am asking a question, your honor. Savon, you were home with Jasmine watching TV. Objection, cause for speculation. Sustained, please ask an actual question, Curry. Savon, were you home that night and did you see me leave my room? I don't remember. Well, let me help you remember. You were home that night. With your door open, my room is across from yours. You would have seen me leave my room. Objection, leading, sustained. Did you see me leave my room? What do you mean? Your Honor, could you please instruct the witness to stop being a dumbass and answer my question? Answer the question, Savon. I didn't see you in your room. Yes, you did. Stop lying. You saw me in my room. Objection, badgering. Badger these nuts, Brian. Sustained. Watch your mouth, Kyrie. Did you see me take mama's car keys? I don't remember seeing you in your room and mama's car keys were gone. Is that because you went looking for them with the intentions of stealing the car for yourself? Objection. Withdrawn. I have no further questions for this witness, your honor. Next witness. Jasmine. Yes, sir. Did you at any time see Savon take my mama's car keys? Objection. Relevance. Did you see me leave my room? I honestly was not paying attention to your room. Is that because you were too busy being bent over? Objection. Cause for speculation. Speculate these nuts, Brian. Objection. Badgering. I do know that me and Savon were in the house all night and we heard a car start up. But Kyrie was nowhere to be found. Lies! Your Honor, this witness has been coached into saying that. I want a mistrial. You're grounded. Curry, you're grounded. All right. Oh, okay. What's up, mama? Leave me alone, Curry. I'm not in the mood. Oh, good. Then I can tell you about your other son's whereabouts. I know where all my children are. Do you? Do you really know? If you know something and you're withholding information, I'm going to beat your ass, too. Savon told you that he was at the movies with Jasmine and that they're spending time with each other today. But he's actually not even with Jasmine. He's with Shay. And they're out somewhere shopping using your credit card. And Brian told you that he's hanging out with his friend Katrina today because she's back from basic training. But Katrina doesn't come back from basic training for another four weeks around Thanksgiving time. Now, I do know that Trenton's parents are out of town right now and he has the house to himself. <sighs> <sighs> and I know he tearing his ass up. Also, that stain that's on your sheet that you can't get off literally comes from Shay. Savon said that his bed was too small and he needed a king size mattress. So he used yours, mama. Mama, my phone off. Yeah, mine too. Interesting. Mine isn't. Can you call at and and ask them why it's off? How was last weekend? Um, not that interesting. You and Katrina didn't have a good time, you know, hanging out? Uh, we did. We had fun. Hmm, interesting. You know, I called her mom because I wanted her to stop by the house before she went back to basic training. And her mom told me that she won't be back home until Thanksgiving.
So I guess I'm busted too. What do you mean? We lied about our whereabouts and Kyrie must have told you. But mama, I'm grown. I can do whatever I want. Oh, then leave. To be honest, Savon, I'm getting real sick and tired of taking care of your grown ass. Get the fuck out already so I can save some damn money. Leave and go where? I have nowhere to go. Sure you do. You can go live with Shay and tell that little bitch the next time I see her, I'm taking her down. WWE style. Because I know damn well you didn't steal my credit card and spent money on that little whore. Mama. I said I wasn't going to kick you out ever again. But you know what? Effective immediately, I want you out of my damn house. All because I stole your credit card? And because your sick ass decided to lay Shay's ass down in my bedroom and didn't even have the decency to replace my damn sheets. Alright, that was a mistake. But you know what? You do this, you'll never see your grandson again. Huh? <laughs> you forgot that me and your baby mama, we're co-parents. You are just a part-time babysitter. Wow, mama. Wow, Savon, you stole my credit card and left stains on my sheet. You're dirty, and I am ashamed to be your mother right now. Mama! Brian! Your phone will be off for the rest of the year. Your outside activities are non-existent. The only time you will see the light of day is when you go to school, and I will be dropping you off and picking you up. Your social life is now canceled, along with your relationship to that damn boy. Kendrick, I am so glad to have you stay here, and I'm really sorry about Uncle Teddy. It's okay, cousin. And thanks for letting me stay here. I know he wouldn't want me anywhere else. <sighs> now, I do have a few house rules, though. One of them is to stay out of my way, or you'll find yourself strapped to the highway. Boy, I used to lock you in the closet when you were little, and you used to cry for your mama. <laughs> <laughs> try locking me in one now. I want to see you try. You were saying, Cousin Tamika. All I ask is you respect my house. And Kyrie. Yes, ma'am, I got it. But I'll just be going to work and back. I don't really do nothing. Oh, you have a job? Yes, and I plan on paying my way while I'm here. Wow. If only my oldest thought like you. Where is Savon? Out of sight, out of mind. Where you will find yourself if you mess with me. Kyrie, enough. Mama, can I talk to you? I am not approachable at this moment. This is my cousin Kendrick. He'll be staying here with us for a while. Damn, Brian, you didn't got big. And where would he be sleeping? Well, I figured since I just finished out cleaning Savon's room, I... Put my brother's stuff back in his room. Who the fuck are you yelling at, Brian? You, mama. I'm sorry, but you can't sleep in my brother's room. Uh, that's fine. I don't want no problems, cousin. I'll sleep on the couch. Boy, my mama don't even like people sitting on her couch. What makes you think she gonna let you sleep on her couch? No, it's fine. This is my damn house. Kendrick, that room is yours. <sighs> and by the way... Kendrick has a job, no kids, and it's going to help me pay bills. Something that Savon didn't do. So if you want your brother's stuff, it's over there in the garage. You can have it. Put it in your room. You know what? You're the worst. The way you handled me that night. You know what, Brian? I want you to help me parent. Tell me how to parent. You have snuck out of my house several times to see that boy. You have lied to me several times to see that boy. Tell me, how do I discipline you? Help me. Well, for starters, maybe if you didn't deprive me of my relationship with him, then I wouldn't have to lie and sneak to see him. I am not having this conversation in front of Kendrick. It's not Kendrick. It's you having to face the fact that you're a homophobic asshole of a mother. If that's what helps you sleep at night, 
then I'll be that homophobic bitch of a mother. Wow. I allowed you to see Trenton. I allowed him to see you. I allowed you to be gay comfortably in my house. I allowed Trenton to be in my house. I wasn't a homophobic asshole then, was I? No, it's only when I discipline you, then I become a monster. Now, Brian, you have not seen the surface of homophobic, and that is because I am protecting you from it. Do I understand your sexuality? No, but I love you. I accept you, and I am proud of you, whether you believe it or not. There are worse parents than me. And at the end of the day, you are still a child. You are my child. You are my responsibility. And you live in my damn house. So you will follow my rules and do as I say. Or there's the door. Now, can you show Kendrick to his new room? Mama, but Savon is gone. He's gone, Brian. Do I like it? No. Do I want him gone? No. But how many times do I allow him to disrespect me in my house? My bed, Brian? Have you and Trenton been in my bed? No. No. He went a little too far. Some things I will not tolerate. Some things I will not allow. That was beyond disrespectful. He's gone. Savant, you are too old to be having dad's weekends. So what are you doing here? It's Savant. And I was hoping I could speak to my father. Anything you have to say to my husband, you can say in front of me. You ain't my dad, Karen. Where is he at? Well, he's at work. Something you clearly have no experience in. Savon, what's going on? I haven't seen you in almost a year. I thought you said he was at work. Honey, your son's here. Dad, can I please speak to you in private? No, you cannot. You are in my establishment, and you will speak in front of me. Relax. So anything you gotta say to me, you can say in front of my wife. My mom kicked me out. Well, that's too bad. But don't worry, my best friend Caitlin owns a homeless shelter, and if you leave right now, you might be able to catch them before they fill their last bed. I'll go ahead and give her a call and let her know you're on the way. Karen, you are not putting my son in a homeless shelter. Michael. Oh my God, we can't just leave him out on the street. You're right, which is exactly why he'll be staying here with us. No! I mean, we have three children and only 10 bedrooms. Where would he sleep? We have no room, honey. I'll clean out my office. You can sleep in there. Uh, Michael, you aren't asking the right questions here. Why were you kicked out in the first place, Savant? Well, I didn't have a job at the time, and my mom said that she got tired of taking care of me, so she kicked me out so she could save some money. Well, you know, this is my house, my rules. You will be getting a job so you can provide for your son. No exceptions. Ugh, fine. You can stay in your father's office. But, Savant, be mindful of what you wear when you're coming in and out of the house. This is an all-white neighborhood. They're not used to seeing... Niagara's. What? Blacks. There are black people in this neighborhood. Yeah, that cut the grass. But none of them own a home here. My mom actually lives up the street. Her entire house actually looks like this. I don't want to see any whores in my house. I don't want to see any of your boys from the hood in my house. You will not become a bad influence on my sons. I don't want them seeing that. Noted. Also, note this. When my parents are in town... I need you to dress up like a waiter. Karen, what the hell? Now, honey, you know that you're the only color that my parents accept. 
My father has a bad heart. And if he sees another colored with a do-rag, he'll have a heart attack. Son, everything's gonna be okay, all right? And tomorrow I'll go and talk to your mother. No, no. I don't want her to know where I'm at. Well, that's too bad. I'm gonna have a conversation with her. I wanna rub in her face that her son was homeless and I took him off the street. I don't think she would wanna see you. So please, just leave it alone. It's fine. Um, can my son visit from time to time? Oh, yes, that's good. Your son is black. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, yes. Because we can adopt him. We can adopt him. And I can tell all my friends I adopted a black baby from Africa. Our kids are black. Michael, this is my last time telling you that my children are biracial. They're not black. You want to not address them as such. If you cannot say they're biracial, simply tell people that they are white, never black. What can I do for you? I wonder how a ghetto hood rat bitch like yourself was able to obtain a house of this magnitude. Let alone be allowed to live in this neighborhood with people who are far more superior than you. See, the old me would have slaughtered you before you could even fix your mouth to say something. But I am in such a good place in life that not even my ex-husband's white whore could upset me. I am a very rich housewife who wants for nothing in this life. No, just a new nose or breast or ass. Hm. Your pimp daddy must have gotten you this house. Did I see you shopping in luxuries and beyond the other day? You can't even afford a sample in that store. What are you doing in there? Well, effective this past Monday, I am the new store manager. I'm there five days a week. You're the store manager? How are you the store manager? And what happened to Beth, who's been the store manager for the last 14 years? Karen, effective today, you are now banned from my store. You are not allowed on the premises. And if you are seen, the local authorities will be notified. You will fix your vocabulary. You cannot speak like that to a superior white woman such as myself, let alone ban me from a store that I've done nothing wrong in. Well, you came to the home of the store manager and threatened me. I do not feel safe with you in my store. And I will explain that to the police. <gasps> Just call me the Black Karen. I have spent thousands in that store. And while we do appreciate you spending your husband's money in our store, you will not be missed. And there will be other customers who will spend just as more. God, you are so ugly with wrinkles. I thought you got Botox. You bitch! I came in here to tell you that I have something in my home that belongs to you. Oh, Karen, Michael does not belong to me anymore. I mean, yes, he has cheated on you several times with me. And he was even sweet enough to pay off my last house with your children's trust fund. He did what?! Wiped their little futures completely out. I mean, there's not even a dime left for them. You are so Savon was seen at my best friend's homeless shelter and I went to pick him up and now he's living in my home. My son is living with you and Michael didn't tell me? He doesn't have to tell you anything, bitch. As a matter of fact, Savon didn't even want you to know because you're a horrible mother. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, cousin, I cleaned the kitchen for you. Curry, I thought I told you to clean the kitchen. Mama, I thought it didn't matter who cleaned the kitchen as long as it got done. I mean, that's what you tell me, Brian and Savon. Oh, it's, it's not a problem, cuz. I just wanted to help out around the house. Kendrick, I would tell my mama what's a problem and what is not. <laughs> Curry, you do know that technically I am an adult. Kendrick, you do know that male, female, infant, child, adult, senior citizen, or unicorn, I will still fight you? Enough! Kendrick, thank you for cleaning the kitchen. What do you want for dinner? You know what? Whatever Kyrie wants for dinner. I want seafood. Do you have seafood money? 
You got BD money and you make $87,000 a year. You got seafood from the Pacific Ocean money. What is BD money? You still get child support for me and Brian. <laughs> you know what, cuz? We can eat some tomato soup. I saw a few cans in the cabinet. Well, that's too damn bad because all four of those cans are Savans and he's not here, so they will not be touched. You know, I really don't care about this tomato soup situation. Mama, Kendrick, Mama, I already said what I wanted to eat, so why is that being disregarded? You're right. Your brother is gone. But this is my damn house. And everything in this house, I bought. Including that tomato soup that we will be eating for dinner. And Kyrie, start watching your damn mouth when you talk to me. You clearly are watching it for me, so why do I? Kyrie, say something else smart. Try it. Not only am I going to knock you dead in your shit, but I'm going to send you to live with your grandmother. Which one? Tammy. Tamika, I hope you don't mind I let myself in. As a matter of fact, I do mind, Pam. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Start locking your door. I just left my son's house and I saw my oldest grandchild is there. He told me that you kicked him out. Before you start, how are my Brian and Kyrie doing? I'm fine, Grandma. Kyrie. Grandma, I've been instructed not to speak or I will be sent to live in the projects. So you're just kicking all my grandkids out, huh? You know what, Pam? <laughs> I am getting real sick and tired of everybody thinking they can keep disrespecting me. If you are sick, seek medical attention. If you are tired, find somewhere to rest. I will not be questioned in my own home. Savon stole my credit card and brought a girl into my bedroom. Not that what goes on in my house is any of your damn business, but one can only take so much, Pam. I much rather kick him out than put my hands on him. And the same thing goes for Kyrie's disrespectful ass. Kyrie, from this point on, you would not disrespect your mother or I will cancel your PlayStation Plus membership. I turned that shit off three months ago. So you mean to tell me you went behind my back and went to your grandmother and got her to turn it back on? I was not aware. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't aware of the reason Savon got kicked out. I have raised these kids by myself without the help from your son or you. Nobody's going to tell me how to raise my damn kids. Now cancel his damn PlayStation membership. Does she have to be in the room? I was here before you got here. Why would I leave? Because I need to talk to Tamika. And I need to keep her out of jail. So for your protection, I'll stay. I came here to apologize for allowing Savon to use your credit card on me. I'm also sorry that he took me to a room that I did not know was yours. Jasmine, I don't know what you're smirking for, but this has nothing to do with you. So stay in the little corner and keep your mouth shut. Although me and Savon are no longer together, I want you to know that I was still with him when you decided to mess around with him. He cheated on you. Get over it. Okay, it's Thanksgiving. I'm not about to go back and forth with a female who has a prescription for Plan B pills. Shay. I told myself the next time that I saw you that I was going to put my hands on you. But I said I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck. You left stains on my sheet. I had to burn my entire bed. And you think I give a fuck about your apology? <sighs> what am I supposed to do with that apology, Shay? You are a sick, disgusting little bitch. And you have disrespected me to the max. So I don't give a fuck about your apology. I'll wipe my ass with that shit. And make no mistake, the only reason why you are still sitting in that chair and I have not touched a hair that is attached to your braids, that is attached to your scalp, is because it is Thanksgiving and I cooked. And I would not be going to jail for assault with a deadly weapon. All right, Tamika, I'm gonna leave you for the boys wake up. 
Greg, I told you just leave quietly. You do not have to tell me when you're leaving. I do not give a fuck. Daddy? What the fuck did she just call you? Shay, what the hell are you doing here? Daddy, are you sleeping with my boyfriend's mom? Gregory. This is your daughter? Uh, well, well, baby, yeah, but I, I don't take care of her. She grown. She she take care of herself. I don't, pay, I don't pay nothing. My money is still yours. Lord, what the hell is happening? What is happening? This, this is your child. Looks like you'll be seeing more of me. Oh my God, you have missed a lot. Mama moved her cousin in your room. What cousin? Her cousin, Kendrick. Who is that? Exactly. And I tell her, don't get too comfortable with him being here because Savon will be back. Savon, don't play with me. I need you back in that house. I like you here at dad's house, I ain't gonna lie. With Karen? <laughs> I mean, she really ain't that bad once you get inside of her. What? Once you get to know her. She really ain't that bad once you get to know her. Oh, okay. So the heart. Karen. Bren. Brian. Whatever it is, it's from the ghetto. Brian is an American name, you trailer park built ass bitch. Why do all blacks think us superiors came from a trailer park? I personally have never seen the inside of a trailer. Good for you. Brian, it's Sunday. Shouldn't you be headed home? My father, you know, the one that is financing you, will be dropping me off. Now, if you excuse me, I was talking to my brother. Savon, you need to come back home. Mama misses you. No, she doesn't! Do not feed him those lies! Savon, you wouldn't leave me, would you? I'm not leaving. <sighs> oh, hell no. Savon, are you sleeping with her? No! I'm not. Let me find out, Savon, and I'm telling mama. And what is she going to do? Five beatdowns later, and you are still asking what my mama is going to do. Are you sure you want to know? Why do I have a parent-teacher conference tomorrow morning, Kyrie? Because these teachers don't know how to watch their mouth. What did you do? It's always, what did Kyrie do? It's never what did they do for Kyrie to do what he did. <laughs> you know what? When I was in school, let my mama get a phone call about me acting up. She would tear my ass up. <laughs> Shut up. No one is talking to you. It says here, Miss Jackson, Kyrie continues to be disrespectful in my class. I asked him to put his desk outside of the classroom and he refused to do so. Instead, he grabbed my desk and put it in the hallway and told me to go sit and think about the way I speak to him. I'm going to try this gentle parenting bullshit. I believe I just bought you the game God of War, correct? You did. And as soon as you're done, I'm going to go play it. No, you're not. You're going to go sit in your room. No TV, no phone, no PS5. Just white walls and silence. As for the game I just bought you, um, I believe I still have my receipt, so I will be returning it. Gentle parenting. You know what, Kyrie? Humbly speaking, you can learn a lot from me. Kendrick, 
arrogantly speaking, I still have both parents in my life, so I don't need shit from you. Kyrie! What is wrong with you? Apologize now! Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Kendrick, I am not sorry. You know what? There goes your PS5. I'll be donating that. And now you have to figure out a way to get a new one. And don't even think about asking your grandmothers. Kendrick, I'm so sorry. You wanna go outside and talk? I just need a few minutes alone. When he comes back in here, you better apologize or you will never see the light of day. Mm -hmm. What happened to gentle parenting? <laughs> gentle parenting is not compatible with my sons. Y'all seem to only listen when I'm being hostile and assaultive. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the fuck do you mean made you uncomfortable? Did somebody touch you, Brian? No, no, nobody touched me. Mama, um, if I saw something at dad's house that made me uncomfortable, but I don't want you to go to jail, what do I do? What the fuck do you mean made you uncomfortable? Did somebody touch you, Brian? No, no, nobody touched me. Then what the hell happened? Because I will kill your father and everything that moves in his house. Boy, open your mouth and tell me what happened. Ma, you're scaring me and I don't want to be responsible for somebody dying. Brian, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. You... Gentle parenting activated. Baby, you need to tell mama what happened, okay? It's gonna be okay. You are not in any trouble, but you need to tell me what happened so I can take care of it. Okay? I saw my dad with another woman. Wait, 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 wait. So you saw another woman in your dad's house? Yeah, yeah. Oh, baby, Brian. <laughs> your daddy has cheated on me multiple times. I know y'all have seen a hundred women in my house, okay? That ain't nothing new. Your daddy is a dog, okay? And there's nothing you or me can do about it. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. But it's Karen. We don't care about Karen. Let him cheat on Karen. He ain't cheating on your mama, and that's all that matters. <laughs> my god Brian you had me worried you had me thinking Karen had touched you or something <laughs> because then I have to go see her and then I have to beat that bitch down no then I have to put that bitch six feet under because she better never put her hands on my motherfucking kids ever <laughs> what <laughs> it's just your daddy cheating on her boy I don't care about that Why are you here, Kyrie? Brian's recent behavior has made me curious as to what he has seen here at Dad's house. What did he say he saw? I never said he saw anything, Savon. Is there something that you think he saw? Kyrie, shut up. Your mind tricks don't work on me. Nothing happened here. Ah, so he did lie to Mama. Lied to her about what? He said that he saw Dad cheating on Karen. But from his facial expression and your facial expression, I can tell that he was lying. Okay, quick. Your dad said he got stuck in a meeting and the boys decided to stay the night at a friend's house. Oh, fuck. Uh, Kyrie! Now is not a good time. Oh, it seems like now is a good time. 
for the both of you. I don't know what you're insinuating, but I don't like it. You two enjoy the rest of your day. No, wait, where are you going? Home. I'm going home to our beautiful mother. No, hell no, Kyrie, stay. We need to talk. Uh, Vani. Vani. Let him go. Yo, Karen, do me a favor. Shut up. Go comb your hair. Why? It's just going to get messed up again. Savon, big brother, I pray that mama has mercy on your soul because she is going to wipe her out. What do you want? My boy, there are some things that I cannot remain silent on. There is no amount of money in the world that will keep me quiet. $5,000 for you to keep your mouth shut. Cash at me right now. <sighs> Just like a black person. Okay, so you'll leave and say nothing, right? Oh, hell no. I'm about to go tell my mama. I'm gonna tell her that you've been sleeping with my brother and that you gave me $5,000 to join. What are you working on? Homework. Oh, that sounds terrible. So I went to dad's house the other day. But he wasn't there. It was just Karen Savon. How'd that go? I'm pretty sure they're sleeping together. I just have to figure out a way to tell mama and throw you under the bus, too. Kyrie, I don't know what you're talking about, but whatever you tell mama is on you. I know how to deny it. Hmm. You can deny it, but then I'll tell dad that you told mama that he was cheating on Karen. And you can't deny that because mama heard it, too. What do you want? It's not about what I want. It's about what I need. And I need to see violence. So I'm going to tell Mama. I will literally give you anything. Mm, I'm sure you would. But I must warn you, Karen already paid me $5,000 to keep my mouth shut. And I'm still telling Mama. So if I scammed her, what makes you think I want to scam you? So let me get this straight. You let Karen pay you $5,000 just so you can keep your mouth shut? I did. I know keeping secrets from me is dangerous, so go ahead and spit it out. Mama Karen is sleeping with Savon. She also paid Kyrie $5,000 to keep his mouth shut. And I know this because Kyrie just told me. Well played. Well played. You said that Karen is sleeping with Savon? That's what Kyrie said. Does your father know? Leave it alone.
Mama, Savon can't come back here. He has not apologized yet. And if I tell his father, he will be kicked out and left on the street. Mom, this is an opportunity to let Savon come back here. Hell no, especially since he done slept with that snow demon. He can stay his ass right there. As for Karen, she will be handled. Oh, Mama, how will she be handled and may I watch? You may hand me your entire freedom along with that $5,000 and get the fuck out of my face. Well played. Because that is definitely some shit I would have did to you. Bye, Kyrie! I'm gone. Mama, how are you not mad at Karen? Brian, look, I know you miss your brother, but Savan is grown and has put me through enough, okay? He clearly is trying to get back at me. And I'm not going to let him. Instead of me reacting, I am choosing not to respond. Something I have never done before. Now, had it been y'all, oh, then me and that bitch got a problem. She paid Kyrie $5,000. So now me and that bitch got a problem. And she will have to see me. But as for Savon, I am not addressing him because that's what he wants. That bitch got my ex-husband and now she got my son. And I am choosing not to react. Pat a bitch on the back. Kyrie, the next time you wanna go and run your mouth to your daddy about shit that I say at my motherfucking house, make sure you go pack your bags and go stay with him. You can't get mad at me for something I told my daddy. I told y'all to leave it alone and you still went and tested it. Yeah, after you grounded me and took $5,000 from me, I was upset and decided to call my dad and tell him about what I experienced. Kyrie, I'm not about to go back and forth with you. I ain't whooped your ass in a hot ass minute, but please understand that I will go back to putting my hands on you. What happened to gentle parenting, Tamika? I don't have the desire to be gentle with your ass. You want to continue to have a slick ass mouth? Then it's going to stay rough around here. What you got? So that New Year's Eve party you let me go to, I was, I was drinking. I took some shots. <laughs> that ass is grass. And I smoked out the hookah. Mama, just go ahead and take my entire freedom away. Oh yeah, go ahead and kill him, mama. Um, okay. How many shots did you take? And how many times did you hit the hookah? Um, I took three shots and only hit the hookah like twice. What's three plus two? Five. You're grounded for five months. Please do not engage in shit that you have no business engaging in at the age of 17, or I will have to engage in that ass a little more aggressively next time. Yes, and it won't happen again. See that it doesn't. Gentle parenting. See, that's, that's that favoritism because Kyrie gets threatened all the time and grounded for a year. Because Kyrie is a different type of child that requires a more heavy approach of parenting. Come approach then, mama. Come approach. Come heavy. Get your ass out of my motherfucking kitchen. Mika, help me find a man. I need a man. Mama, let me help you find somewhere to live. You need a house. See, not once did I talk to you, your sisters, or your brothers like that when y'all was growing up. I took care of y'all. The least y'all could do is let me stay with y'all when I need a place to stay. 
You kicked all of us out once we hit the age of 18, mama. You're only 55 years old and more than capable of living on your own. Plus, I have Brian, Kyrie, and Kendrick here. I don't have the space for you. Where's Savon at? She kicked him out. You kicked my grandbaby out? And how old is Savon? 19? But I'm the monster for kicking y'all out at 18. You ain't no different. Like mother, like daughter. Savon disrespected my house in many ways that cannot be forgiven. So did you and Tanya with my ex-husband, Earl. Hmm. And did I hear you say Kendrick was living here? Yes, and he is amazing. He helps around the house. He helps with bills. Oh, he ain't asked you to borrow money yet? No, he has his own job. He ain't opened up a credit card in your name? Why would he do that? He ain't listed your house on an Airbnb yet. What? Mika, tell that boy it's time for him to go. Mama, what do you know? Enough to warn my daughter about him. Uh, I gotta go. Mika, let me use your car. No. You know what? I'll just walk. Matter of fact, I'll call an Uber. <laughs> Sounds good to me. See, y'all don't care about me. But when I'm somewhere, I did not ask that Uber driver to take me. Fighting for my virginity in the backseat of his car? Y'all don't care. Your virginity expired long before I came into this world. And you had me at 15. Can you call me an Uber driver, please? Brian, get your grandmother an Uber. Thank you, Kyrie. Oh, I mean, Brian, my bad. Hey, cousin. Hey, Brian. Hey. What was uh, Aunt Tammy doing here? Absolutely nothing. Oh, okay. Well, I actually wanted to talk to you about a business opportunity. Okay. So, I want to open up my own business, of course, but I want to bring you on as a business partner. Not interested. Oh, um, well, okay. Well, maybe, um, well, cousin, maybe you can help me up with some of the startup money. Kendrick, all that money you got from your dad's life insurance, what happened to it? Oh, um, I, um... <laughs> Um, it, um, hold on, my phone's upstairs and I can hear it ringing. <laughs> I'll be back. Mama, his phone was in his hand. Mm -hmm. It was. So, Kendrick, you said you were in the military? Yeah, I did two years. And I retired as an E7. Kendrick, your ass ain't retired as no E7. You said you only did two years. So that means that ass ain't even made it to first class yet. Brian, please. The adults are talking. My grandma says you don't even pass your ASVAB test. <laughs> Tammy didn't even finish high school. I'm surprised she even knows what an ASVAB test is. I want to see you say that to her face next time you see her. Okay, I will. I will. Anyway, it's beautiful. Why do you call yourself Versace? Because I love the brand Versace. But cannot afford the brand Versace. You know, I actually own a couple products from Versace. Did you fully purchase them or did you finance them in one of our aunties or uncles' name? I'd like to see some. Okay. Um, let me text you my um, website and you can make a purchase from there. Kendrick, you are a fucking fraud. Hey, 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 Brian Jackson, watch your mouth. Ma, Kendrick is in here trying to scam Versace. Cousin, you know I own an online boutique. You seem to own a lot of things that are not in your name. What's going on, family? What's up, Brian? What's up, Ma? What's up, uh, what's your name? I think I got you pregnant. 
And never mind, it's not important. What's up, mama? Savon, is there something I can help you with? No, life's great. I'm living with Grandma Pam and I'm making so much money. I actually came here because I have to help you with something. Uh, Brian, is this the scammer you were telling me about? Yes, he's the fraud. My name is Kendrick and I'm your older cousin. It's nice to meet you, Savon. Mm. Mama, what all do you know about this failed replacement of mine? He helps pay bills. He helps out around the house. Besides all that weak ass shit, what else do you know about him? Savon, I don't know why you are here, but you know where you're at and who you're talking to. So start watching your damn mouth. How about you start watching who you bring into your house, Tamika? I've been doing that, which is exactly why your ass is no longer here. Now get your ass out of my house. Oh, well, speaking of your house, I thought that you should know that there's a house on Airbnb that looks mighty similar to this one. What the hell are you talking about, Savon? The host? His name is Kendrick. And this Kendrick. And the reviews that he has states that he cancels reservations before the check-in date. Kendrick, what the hell is this? Uh, it's a way for me and you to make some money, cousin. Kendrick! I don't want to hear that shit. Why the hell is my damn house on Airbnb? Uh, cousin, it's a good business venture. And I was going to give you 20% of whatever I made. 20? Oh, you done lost your damn... Get your ass out of my house! <laughs> you know, you were always my favorite cousin. The law states that you have to give a tenant 30 days before you evict them. Oh, mama just gave me the word and I would drag his ass out of here. Yes, mama, please. Can we put our hands on him? I got this. Kendrick, I should have saw your scamming ass coming from a mile away. But because your daddy died, I felt sorry for you, which is why I took you in. But you know what? He would be so disappointed in you right now. So this is me still being lenient to your ass. You have until the end of the week to get your stuff and find somewhere to go. I have 30 days to get out of your house. And if I get touched by one of your sons during those 30 days, my lawyer is going to have a field day. Now I'm going to go upstairs to my room and I will take your house off of Airbnb. And Versace, if you want that website, just let me know. Fuck. Mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Savan, go beat him up. I'm too cute to go to jail. Mama, I promise you, ain't nobody going to find the body. Let me handle it. Stop. I got this. Let mama handle it. I know exactly what I'm going to do. Kendra, thank you so much for coming. What did you need to speak to me about? Your brother. I can't do it. Kendrick has crossed the line. He's just like the rest of the family. Always finding ways to throw us out. My daddy would be disappointed and he called you his favorite cousin. Kendra, your brother has done things like list my house on Airbnb and he's scamming anyone who books And it. that makes you better than him? I know what you, Tina, and Tanya did with y'all's mama ex-husband. Kendra, I have a low tolerance for ignorance and zero patience for stupidity. I did not bring you here to talk about what you know, because quite frankly, I don't give a fuck. I brought you here to talk about your scamming ass brother. It sounds like you're making false allegations against him. You know how many other family members have done that exact same thing just to get rid of him? Y'all are pathetic. Because it is actually happening, you dumbass. My daddy trusted you to look after Kendrick if something happened to him. And what are you doing? Throwing him out over a misunderstanding? Ain't shit misunderstood about my house being listed on an app. 
that I did not authorize it to be on. He has good intentions that cause bad outcomes. How about you help him and guide him? That is not my responsibility. Then why did you take him in? Who the hell are you yelling at, Kendra? We lost our daddy. You ever thought that he does these things to cope? He needs therapy, Tamika. Not yet another family member bashing him and throwing him out on the streets. I would take him, but me and my husband don't have the space and Kendra doesn't want to live with me. What am I supposed to do? My daddy trusted you out of everybody because he knew that you would know what to do. You ever talk to me like that again in my house or anywhere? I'ma beat your ass. I'll make sure I don't. Please take care of him and make sure nothing happens to him. Tamika, you're all he has. Look after him. And tell him I love him. What is it, Brian? <laughs> How bad did you want Kendrick gone? Cancel any plans we had to get rid of him. I have to help him. It's what my cousin would have wanted. Why? What did you do? Oh, um, well, he's no longer in the house. What do you mean he's no longer in the house? Then where is he? He's, um, he's in jail. In jail? What do you mean he's in jail, Brian? I, I thought you wanted him gone. Brian, what have you done? How's everyone doing this evening? Oh, I see. Let's all ignore Kendrick, right? Kyrie, do you hear something? I thought I heard a scamming ass bitch talking. But it was just my imagination. Kyrie, watch your mouth. Cousin, are you cooking today? No, I am not. Mom, I took the chicken out of the refrigerator for the chicken Alfredo that you said you were going to make me, Kyrie, Savan, and not Kendrick. Thank you, son. I appreciate it. So I guess I'm just supposed to starve? The last time I checked, you were a grown-ass man who was capable of taking care of himself. The food I have in this house is for my children only. The food that I help put in your house? Kendra, I will fuck you up. My house that you put on Airbnb and I still haven't sued your ass for it? Yes, we gonna eat all the food you help put in this bitch and you ain't getting none of it. Watch your damn mouth, Kendrick. Mom, can I use the vacuum to clear my room? Your room? Savon, you weren't supposed to move in until I move out. Who told you that you can start making decisions regarding who lives in my house, Kendrick? Well, if he moves back in, then where do I sleep? On the couch in the loft. My daddy would be so disappointed in you. Your me. sister said that exact same bullshit. That shit don't faze me. You have two more weeks in my house. I suggest you start looking for another place to scam. I'm sorry, another place to live.
guys, how many times do I have to tell y'all about the toilet sneeze? All you have to do is flush once and all type of bacteria will come flying out into the bathroom and around the house. But thank God we have Microband 24 because they can help protect against the spread of bacteria. Y'all need to start using this if you're going to continue to leave the toilet seat up. With Microband, I can sleep knowing that surfaces are protected. Especially since I seem to be the only one around here concerned about bacteria spreading. Uh, Tommy, I paid a lot of money for you to fly down here. What money are you talking about? Because I cashed out you $2,500 earlier this week because you said you ain't had no money. You gave her $2,500? Mama, I just gave you $1,700 because you couldn't pay your rent on time. What rent? She's been staying at Grandpa's house. The house that's paid off. The house that is paid off that she sold. You sold my granddaddy's house? Y'all forget that I'm the mama and that that was my damn daddy's house that he left to me when he died so I can do whatever the hell I want to do with it. And about this little chump change that y'all gave me. Oh, now it's chump change. Chump change that you called me 16 times in a row for within 15 minutes. And you listen here, Heifer. When I call you the first time, you answer. You don't have your mama calling you no 16 damn times. Tommy, what's this I hear about you sleeping with your niece? I ain't touched Desiree nasty ass. I ain't talking about Desiree. I'm talking about Tarika. Oh. I ain't touch her either. Also, my daughter's lying on you now, Tommy. I should hurt you right now. You are sick. That is your niece. I'm sick. Mama, did you know that every night that you went to work, Tamika and Tara would come in my room, give me snacks, turn up my TV, then go sleep with Earl? Oh my God. Really, Tommy? Really? You serious right now? So you get caught for doing something foul and now you want to call me and Tamika out. So it is true. Mama, please. Tommy is just trying to throw you off so you won't get on him about what he did. I already said I ain't touched that girl. Tarika is a hoe. She gonna sleep with whatever smiles at her. Tamika, you quiet. Your brother just accused you of sleeping with my ex-husband. I did. I did. I slept with him. I knew it. I knew it. You already knew this, though. But since you like hearing it, I'll say it again. I slept with your ex-husband five times before I moved out. Wow. Why not? You know what? I'm sick of this. Tanika, tell her the truth. She can't handle the truth, Tara. You know that. And since you don't want to hold Tommy accountable for his disgusting actions towards his niece, you both can get the hell up out of my house. What really happened that night? You ain't ready to face that reality without blaming your daughters, mama. So until you're able to do that, I'll tell you what you want to hear. I did seduce him and then slept with him. Now you can continue to sleep peaceful at night. Tamika, I'm asking for the truth. Oh, mama. If only I believed that. But I don't. So I woke up one day and decided I wanted to sleep with your husband. That's what happened. Now let it go. Tamika, Carl, you won't let me use this closet to put my stuff in. Who the hell is this? I'm her stepdaughter, Shay. Stepdaughter? Hmm. Now, how old is this stepdaughter? Tommy, get your sick ass out of my house. Shay, use the upstairs closet in the hallway. Kendrick's stuff is in there. You let Kendrick stay here? You ain't kicked the boy out yet, Tamika? Whose house is this? Like, how do we... This house is too crowded. I need Shay, Greg, and Kendrick gone. I don't know, I kinda like Shay being here. Yeah, so you can hit it whenever you like. Exactly. Mama is losing control of this house and I don't ever think she'll get it back on her own. What do you suggest? We kill three birds with one stone. How? 
Kendrick! What are you doing? Killing three birds with one stone. Kendrick is one of the birds. And he will be the stone who takes out himself and the other two. Trust me. Look, I know y'all probably mad because your mama told me I could stay an extra three weeks, but y'all just gonna have to get over it. Kendrick, how would you like to stay here forever? I mean, I wouldn't mind. Good. We can make that happen. All you have to do is help us get rid of Greg and his daughter. <laughs> okay, how? I need you to find a way to take thousands of dollars out of my mama's account and then find a way for it to end up in Greg's possession. So it looks like he stole it and not me. <laughs> exactly. So what do you say? I like the way you think, Kyrie. I can tell we're related. <laughs> All right. Um, I have to think of a way to make Greg think he won some money with one of my scamming businesses, but I'm sure he'll go for it. Of course he will. All right. I'll get started. And um, thank y'all. I really appreciate it. Great. I'm still missing how Kendrick gets in trouble. Greg is low-key scared of Mama. Once confronted, he'll tell her that Kendrick is the one who gave him the money. But then Greg will be out of trouble. Kendrick will lie. Mama will lose her shit and kick all of them out. It's worth a shot. Indeed. Good thinking, Kyrie. What's wrong, baby? I'm missing some money out of my account. Uh-oh, how much? $5,000. Damn, baby. That's crazy. Everybody in my house, get to this kitchen now. I'm missing $5,000. And ain't nobody leaving this damn kitchen until I figure out where it went. Mama, that's no problem. I can help you out with that. No, you can shut the hell up. When I need some help, I will ask you. Kendrick, I'm gonna start with you. <laughs> Humor me. Tell me you ain't have nothing to do with my money missing out of my account. Kyrie has your money, cousin. Kyrie has what? Check his account. No, check his pulse because I'm about to kill him. Kendrick, are you dumb? Kyrie, why is there $5,000 in your account? You're 22, to what I handle, girl I wanna handle you. Brian, Savon, help me. I don't know anything about this. Yeah, mama, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Oh, y'all got me fucked up. I told Kendrick to take the money out of your account and put it in Greg's account, so when you found out, you would go batshit crazy and kick both of them out. What? <laughs> but the money is in your account. Cause you put it there, bitch. Kyrie! You better start making some damn sense right now. Okay, mama, I'll make it make sense. Kendrick stole that $5,000 out of your account. Savon and Shay are still sleeping together. Greg has his mommy in your room when you're at work doing God knows what. And Brian, oh, Brian. You ain't got nothing. Has a bunch of ecstasy pills that he bought from Kendrick. Kendrick is also a drug dealer. Checkmate, motherfuckers. Greg, get your shit and your daughter and get out of my house. Baby, me and my mama just cuddled. That's all. We ain't do nothing. Get out! Brian! 
I'm grounded for life. Savon! Mama, what did you expect? <laughs> Kyrie! I got what I wanted, and I brought everybody down with me. You can ground me for eternity. I'm good. Great! Everybody get the fuck out of my face, and by the end of this business day, it better just be me and the three kids I gave birth to in this house. How's that eye? <clears throat> if they fight again, I'ma beat your ass. Because you're the reason we are doing this again. And I don't have time for it. What did you want me to do, Tanika? Not tell you and have y'all help raise a child that's not yours? And I want you to swallow that bass in your voice and control your neck movements before I break it. <sighs> okay. Mama, can we just read the results? And you shut up too because we wouldn't be in this mess if you didn't decide to populate early. Rashad Blackwell. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% not a match. Woo! Hmm. But I knew that. You can go. No, I want to hear Savon's results. Rashad, get your ass out of my house. And don't let her ask you first because then there goes your other eye. Savon Jackson. It was determined that the DNA you submitted was 100% a match. Yes! Yes! Look, I am so sorry I put y'all through that again. We are going to move forward, Versace. Because you were turning a new leaf. And I was starting to like your ass. I know, but it won't be any surprises from now on. From either of you, because I can't take no more. The next surprise is going six feet under. All out that eyes. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What you thought I got rid of? But some fat eye. Lo guarde. Yeah. You heard what I said, Tamika. You're going to be an abuela again. Now, I don't know Spanish, but I'm sure that meant grandmother. Savannah, if I die of a heart attack today because of you, who is going to take care of Louis Vuitton? and whatever the hell that is in her stomach. Hmm. Who is going to take care of your kids? Who is going to provide for your kids? Huh? Do you know how to not populate? Is it hard? Mama, it's not mine. Shut up! I'm getting too old for this shit. You better hope that baby's not yours. You taco eating bitch. You went and gave my son a sibling without my consent. Come here, Maria. Come here. Stop around the corner. Come here. Mira, what you gonna do? You got no job? You live with your mother? You got one kid and now my daughter's having your second? Ma'am, respectfully... No, no, I guess. Don't say respectfully and then say something disrespectful. And what are you doing, huh? What are you doing? What kind of mother lets their son walk around impregnating everything?
What is your name? Marisol. Okay, Lysol. Let me explain something to you. Now, I understand that you are upset that you did not teach your daughter about birth control or plan B, but there is no guarantee that this baby is my son. Mira! My daughter has been with your son and your son only. What are you raising? A reproductive machine? My son is 19 years old. I cannot control what he does outside of my house, just like you can't control who your daughter decides to get pregnant by. Now, you have exceeded the amount of times that you are allowed to express yourself in an aggressive manner. Tone it down. Oh, baby, you haven't seen aggressive. It's if you or your son think you're going to have my daughter somewhere raising a newborn by herself, think again. I will end him. His first baby mama, her mama tried to put her foot down and prove a point. But the only foot that got put down was my foot on her neck. And she still has trouble turning to the left. Threaten my child again. Uh, Carmen, get this up. You brought me here to go to jail? You didn't explain to this woman that I would put my hands on her and my son? Bitch, you ain't touching nothing up in this house. You can reach out and try, but I promise you, you will end up on somebody's stretcher. Carmen, you really brought your mother to her funeral. That is crazy. Mami, who are you calling a bitch? I am loco. I will rip you apart. Start ripping then. Ma, that's enough. No, hell no, Savan. Get Carmen and her mama out of my house. Right now. You have met your match, Mr. Mika. It ain't a female on this planet that can match me. I have kids to feed. That is the only reason why your ass is still attached to that chair. Mommy, let's go. You'll be seeing more of me, Mr. Mika. When my daughter has my grandchild, I'm dragging your son to court. So drag him, and we'll see how far you get. Okay, great. So they met each other. Can we talk about the baby shower? The bottom line is your son is disruptive and manipulative. What proof of that do you have? I don't need any proof, Mrs. Jackson. I'm telling Mr. you. Mr. Bush, you ask me to believe your word over my son's. I'm going to need hardcore evidence. Well, how about you look at him and ask him? Kyrie, did you do these things he's accusing you of? Mom, I would never. This man is clearly deranged and delusional. You listen here, you little brat. Mr. Boyce, I thought you liked me. Why are you yelling at me? Why did you call me a brat? Mr. Boyce, I wonder how Principal Smith feel about you showing up to my home unannounced to degrade my son. Mrs. Jackson, what corrective actions do you have for your son's behavior? Well, first I'm going to request that he be removed from your class immediately because I do not like the aggression you have towards him. He has made my life a living hell for the last nine months. And I am just now hearing about it. Mr. Boyce, I apologize if you're upset because I said that your hair looks like a bird's nest. I didn't mean it. Savon, why is this girl still pregnant? Tell me how she was able to pass the first and second trimester against my wishes. Mama, I didn't know the girl decided to keep the baby. Wait, you got somebody else pregnant? I told you I wanted her seen by a clinic the day she announced it. Okay, and I gave her the money to go and take care of it. I didn't know you wanted me to hold her hand through the process. I gave you the money to give to her. Which means the bitch stole from me. So now we have an even bigger problem. And then you let her bring her mama in my house. Mama, this baby probably ain't even mine. But what if it is, Savon? You have no job. I do have a job. Doing what? DoorDash. You cannot keep getting these girls pregnant. It was an accident. Versace was an accident. Shay was an accident twice. Carmen is an accident. You got Carmen pregnant? Oh my God. So that means I'm going to have a little mixed niece or nephew. You don't even babysit the one you got now. Well, if y'all can't even afford daycare, what makes you think you can afford me babysitting? Get a real job, Savon. You are about to be a father of two. And I'm not helping you raise no more babies after this. I am getting too soft with y'all. But I refuse to see my son fall flat on his ass. So do us both a favor and get it together. All right. I got you. And Brian, you better not even think about getting somebody pregnant. Mama, guys can't get pregnant. Me and Trixon would have had 100 kids by now.
Uh, Tamika, we gotta talk. No, we do not. I saw the Karen bitch at the store and she looked like she'd been gaining some weight. I'm sure she has. In her stomach. Lifetime movie bullshit. Carmen, is there a reason your mother is late to my house? She said she just pulled up. Well, she is still late. <laughs> Savon, you set this up. If this lady dies today, that's on you. Mama, no one is dying today. Good afternoon, Miss Marisol. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. My son spoke to you, Marikandra. It's Marisol. Whatever it is, I needed to respond to my son. Why are me and my daughter here, Tamika's son? I started all of this. We can see that. Tell me something I don't know. Yes, breathe in, breathe out, and stay alive. What I'm trying to say is... I haven't made the best decisions, and I'm sorry that I brought your daughter into this. So what are you going to do about it? All I'm hearing is you apologizing for shit that you cannot change. It's here. It's happening. In two more months, my daughter's giving birth. What are you going to do about it? Well, if you let him finish. Oh, he wasn't finished? Tell him to stop pausing in between sentences and get to the point. Savon, I should have been jumped over this counter. Do get to the point. I recently got a job, and if this baby is mine, mm -hmm. I, I don't like that if. Because you're making it sound like my daughter's some kind of whore. Ella nuka la hera. Ma'am, you can't expect me not to take a DNA test. Me and Carmen were never together. Mira, no so stress estamos en numerados. English. This is an American household. Well, English is not her first language. Punta. Okay, before I mop my marble floors with her ass, Carmen, I need you to translate because I'm pretty sure she just called me a bitch. She didn't. Uh, no, me and Jess got him in. Get hell up a house The bottom line is, if this baby is mine, I will step up and be a father. And if it's not, I want an apology from both you bitches. In English. Well, you ain't getting shit. Baco te go mata shit. Mira, mira, puta. Mira, puta. Queso, queso, queso. Which one of you bitches want to step around the counter? Huh? Which one? Matter of fact, hold on. Come on. Go and access my safe. The passcode is your birthday. All right, so y'all mama has decided to take a little vacation, you know, with everything that she's been going through and that y'all have been putting her through. She felt it was best, and I do think it is best as well. However, she has put me in charge of y'all, and I don't know why. I have not done this parenting shit in 33 years, so bear with me. All right. Now, today is my first day. What's going on? I need to pay y'all support. So pay it. What they got to do with me? I don't got the money. My mama usually pay it. Well, why don't you have the money, Savon? Shit, grandma. I don't know. I didn't have a job at the time. I just now got a job. And I, you know, I ain't got paid yet. Oh, well, you going to have to figure that out on your own. Uh-uh. I didn't lay there and make that child, nor did I have that child. So I ain't paying for that child. She going to have to just take your ass to court. Shit. What's going on, Brian? Oh, grandma, I ain't got nothing going on. Um, I be getting straight A's in school. I, I, I didn't give my mama any problems when she was here. Um... She do be letting my boyfriend come over every day, though. Now, Brian, you know that gay shit is very much taboo to me. So you still don't accept me being gay? No, but I love you, and I bet not see that little boyfriend of yours anywhere near this house. You're a homophobe. Mm -hmm. I am the queen of homophobes. What else you got? Grandma, Brian is just trying to distract you from the fact that mama makes him pee in a cup so she can test him for drugs. Kendrick was giving him drugs when he lived here. Now, Brian, you would not be the first grandchild of mine doing drugs. Go get the cup. Kyrie is also grounded from all indoor and outdoor activities. For what? No, Grandma. 
it's me, okay? I can do no wrong in your eyes. You know that. All I did was set Kendrick up to get him out of the house. That's it. The shit grounded you for getting Kendrick out the house. Somebody I've been telling her to get out the house since he put her house on Airbnb. She grounded you for that. She should have been thanking you. No, Grandma. She grounded him for facilitating the whole thing. I can't even spell the words you just facilitate, facility, but for whatever. Facil felicity. Shit. Y'all know Kyrie is my baby and he is immune from such cruel and unusual punishment. So you are off the hook, baby. You are you ain't on punishment no more. You ain't grounded. Thank you, Grandma. Wow. This is gonna be great. Savon, we need to talk about the baby shower. Grandma, please get rid of her. Tamika needs to learn how to lock her doors because let you walk in my shit and I ain't let you in. I'm bearing arms. Now he don't want to talk to you. Get out. I was not talking to you, Harriet Tubman. <laughs> now you listen here, you pregnant taco truck. Do not contact my grandbaby again until you give birth. And don't even contact him then because he really don't want nothing to do with you. Shit. Get your ass out of my house. Where's Tamika? She wouldn't allow this. Well, she's on vacation. I'm in charge. Where your mama at? Oh, I hope you trip and fall. Tell your mama to come see me. I got something for her ass. <laughs> well, you got some... Brian, who you gonna tell? I'm the mama of the mama. So sit your ass there and mind your business. Savon, go get the weed. Savon, I need you to watch the baby tomorrow. I have things to do. Savon, when do you usually get the baby? All weekends. Oh, okay. What's today? Monday. Oh, okay. He's off duty. Come back on Saturday. Tammy, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to Savant. Mm, Versace, you were only two years into motherhood. I would hate for Louis Vuitton to lose his mother because she forgot who she is talking to. It's Louis Vuitton. Either way, you can't afford none of the merchandise. What do you have to do? Oh, hell no. You full of shit. He's off the clock. Find a babysitter. Oh, my God. I can't wait until Tamika come back because she would have made you watch him. You restricted me to weekends only. You did that. So stand on that. But go stand on it outside of the house. Get out. I ain't standing nowhere. Grandma. Brian. Can you please put your homophobe aside and meet Trenton? So why, who is that? The boyfriend. Oh, no, I can't do that. Mm -mm. Hello, my babies. Grandma Pam, what are you doing here? Well, I just came to make sure my grandbabies were okay. I heard the disturbing news that your mother decided to take a break from her responsibilities and that she left you in the care of a complete maniac. Pamela, don't die today. It's Monday. What can I help you with? I want the boys with their father every weekend. Mm, and I want a man who's tall, dark, and handsome with nine inches and a curve, but I cannot have that. Oh, this is why I question Tamika and her decisions because why wouldn't she call me? Why would she leave them with you? Because I'm her mama. And did you forget that your son let his wife sleep with my grandson and then bribe my other grandchild not to tell? What kind of grandmother would I be letting them go back to that house with that horny white woman? It was an isolated incident and my son handled it. However, I do share your concern. So the boys can come stay with me. I would actually love that. Take it back right now. What, Grandma? You haven't let me see Trenton since you got here. You haven't seen Trenton? Tammy, are you depriving my grandchild of his healthy relationship with his boyfriend? This is an abomination. What? What happened? Fine. I will meet that little boy who also has sugar in his tank. I'm fine where I'm at, Grandma Pam. I will be checking in daily. And you will be getting cussed out daily. Where is Kyrie? Who is that? Oh.
Oh shit, that's the other one. Uh, where y'all brother at? Grandma, Kyrie made you drop him off somewhere two weeks ago and we ain't seen him since. Wait a minute. You haven't seen my 16 year old grandbaby in two weeks and you haven't bothered to check on him? And you don't even know where you left him? Pamela, bitch, you know who you yelling at. All right, now you ain't making very much safe decisions right now. You better find him or I'm calling Tamika. What is I supposed to mean? I ain't scared of her. I gave birth to her. What the hell I look like being scared of something I gave birth to? The hell? Pam, get your ass out of here. You heard what the hell I said. Find my grandma. No, you heard what the fuck I said. Shit. Go find Kyrie. Okay, you haven't seen him. Okay, thank you. Shit. Grandma, put out an Amber alert. Brian, who the fuck is Amber? I don't want to put that bitch in my business. It's a missing child alert. It will notify people in the area that he's missing. Brian, are you stupid? I'm the one who dropped him off and I don't even remember where. Well, I've contacted all his friends and they said they haven't seen him. Oh, shit. Tamika comes back next week and Kyrie needs to be here. Wait, Grandma, you haven't told my mama? Grandma, he has been missing for three weeks now and you haven't told your daughter? I ain't scared of her. I am. Brian, you are not helping the situation, okay? I don't want to hear about me having to come clean to your mama. I want to hear about how we can find Kyrie. His location. My mama makes us turn on our location so she can see where we're at. You mean your mama has his location right now? Oh, I'm sure she does. And she has not said shit to me because? Grandma, if you know your daughter like I do, we both know that she is timing you on how long you have taken to tell her that Kyrie has been missing for three weeks. She already knows, and she has not said anything because she is waiting to see who is going to say something to her. Well, help me come up with a lie. Um, He ran away. That's what we're going to say. He ran away. What do I get out of it? What the hell do you mean? What do you get out of it? I'm already meeting a little boyfriend. Let him come over this weekend and stay the night. All right, done. That's great, but unfortunately, we are not done. How are you going to justify the timeline on why you didn't tell my mama? Oh, that's too much. It's too much. It's too complicated. I, my brain can't function. I don't know. Grandma, here's what you're going to say. You know that she is under a lot of pressure, and you are already actively searching for Kyrie. So you didn't want to add any more pressure to her life. If you thought that Kyrie's life was in danger, you would have said something to her. I mean, it could be in danger, but that's what you say to her. Okay? Oh, so you mean I have to actually act like I give a damn about her mental health? I like that. I, I like that. See, I always knew you was the smartest grandchild. No, you didn't. You're right. You're right. No, I didn't. Tammy, what's up? What do you want, little girl? I'm in the mood for you. I have an anonymous tip for you. Oh, Kyrie? No, it's about Carmen. That's not Savant's baby. Carmen's actual baby daddy is in jail and her mama didn't want her taking care of the baby by herself. So she decided to pin it on the last dude that Carmen slept with and that was Savan. <laughs> Versace, you must have a lot of time on your hands. The only person giving my son a sibling is me. And I knew that bitch was lying. So they falsified a DNA test. Ha! I need receipts so I can throw it in a mama's face. Say less. Grandma, what about Kyrie? Oh, that's gonna have to wait. That's gonna have to wait because I need to blow this up in front of Carmen and her mama. And once Tamika finds out that she ain't gonna be a grandmother of two, all her stress will be gone. She ain't even gonna be worried about Kyrie and where he at or where he's been. Okay? Grandma Tammy saves the day. You don't love your life. Uh, 
Kyrie, where you been at, boy? Grandma, you left me at the casino in Las Vegas three weeks ago. I had to call my mama to come get me. Now you a damn lie. I didn't go to no casino. I dropped you off at one of your little friend's house and you ain't never came back. Tamika, who you gonna believe? Me or Kyrie, who lies every time he opens his mouth? You incompetent, selfish, irresponsible, disappointing, lying ass. Now wait a minute now, I'm still your mama. And you have sucked at it ever since I was a child. I was a fool to leave my kids with you. Mika, I wasn't in no damn Las Vegas. Kyrie was, so how the hell did he get there? Oh, shit, I, I don't know. Kyrie, how did you get to Vegas? Grandma, now you know I love you and I know I'm your favorite, but I found it hard to believe that you don't remember. Your friend Carla, remember it was her birthday. You didn't wanna, you didn't wanna miss it but you don't want to leave me at home alone with Brian and Savon. So you took me with you. But then you forgot about me the next morning and left me at the Airbnb. I had to call my mama and I've been with her ever since. You left Brian and Savon alone? Brian, how were you getting to school? Oh, grandma took me out for a week until she got back. So you took my child out of school for a week without my authorization. How was he going to get to school if I was supposedly in Las Vegas, Tamika? And I don't like how you talking to me right now because you damn sure can't whoop my ass. I'm your mama. Okay, so instead of you complaining, say thank you for me watching your kids while you wanted to go have a mental break. Thank you. Thank you for showing me that to this day, you are still a sorry ass excuse for a mother and a grandmother. Oh, and another thing, whose black Mercedes is that parked outside of my driveway? Mine. Hmm. You have an estimate of $5,000 left in your bank account. So who did you screw to get that Mercedes? Let me open your business, girl. Mind your business. Hmm. And you, you haven't been asking me for any money or Savon. Why is that? I got a raise at work. You work at Rainbow. You and them Rainbow bitches get paid $4 an hour and you're part-time. So unless you're taking cash out of the register, you a damn lie. Okay, I cannot put two and two together right now, but I will. And for y'all's sake, I hope there are no more surprises. Savon, Carmen is getting induced this weekend, so make sure you are at that hospital for your second child. Yes, ma'am. Is there something you want to say? No, she good. When did you start speaking for her? Tanika, you are so ungrateful. I took care of you, your brothers, and your sisters the best way I could. And y'all are still alive and breathing today. Your kids are alive and breathing today. I might not have been the best mother or grandmother, but I did the best I could with what I was given. Are you done? Or is there more you'd like to bitch about? You left my 16-year-old son in a state where he could have been God knows what if I didn't show up on time. So I don't give a damn about your struggles as a mother and what it turns you into. You know what, you disrespectful heifer. I'll let myself out. And stay out. I will. Oh, bougie ass. I can't believe I gave birth to your selfish ass. You don't treat your mama like this. You also don't leave your teenage daughters home alone with the man that you've only been married to for three months and barely knew. But you did. Oh, you know what? I'm tired of hearing that shit, okay? You waited until you were damn near 41 years old to cry about it. That man is dead now. Ain't nothing I can do about it. <laughs> Get out of my house and take your sidekick with you. Gladly. Come on, Versace.
Well, I'm glad to have you back, Mom. Glad to be back. And y'all will never leave my sight after today. Oh, hell no. Nah. What are you doing here? My son's real father lives here and it's his weekend, so I'm dropping him off. Mommy, tread lightly. Because if I recall, you sold your soul for $5,000. So don't you even think about messing anything up today. Such a cheap little bitch. Carmen, don't get beat up with that newborn in your hands. You touch my daughter or my grandchild, I will slit your throat, you hood rat bitch. <laughs> you Taco Bell nacho grande eating bitch, I will put my hands on your daughter, that newborn, and you. It's real quiet in here. I noticed that she went at the hospital. Did I get your daughter pregnant? No, but he is your grandchild. Mm. Let me see him. He's very pale right now. Yeah, he needs some color. Oh, all babies are pale when they first come out. Hand him over. Let me take a look at my new grandbaby. Oh, yeah, he real Mexico. He will grow into his color. Versace, go get Louis. I want him to meet his baby brother. Oh no, that was not a part of the agreement. Interesting. Savon, go get Louis. I want him to meet his baby brother. Um, no, I don't want my son around that baby just yet. I don't know what kind of germs that baby got from his mama. <laughs> you are so pathetic. Mm, Versace, I thought we were making progress. What happened to the growth? Why wouldn't you want Louis to meet his little brother? Versace, you gotta let whatever you holding on to go. You are now baby mama number one, and there is the number two. Deal with it. Anyways. I want all of us to get along. Now that our grandchild is here, there's no reason that we should be fighting. Carmen and Savon, you both should get your own apartments and live together as a happy family. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is my grandson. How does that sound to Mika? I think that sounds amazing. I'll also arrange for a family photo shoot for Carmen, Savon, the baby, and Louie. Ma, you're doing a little too much right now. I don't think I'm doing enough. I think you and Carmen should get married. <gasps> Brittany, are you okay? It's not his baby. What happened? She said she wanted some more money because she is broke. Do you need some more money? Interesting. I think y'all's wedding should be in Paris. I feel like seeing a Paris wedding. I'll pay for it, of course. That's not the boss, baby! Carmen's actual baby daddy is in jail. She goes to see him every week and her broken English ass mama paid Tammy 80k to keep her mouth shut and then Tammy threatened me if I said anything and they gave me $5,000 or fuck you to me because you never forced the bond to marry me or offer me a parent's wedding.
it's not true. I'm not, I don't know where she got that information from. One of y'all can reach out for him and I hand him to you, or I can just throw him at you. Carmen, you are the biggest hoe I have ever met. I knew that baby looked a little too spicy when he came out. You watch your mouth when you talk to my daughter, Marisol. I need you, Carmen, and Lil Caliente to get the hell out of my house. His name is Calante. Whatever the fuck it is, it's not my son's. I didn't find out until the last minute, and I didn't know what to do, so I just went along with it. That may be true, but you still paid my mother, 80K, to keep her mouth shut. Let me explain. You seem like a very good mother who takes care of her kids and her grandchild. That man that my daughter is pregnant by is never getting out of prison. And I don't want her to have to raise a child by herself, like me. I don't give a fuck. I would have found out eventually when the baby started to look like Uno Stos Tres. What is my daughter supposed to do? Go straight to hell. But in the meantime, I suggest she make an appointment with the local WIC office. Hey, see, I ain't no dumbass bitch. <laughs> I'm really a smart one. I knew something wasn't right. And I may not be able to put two and two together right then and there, but I always put it together. You thought you was gonna trap my son. One thing this little mental break did for me was teach me how to use my words and not my hands. With that being said, Savan. Let me walk y'all out while my mama is still allowing y'all to. It's Saturday. They got visitation at the prison today. Go show that man his baby. Hey, baby. Greg, get the hell out of my house before I call the cops. Wait, wait, wait. I want to tell you something. We don't have shit to talk about. Now get out. All right. All right. We ain't got to talk. I ain't come to talk anyway. You did something. Uh-uh. That's all me, baby. Hell no. That's... That is not you. All right. Fine. I took a blue chew. Hmm. I figured it was something. I didn't really get a good look at it. Um, could you maybe... um. But this is what I keep telling him. What you're doing isn't making a difference. That's what I was saying. Um, Kamika, we need to talk to you about mama. Mmm, hello. I don't think we have been properly introduced. I'm Tanya, the down for anything sister. Greg, cover up! Oh no, hell no, take it all off. What y'all about to do, Tamika? I want to join. None of your business. Get out. Both of you. Mm -mm, Tamika, you can't handle all that like I can. Okay? Sharing is caring and sisters share. I ain't sharing shit. Oh, baby, it's enough for me to go around. I got a big package for everybody. Great. Now let me come unpack that package. I want an apology. You ain't getting shit. Apology for what? Tamika, I am your mother. Yes, you are. What do you want? You want to be friends? You want to comb each other's hair? You want, to, you want me to be nice to you? 
You laid down and had six kids. It gave you a title. It does not mean anything. Okay, that's cute. You brought me over here because you thought that you and Savon was going to check me about the deal I made with Marisol, but I was going to drain her pockets, and then I was going to tell you when I was done with her. Oh, you are so full of it. You wasn't going to tell me shit, mama. Grandma, then you paid my baby mama to go along with it. And that little bitch owed me $5,000. Owed? As in past tense? So she paid you back? I took another form of payment from her. Anyway, Savan, have you talked to her? I got this weird call from her mom this morning. I haven't talked to her in a week. I called her the other day, but she didn't answer the phone. What did her mama say? Hmm. She dropped the baby off a week ago and has not been back to pick him up, and she's not answering the phone. I don't suppose you've seen her? Who, me? Oh, no. But I did hear that there was a drive-by shooting in her neighborhood last week. One casualty. What? Grandma, why didn't you tell us? I was too busy trying to hide from y'all because y'all thought y'all was gonna corner me and shit. Ma, 19-year-old girl was shot in her driveway and taken to the hospital in critical condition. Critical condition? What you mean? So she ain't dead? Ma, we gotta go. Okay, let me grab my keys. No! <laughs> Mama, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Mama, I'm about to dip. I'll keep you posted. Savannah, no. That girl is in critical condition. I might be dying and you might not see me again. That's my son's mother, Grandma. I hope you feel better, though. You ain't gonna go follow him? He said he'll keep me updated. How are those chest pains? Okay, look, I'm gonna just tell you what happened. After you had busted Maricel, she called me and said that she was gonna pop Versace and then pop me if I didn't go with her to watch. She mentioned that her granddaddy was, you know, the lord of the Mexican drug cartel, whatever, and I just, I got scared. So, I felt like she was going to kill me if I didn't go with her. So if Versace says she saw me there, it's because I was forced into the car to go and watch them pop her. Mama, I've known you my whole life. I have watched you take out two of my daddy's wives because you're a real hood bitch, right? So you mean to tell me that you are sitting here today saying that somebody forced you into a car to go pull up on somebody. And you ain't pulled the trigger. Somebody else did. Oh my God, I was hoping I was right. I don't know what to do about mama. What do you mean? She shot this girl. The girl is still very much alive and breathing, Tamika. Let it go. When you say you don't know what to do about mama, what do you mean? Because there's really nothing you can do. Are you thinking about calling the cops on mama? Versace does want to press charges. And you're going to let her? Mama almost killed that girl. The mother of my grandson. Savant is very upset. Wow. Mama has done how many drive-by shootings while we were growing up? And some of them we were in the car for. Did you call the cops then? Honestly, Tamika, I'm shocked that you're even contemplating calling the cops on our mother. I didn't say I was calling the cops. I'm asking my dumbass younger sisters for advice. But clearly neither one of you bitches can comprehend that.
But to me, there better be a good reason I missed my golf session for this. Yeah, my girl outside waiting for me. What's up? And how old is this girl, Tommy? Is she legal? She's well over age, Tara. Are we talking early teens, mid-teens, late teens, under 18? Tara, why are you focused on me? Ain't Tarika pregnant and don't know who her baby daddy is? You're about to be a grandmother? Tell Tommy and Terry why they are here. Mama tried to kill my grandson's mother. <laughs> That's why you called me here? Because of Mama? Sis, Mama has tried to kill a few people while we were growing up, and she even succeeded a few times. Hey, shit new. Thank you. Mama's behavior has gotten out of control. She knew that Carmen's baby was not Savon's, and all it took was 80K for her to go along with it. <sighs> Mama has done some fucked up shit to all of us, Tamika. That's mama. She tried to run my wife over with the car a few years ago. Did you forget that? Mika, the girl is still alive. Why are you acting so surprised right now? You know, once you cross mama, ain't no going back. But this girl is still alive. And I'm sure she has learned her lesson. So just keep mama away from her, okay? All right. Are we done here? Because I gotta go. To your next dick appointment. It's good to see you in the flesh, Tanya. It's been a minute. Terry, my big brother, I haven't seen you in so long. How are the kids? No, scratch that. How's your wife's weight loss journey? Are you still having trouble hiding the honey buns from her fat ass? Oh, she's great. Thanks for asking. I heard you stopped sleeping with these old men, and now you're sleeping with inmates at the local prison. <laughs> Is that what you heard? Yeah, I heard you got on there every Wednesday as a volunteer, and about four or five of them take turns stretching you out. Terry, enough. No, let him finish. And Tommy, you don't know what my daughter has going on. I'm out of town, thugging with my rounds. I know I ain't her baby daddy. I know that. Didn't she sleep with Kyrie? No, she didn't. And you're a predator, Tommy. Oh, your ex-husband likes little boys. Let's not point the finger. Oh, Corey finally came out the closet. Speaking of closets, Terry, is that where you had all the snacks from your wife? How's her diabetes? How's your HIV and hepatitis? Damn, damn, damn! Have you been taking your meds? <laughs> I hope that you fuck up one day and forget to give your wife her insulin shots and that bitch goes and sneaks a whole pack of Oreos on your ass. Tommy, tell me something. Are you still hanging out at that high school after school watching the cheerleaders practice? My youngest daughter, your niece, said that last week she saw Uncle Tommy in the bleachers watching them practice. Tara, your ex-husband is the basketball coach at that high school. Did you say anything when you found out that he was having private lessons with those young men and your garage? Oh, shut up. You know what? You yeah, have I'm no proof like of Malika. that. You, you are just nappy because you are the Tanya. only one in oh, here oh, that oh, literally oh, is messing with oh, minors. You it's are disgusting. Like I mean, how do you, how do you sleep at night? night? Big beastie looking bitch. Not that I give a fuck, but what's wrong with you? Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, I can't. I won't. And now I gotta bother you. Kyrie, I'm in the mood to beat somebody's ass. Oh, well, that's great because I'm in the mood to watch you try. And when I knock your ass out, don't tell mama. Okay, come on. Let me see what you got. Kyrie, I am not in the mood. But you said you were in the mood and now all of a sudden you're not in the mood. But that's beside the point because I'm in the mood to see you try and beat somebody's ass. What's good? Me and Trenton just broke up. Oh, damn. Oh, so you'll tell Savon what's going on, but you don't want to tell me what's going on? Kyrie, if you have not noticed by now, I do not like you. You also can't whoop my ass. Kyrie, relax. Oh, so you ain't gonna try Savon, but she'll try me? Well, see, all I gotta do is ask Savon one time to come whoop my ass, and he gonna do that. You, on the other hand, have yet to put your hands on me. All you've done this whole time is talk, which lets me know that you are a bitch. I fought you a couple times. You fight like a bitch. I ain't scared of you. Get up, Kyrie. Get up, because all you do. Brian, 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 stop, stop, stop. stop. I'm going to count to three and both y'all asses better be separated. What? My mom's tired of his mouth. Who the hell are you yelling at?
Sit down. Somebody explain to me why y'all are fighting in my kitchen. Mama, he, he just attacked me out of nowhere. Mama, Kyrie keeps annoying me. So ignore him. Mama, how about you simply tell him to stop annoying us and he wouldn't get beat up? Look at his face. Uh, Brian, you didn't even connect. You can't fight. I don't want to hear that shit. I have talked to y'all about putting y'all hands on each other. I don't like it. Why the hell is it happening to my damn kitchen? Mom, me and Trent just broke up. I'm in my feelings right now, and I was in here minding my business, and Kyrie just came in here and made it worse. So forgive me if I put my hands on your precious gift from God because he or you can't control his mouth. Learn how to control yours before I bust it open. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm not a relationship expert, but relationships end. You move on, and another one begins. Brian, you are headed into your senior year in high school, something Savon failed to do. Mom, I ain't got nothing to do with this. I would not have my second born making the same mistake. Now, you will experience more relationships in life. You are young, but unfortunately, this one was not it. Now, apologize to your brother. I'm sorry that your mouth got you beat up and I'll do it again. Mama, mama, that wasn't no apology. Mama, he didn't apologize. Mama, he didn't apologize. Shut up, boy. Okay, so I brought y'all here so y'all can work out y'all's differences. Tamika, are you fucking crazy? This old, crusty, stiff wig wearing bitch. Stop, me. bitch, I'll hit you with this motherfucking bottle. Stiff wear. Stiff wear. This hair came from my natural scalp. That synthetic blend was sewed into yours. There is no working out our differences. Your ass is going to jail. You're pressing charges? Hell yes, I'm pressing charges. Versace. Shut up, Savon. Because if it was any of your other little bitches that got shot, you wouldn't be saying anything. You didn't even come see me in the hospital. I did come see you. While I was unconscious, you didn't even wait for me to wake up. You left. Versace, how can I make this right? Tamika, your mother tried to kill me. Would you still be trying to make it right if she succeeded? Would you recommend we work on our differences at my funeral too? Make it make sense. <laughs> Timmy, are you going to let this girl put me in jail? Or are you going to handle it like I taught you to? Yeah, nah, mama, what you thinking about right now? How would you like to get married in Paris? <gasps> to Savon? To Savon. To Savon? Make him propose to me right now. A genuine proposal. No. 
Get on your knees, boy. Man, come on, mama. Hell no. Ugh, Savan. Propose to this desperate little bitch so grandma can go home. Or do you want to see me in somebody's under jail? I'm not marrying you. Well, then I'm on my way to the police station. What you want to do? Savan, mama, no. I didn't do anything wrong in this situation. Why am I being punished? Grandma? Boy, I'm too old and pretty to be in jail. That ain't nothing personal. No, it is personal. And he's right. You did that shit to us growing up. I'm not about to let you do it to my child, too. Why should he suffer for some shit that you did? Ugh, I'm getting tired of you taking your mommy issues out on me. Go see a fucking therapist already. Ugh, all this sentimental bullshit. It's pathetic and all, but none of y'all asses got shot. I did. So y'all need to be trying to figure out a way to make me happy before I march my pretty ass down to the police station. Oh, shut up. This is how this is going to go. I'm not marrying you, but me and you can try to work on being in a serious relationship. That's all I'm willing to give. And in exchange, you forgive my grandma. Pathetic. So does that mean you get to move in with me? Oh, uh, you starting already. Mama, I need a drink. Oh, me too. I'm sorry you got shot. I know you were not still tripping over Trent and Savon. I fucked up. I slept with this girl two weeks ago thinking that it would make me get over Trenton. You actually slept with a girl? Congratulations. You are no longer a virgin, my boy. I did not use a condom. <gasps> Brian. Oh, mama is going to flip. You need to be figuring out what you're gonna do. I don't know how this works, Savon. You clearly have way more experience in getting hoes pregnant than me, so you tell me what to do. Why are you yelling at me? You're the one opening up boxes and not reading the manual. How was I supposed to know a vagina came with instructions? Well, the first thing you wanna do is wear a condom, my boy. And if you can't do that, simply pull out. 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 One kid and five abortions later. Did you simply forget to pull out? You're upset and you're saying hurtful things. It's understandable. Did this hoe take a pregnancy test? No, it's only been a few weeks. Have you talked to her? No, I blocked her on everything. Why would you do that? Because I was disgusted with myself after. And I realized I am actually gay. Every time I looked at it, it reminded me of an oyster. Why does it look like that? Yeah, you gay as hell because ain't no straight man asking that question. Well, if this girl is actually pregnant, can you take her to the clinic, Devon? Hell no. You're the one out here experimenting. You do it. Experiments on what? Nothing. It didn't sound like nothing. I heard Savon say something about getting girls pregnant. Did you get somebody pregnant, Brian? No. I was so hoping you were going to be honest with me. I can't snitch on you if you're going to lie. I'm not lying. Savon. I said what I had to say, Brian. Be a man and handle your situation. Pregnant girls experimenting a situation? That's enough ammunition to bring to mama. Kyra, you don't get tired of snitching. No. I get off on watching mama tear you apart. And if I say her name five times in a row, she will appear like Candyman. Kyrie, I've already said it once. Four more to go. What do you want? Hmm. How about you tell me what I want?
Mama. Oops. Three more to go. Oh my God. Can you stop? <laughs> no, because I love my mama. Uh-oh. <laughs> Two more to go. Kyrie, I will beat your ass again. Mama. Uh, shit. I'll cut the grass for a week. Oh, a little sweat ain't never hurt nobody. I think I've said her name four times in a row now. One more to go. I'll do all your chores for a year. Mm, tempting, but no. You have five seconds to make me feel good. <laughs> do something to make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there yelling in my kitchen? <laughs> Brian got something he want to tell you. Oh, I wonder what it is. I already know it's going to piss me off. But y'all love that, right? Y'all love that shit. Y'all love when I have to put my hands on y'all. So what is it, Brian? Go ahead. Mom, I might have gotten this girl pregnant. I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say to me? Slept with this girl a few weeks ago and um I, uh, Brian, put some damn bass in your voice. I cannot quite hear you clearly. Now come again. Would you start speaking if I reach over this counter and grab your ass? Ma, she might be pregnant. I don't know. You confuse me. You confuse me. Because you're supposed to be gay which is already a bit much for me, but now you want to be gay and do straight things. Pick a damn sexuality. Uh, I'm gay. Okay, okay, all right, all right, that's nice to know. I can't, I, I can't, I cannot, I cannot. Make it go away, make it go away before I make you go away. Make it go away. Yes, ma'am. This shit better be cleared up by next weekend. What did you say your name was again? Nia. Nia. I'm Simone. Oh, I know exactly who you are. I've been trying to sleep with you ever since my freshman year in high school, but I guess Versace beat me to it. Did you happen to take a pregnancy test? <laughs> I took one. Oh, y'all yeah, want the result. Um, well, my mama took me to the clinic and um, it looks like I'm so much pregnant. Get rid of it. Excuse me? Brian is not ready to be a father. That's too bad and it's not my problem that he's not ready to take responsibility for what he did. So, yeah, my body, my choice. Nia, my mom will kill me. And you. And Brian, you wouldn't even have to claim it. I was really trying to get to Savon, but I took you because, I mean, you really do look just like him. The only reason why I slept with you is because I can't sleep with Savon. But to know that this baby is related to Savon, it makes me very happy. But you can deny it. I just need Savon to claim it. Delusional. You can't keep it. Are you a man telling me, a woman, what to do with my body? Yes. I'm not interested in being a teenage father. I don't care. I don't care. I'm keeping this baby and you're going to have to deal with me and the baby, gay and all. Okay, listen. How old are you? 
You know how old I am, Savon. 16. I haven't loved you since I was 14. See, you ain't ready to be a mom. You have your whole life ahead of you. You care about my life? That's inspiring and all. My mama always supports me being 16 and pregnant. And we already picking our baby names. So, it's a done deal. I got a support system. I'm good. All I need is you. Savon, you said handle it. I'm trying to handle it. But it doesn't look like I'm handling it. So, Versace, how is Savon in bed? I'm going to offer you some advice. You are still a child and should not be bringing a child into this world. This is coming from a bitch who was also 16 and pregnant. Okay, Brian, I tried. I'm not going to jail for putting my hands on this little ass girl. Good luck with your baby. Anyways, Savannah, so you wanna help me decorate the nursery? For what? For our baby. I'm sorry, me and Brian's baby. You know what? I gotta go. I have errands to run. So, y'all keep in touch. I can't remember the last time I've seen all my children in one room. None of you even bother to answer the phone when I call. Answer the phone for what? All you do is ask for money. Or a ride when you have your own car but don't want to waste your gas but want to waste everybody else's gas. Hey, not too much on my mama. Not too much on the underaged females, Tommy. Or your nieces. Tell me, why are we here? I am dealing with a lot right now and I don't have time to sit here and listen to your kids argue. Your kids? So you're above us, Tamika? Terry, shut up! I am above this. And you know I'm the wrong sister to be trying to argue with. I will air your shit the fuck out. Again, Tammy, why are we here? When did I become Tammy? That's your name, isn't it? What do you have going on that is more important than what I'm about to say? You see, I have kids that I'm actually a mother to. And right now, I'm dealing with their poor decisions in life. But I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be all right. I just prefer not to deal with you or your bullshit. Mika, what happened now? <laughs> Brian got a girl pregnant. Brian? I didn't know he had it in him. Wait, I thought he was the gay one. He is. You know who else is gay? Your twin boys. Who also think that they're Disney princesses. <laughs> I get it. You're a single mother who is divorced, has no man, can't get a man. Because you're always angry and bitter, I'm married, happy, and I understand. Your wife weighs approximately 600 pounds. God almighty. You have to put bricks under y'all's bed because of her oversized back. The last time you slept with her, she tried to climb on top of you and sent you to the emergency room for broken ribs and a crushed lung. Are you still having trouble breathing? The only person I shared that with is you, Tara. So clearly you can't keep your fucking mouth shut. How's Tarika? Did she ever find out who her baby daddy was? Tamika, I told you that in confidence. Right, you did. And he made me share it publicly. See, my nephew got him somebody pregnant. I knew he liked him some coochie. I'm proud of him. Mama, why are we here? Ah, it's been a minute since we argued. I feel like starting some shit. Tanya, tell Tamika that you slept with her ex-husband. Tanya!
You slept with Michael? Tamika, no. I would never do that to you. He slept with me well after y'all's divorce. And I told him that he was wrong for that. Like, how could you sleep with your ex-wife's sister? Tanya, how could you? He slept with me. It's the same thing, you bitch. No, it's not. He came to me. You could have said no, Tanya. It's not in my vocabulary. I love men. I am a whore. And I get it from my mama. You like this shit, don't you? Seeing us argue and be against each other, you like that? Y'all have been arguing since y'all was kids, and I am tired of trying to stop it. So when y'all are ready to hear what I have to say, let me know. Tanya, you are insane. You want to know what's insane, Terry? Your wife being banned from every buffet in the state of Texas because she decided to wipe one out in Houston. I mean, she cleared out the entire restaurant and then had the audacity to ask the employees to fill up more food trays. I mean, bitch, how about you throw some of it back up? Fuck. Another thing I shared with only you, Tara. You did. And it's my fault for thinking that I could share your business with our sisters in confidence. I won't do it again. Y'all keep going. I love the abuse. Shut up, Tommy. You are literally the youngest and the dumbest. And mama's favorite. Mama, don't forget that Tara and Tamika slept with your ex-husband, Earl. Did you know that Earl was your real daddy and told mama to get rid of you when she found out she was pregnant with you? You look lost. She never told you that Earl was your real daddy? No? Oh, Tamika. What are you talking about? We all have the same daddy. You sound crazy. Our father died before your ass was conceived. Mama, she's lying. Tell her. Tell her she's lying. Oh, Tammy, you look hurt. Go ahead and tell him that the man that you accused me of Tara sleeping with was his real daddy. And also tell him that he never claimed him or loved him. You know what, Tamika? You are your mother's daughter. Whether you want to accept it or not, you and me are just the same. I have stage three cancer. I do hope that little information brings y'all all together. Have a good day. Oh my God, Tamika, your son is talking about he has stuff to do and I have to go to work. Can you please watch the baby for a little bit? Yeah, that's fine. You look stressed. What's wrong? Nothing. No, something is wrong because any other time if I asked you to watch the baby, you would have been like, do I look like Savon to you? Girl, what is wrong? My mama allegedly has cancer. I'm just doing some research on it. Don't. I hope she- Versace dies. Oh my God. Holy Father, I rebuke that chemotherapy in your name. I come to you today and ask you to block it from healing her body. Do not let the devil win. Get out! You know she lying anyway, Tamika. She probably got something up her sleeve or wants some attention or some money.
I'll be back in an hour to get the baby. Ma, this is Nia, and I tried. I got this. Ma, this is a little girl that Brian got pregnant. Wait, am I really meeting Savan's mom? Ah, you gave birth to him? I'm your daughter-in-law. It is an honor to finally meet you. I'm carrying Brian's baby, but in my head, it's Savon's baby. Brian, I'm pretty sure that I was very much clear when I said that I wanted this taken care of. So why is it not taken care of? And why is it in my kitchen speaking to me? Ma, I tried. But I can't tell a girl what to do with her body. Y'all are just going to have to get over it. All my friends are pregnant, and it's my turn, and I'm already showing. How far along are you? Three months. Mm. Yeah, something's not quite right. Brian, when did you meet this little girl? Four weeks ago. <sighs> the timeline is not timelining. For you to be my smartest child and have a four-year scholarship to Harvard, I am disappointed that you have you have forgotten how to fucking calculate. Oh Lord, I know my child is not turning slow. You said you had sex with her four weeks ago. Yes, ma'am. Okay, stay with me. Are you with me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. You said four weeks ago. So then this little bitch should only be one month pregnant, right? Right. But she just said that she's an additional two months on top of that one month. You tracking? No. Brian, wake the fuck up. You found this girl four weeks ago and she is sitting here saying that she is three months pregnant. She's trying to say that I was already pregnant around the time we met Brian. Oh, oh. <sighs> About damn time. Shit. So you a ho-ho. I feel disgusted that even touched you. Oh my God. Yep, it's not your baby, but I'm making you and Savon responsible for it because you're the last person I messed with and he's the last person I fantasized about. Little girl, get your ass out of my house before I go get a belt and whoop you my damn self. Bye, Savon. Oh, Mama, that is a relief. I, I'm, oh, I'm so relieved. <sighs> get your ass out of my kitchen and go learn your damn timetables again. Just relax. Bitches won't be this, cause I always, always that. Niggas say they rich, let's keep it a stack. I ain't with the tick, I be moving tack. Bitches think they it, all that shit is cat. Wanna be with, she was never, we gon' go with, cause they was never. Wanna be so, cause you ain't getting. Man, bitch, just relax. I came here just to up, up the party. Feel like slick rip, lotty dotty. Fuck up the scene, play. Now that we're all gathered here today, I have some news I'd like to share. Well, before you do that, Mama, we all would just like to apologize to you. Who is we? Mama, we have been so selfish. And we completely forgot that you went through so much to keep a roof over our heads. Did she? You have done the best you could. 
And for that, we appreciate you. Ma, I don't know that much about cancer, but I know that we're all in this with you and we are gonna get through this. Oh, my babies. I love y'all. Now, Tamika, you said you had something you wanted to share. I went to mama's doctor the other day to, you know, find out what exactly was said because I had some questions, comments, and concerns. And, of course, he couldn't share anything because of doctor-patient confidentiality. But what he did say was that mama had lumps and they were all benign. Yeah. So, Mama, what was your goal here? Did you think you were going to get some sympathy from us? Let me get this straight. You went to Mama's doctor after she told us she had cancer? Yes. You have to be the most fucked up individual I have ever met, Tamika. What? Tamika, Mama is dying. And instead of you coming together with us, you want to be a hateful bitch and embarrass her? <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. This must already be hard for mama, and here you go trying to make it worse for her. Sis, who hurt you? Who hurt her? Hmm. It could be the lies she has told us about mama's ex-husband Earl coming on to her, when really she was coming on to him. Now, Terry, I have let that go. I know, mama, but Tamika has put you through a lot. Tara, you're going to sit there and let this man who is married to an overweight, endangered species say that to me? Hey, my wife may be out of shape, but at least she's happy, unlike you. <laughs> when your husband is feeding you 10 to 15 meals a day and wiping your ass because you can't reach past your belly button, I'd be happy too. Really, Tamika? You are the oldest. And you need to be trying to figure out a way to make this easier for mama. But instead, you're over here arguing with Terry. What is happening right now? I believe your siblings are starting to see past your bullshit, Tamika. Now, I don't know who Benign is, but that bitch is lying. I have titty cancer. Ugh, it is an insult to people who actually have cancer. I hate that. I hate that you have to result this low for some damn sympathy, money, or whatever you're after. Prove it. Prove that you have cancer. Mama! <gasps> nice try, Mama. But you've always been bald-headed. Your hair has never been able to grow past an inch. Those naps have been there since Martin Luther King, not because of some fake-ass cancer. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mama is full of shit. And y'all know that. Well, that's drop dead. I hope it brings you the peace you need, Tamika. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Asshole. Bitch. Miserable bitch. I am so disappointed in you, Tamika. Don't come around when something does happen to mama. And don't call us for updates. We're done with you. Consider yourself an only child.
Brian, your mama said she want that homework done before you go to bed. Travis, my mama did not say that weak ass shit. You just wanted a reason to come over here and threaten me. Right now, you're giving me a reason to ground your smart mouth having ass. On what grounds do you think you can confine me to my room? Oh, well, let's see. I, I pay the mortgage in this house. I'm taking care of everybody in this house. So, yeah, I can ground your little ass. Okay, you sprinkle change around the house. Big deal. It does not give you the power to open your mouth and speak to me. <laughs> Brian, do I look like the type of stepdad that's going to go back and forth with the stepson? No, I'm going to just call your mama. My homework will be done before I go to bed, Travis. 10-4, that's a good copy. Savon? Travis? Now, I know you ain't got no job and shit, and you know, you, you, you broke and living off your mama and shit. So I took it upon myself to get you a couple interviews lined up at uh, 7-Eleven, Seth Co., and Chevron. Are those gas stations? No, they're restaurants, dumbass. What do I look like working at a gas station? Oh, I don't know. A man with a job? I'm not working at no gas station. Then I'll get your mama to kick your big grown ass out the house. That's one less mouth I gotta feed. My mama ain't gonna kick me out. Oh, but just the right amount of dick, and I can get your mama to kick all three of y'all out. Keep playing with me. Yo, Travis, is there a reason you didn't come pick me up from school today? Curry, don't nobody gotta pick you up from school, boy. You ain't no damn kid. You're a teenager, capable of taking the bus and walking. Okay, bitch, and wait till my mama found out I had to walk home. And she's gonna ask you why you didn't take the bus, stupid. I'm done with this conversation. The last stray dog my mama brought up in here, me and my brother sent his ass back to the pound. You'll be next. Travis, all you have to offer my mama is back shots and money. <laughs> and all y'all have to offer y'all mama is a headache, a stroke, and some damn grandkids. I wonder which one of us she'll get rid of first. My mama ain't choosing no man over her kids, Travis. Oh, well, let's talk about the type of kids that Tamika Jackson has. Her oldest is a bum with a kid that she takes care of. Her middle child is gay, and that alone is a bit much. And her youngest child is the most disrespectful child on the planet. All three of y'all should have been swallowed. Wow. I can't wait to tell my mom the shit you say to us. And I can't wait to lay her down and make her forget. Now finish that homework, little motherfucker, before I send your ass to a gay conversion camp. Yo, Travis, don't get too comfortable in this house. You've only been here a month. Savon, I'm so comfortable. I ate y'all snacks in the pantry. I'm so comfortable. I'm going to talk to y'all mama about claiming all three of y'all on my taxes. You can't claim me. I'm 19. With no pot to piss in. Savon, you can't even claim yourself. Shut up. Who's next? I hate you. I hate you too. All three of y'all, as a matter of fact. Kyrie, if you got any homework, I suggest you start doing it now. I ain't doing shit. Kyrie, I will break your PS5. Do I look like a back and forth stepdaddy to you? Shut up! Savon, you will show up to these little interviews or you will no longer live here. Travis, I will beat your ass. I tell you what. I'm going to rip all the TVs in this house off the wall and break them if you say any other word besides yes, sir. Oh, there goes my queen right there. Hey, baby. Oh, no, no, no. I'm chilling. They good. They just sitting here getting on my nerves and shit. I got Brian and Kyrie doing their homework and Savon about to look for some jobs so he can get the fuck out. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Janice, he is cheating on you. He give me good life. He give me good dick. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? So you're the only one around here who can have a man? This ain't got nothing to do with my man. He give you good life? He give you good dick? Why would you leave? Why would you leave?
Mama, Travis gotta go. Mama, that man didn't pick me up from school all week. I had to walk home. So why didn't you take the bus? That man did say you would say that. Mama, he called me a bum. Hmm. He told me he was going to send me to a gay conversion camp. He gave me good life. Now that is where I draw the line. Travis. Yes, my queen. Brian just told me that you told him that you were going to send him to a gay conversion camp. What, when I leave? I did. What makes you think you can send my child anywhere? The thing is, baby, I was just choking. Brian was cussing me out because I told him to do his homework. As a matter of fact, all three of them are cussing me out. They were cussing you out. But I handled it. I handled it. I took care of it. So you don't have to do anything else. Do not joke about my son's sexuality ever again. I got gotcha. you. Now, boys. I know that y'all are not used to a man being in a house, especially one that tells y'all what to do. No, which is why he gotta go. Well, he is not going anywhere anytime soon. I actually enjoy Travis and this is my house and I want him in my house. I have catered to everybody my entire life and have got nothing in return. It is time for me to do what makes me happy and Travis makes me happy. Ma, this man is trying to force me to get a job. Savan, what is wrong with you having a job? You have a child. Do you expect me to pay child support for your son until he is 18? Yes, you're the grandmother. That's what you're supposed to do. Stupid. Stupid you are. You better go to those interviews that he's scheduled or else. Or else what, mama? Or else I'll have my man escort you out of my house. And mama don't want to, but I will. I'm tired of taking care of you, Savon. Brian, your issue was that he tried to get you to do your homework Something that you are supposed to do. I'm not addressing that. Do you have any other questions, comments, or concerns? No. Okay. Kyrie. Man, look, I ain't walking home from school. Then get on the damn bus or ride a bicycle. Did you have any other issues with Travis? Yes. That's too damn bad. Travis is here to stay. And y'all need to learn how to coexist with him. He give me good life. Get out of my house, Janice. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? Travis, I need you and the boys to click. And I've been thinking about ways to make that happen. So, a family trip to Six Flags might do the trick. We could try it. Okay. Boys! Good morning. Good morning from the three of us. Oh, so your brothers can't speak for themselves? No, I will be speaking for the three of us. Okay. Well, I'd like all of us to go on a family trip. Me and your mother were thinking about taking y'all to Six Flags. We thank you for the invitation, but we will have to politely decline. And why is that? Because, Mother. We simply don't have the desire to go. Well, y'all don't have a damn choice. Y'all are going. Mom, did you forget that me and Kyrie are still in high school and can't afford to miss any school? I mean, it just started. This will be happening next weekend. <clears throat> <clears throat> next weekend, we will be at our father's house spending time with him and Karen. Hey, baby. It's okay. 
They'll come around eventually. You know what? Y'all are not going to your father's house next weekend. Y'all will be spending time with me and Travis. Mom, if you are forcing us to go, then we will. But as stated earlier, we do not have the desire to go. So we will be silent the entire trip. Get the door or get one of your other brothers to do it. <laughs> I'll get it. Don't even worry about it. Why are y'all here? Trust me, I didn't want to come. Then why the fuck did you? Because Tara was driving. I had no choice. Well, you have one right now. Turn your ass around and leave the way you came in. Tamika, we haven't spoken to you in months. So fucking what? We have gone years without speaking. It didn't bother you then. You haven't even had the decency to call and check on mama. She hasn't been much of a decent mother, so why would I be a decent daughter? But you know what? <laughs> Humor me. How is your mother's health? The chemo appears to be working. And you know this because you've gone to each and every appointment with her and held her hand through the process, or that's just what she calls and tells that's you. That's what she calls and tells us, and I believe her. Okay. Tamika, stop. I am also here because Brian has been telling me that your little boyfriend, who is five years younger than you, has been really ugly to them. The boys have been disrespectful towards me and I made the mistake of arguing back with them. I'm not innocent, but I've already been addressed. Not that that was any of your business. My sister and her kids are my business. And my responsibility. So you and the other one can leave. My name is Tanya. Oh, I didn't ask what your name was. Tara, you and Tanya can get the hell out of my house now. You know what I will. I really only came to check on my nephews, you know, since you're out here choosing men over them. Better than me choosing men who choose my daughter every time. That was low. I can go lower if you'd like. <laughs> And for the record, I will never choose no damn man over my kids on any day of the week. They're just not used to seeing me with a man. No, they're used to seeing me yelling at them for every single fuck up they make. So don't you ever try to charge me up about what goes on in my damn house. I wasn't trying to charge you up. You couldn't, even if you had a damn plug. Now get out. Okay, because what did they think was going to come up here and do? Right. We'll go to Six Flags. <laughs> Y'all had no choice in the matter, but I'm glad you came to your senses for your brothers. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen, all three of y'all. All right, baby, my mama's on the way over here. Travis, are you sure it's not too soon to be meeting your mom? I mean, I don't I don't necessarily have a, a good track history from, you know, meeting moms. Oh, baby, it'll be fine. Yeah, but did you tell your mom about her age difference? No, I didn't tell her anything because I wanted her to meet you and form her own judgment. See, no, mm-mm, mm-mm. Because if she does decide to judge, then I'm gonna decide to react and it won't be good for either one of us. Oh, baby, my mama will love you to show her that you're a respectful woman and you're polite. I'm not any of that. I need you to be that today because that's what I told her you were. Mom, this is my girlfriend, Tamika. Tamika, this is my mom, Ida. <clears throat> It's, it's nice to meet you. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about you. Oh, you're such a nervous little thing. It's okay. Calm down, honey. When did you meet my son? Oh, we, we met two months ago. Uh, two months ago, and he's already living with you and paying all the bills? 
by choice he is. I, I didn't ask him to do that. This is a very large house for just two people. Do you have any children? I do, I, I have three. Three? Three. Oh, Travis, you missed that major detail. I didn't think it was that important. How old are these children? Oh, they, they grown, mama. Define grown, and exactly how old is your girlfriend, Travis? The boys are 19, 17, and uh, 16. Oh, that's interesting. How old are you, Tamale? Who's Tamale? Oh, is that not your name? It's Tamika. What did I say? You said Tamale. Then that's what it is. How old are you? I'm 40. 40. Travis, what are you doing with this older woman? You do know my son is 35 years young with no children. Older woman. He has no business being with you. Do your children have the same father or different dads? I was married to their father. You were married. What happened? Mom, with all due respect, that's none of your business. That's personal. Oh, it's fine, Travis. It's fine. <laughs> he cheated on me and decided to unmarry me and marry her. Well, what did you do wrong? You clearly did something wrong for him to cheat on you. Mom, I need you to stop being disrespectful right now. Fine. How are your sons adjusting to my son? They're adjusting. You know what, that, that's great, that's great. Travis, he likes fixing things. You know, he I've seen him fix several women that were older than him, such as yourself. You know, women that were broken. Broken? Am I broken, Travis? I never said that. Ma, I never said that. You didn't have to. She's 40, divorced with three kids. I mean, it's a perfect project for you, Pro Travis. Project. Ma, that is not true. He will fix you, build you up, whatever you want to call it, and then he'll move on to the next broken woman for his project. Oh, Travis, don't spare her feelings. She can handle it. I mean, she's mature. And old enough to handle it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, bitch. Well, wait a minute now. Don't call me a bitch. Bitch! Your son does 360s and my coochie. That is one of the reasons I allow him to stay here. Oh, does he? Your son has spent a great amount of money on me and my three kids. Another reason I allow him to stay here. Oh, has he? So I ain't nobody's fucking project. I met him at Walmart and he was flirting hard. And you know what? A bitch can get lonely at times. So I decided, I decided to let him entertain me. Is that so? It is. So when I get tired of looking at him, then he can move on to another woman. But he will only move on if I say so. Now, did you have any other questions for me, Idaho? I'm sorry, who is Idaho? Is that not your name? No, it's Ida. Well, what did I say? You said Idaho. Then that's what it is. Travis, as you are escorting your mother out of my house, Please let her know that I wasn't as disrespectful as I could have been. And I want her to appreciate that. <laughs> you know, I think I'm going to enjoy watching my son leave you in pieces. I'm the type of bitch that does not like to ask twice for somebody to leave my house. Travis? Come on, Ma.
It was nice meeting you. So there was an altercation between the two of you that apparently... Vanessa, who exactly told you that you were in charge of this conversation in my house? Does it matter who opens the discussion, Tamika? I invited you and your daughter into my home to discuss this matter between her and Savon. So let's discuss. I am not ready to speak yet. I am still collecting my thoughts. So shut up. Girl, not you still holding on to that little tussle we got into three years ago. Little tussle. Beloved. I injured you. You went to the ER for that neck. That neck that still looks stiff today. Okay. How about you let bygones be bygones? Do I look like I'm the type of bitch to let a bye be gone? Ma, y'all forgetting why we're here. You know what? I was trying to come here and not automatically point the finger. But since you want to be ignorant, you want to tell me why your son put his hands on my daughter? Miss Vanessa, that's not what happened. That is how it happened, Savon. How did I end up from one side of the room to the other? How did I end up with a busted lip? I need to know why it happened, Savon. No, what I need to know is why from the both of you. What started this? Go ahead and tell them. It doesn't matter what started it. Savon, you put your hands on my daughter. Your daughter put her hands on my son. She was defending herself. He was defending himself. Versace, did he hit you first? Yes, he did. No, I didn't. She knocked my phone out of my hand and then she choked me, Mama. I wouldn't lie to you. Mama, I wouldn't lie to you. He hit me, so I hit him back. Describe how he hits you and how it made you fly across the room. You know what? I do not like the way you are questioning my daughter right now, Tanika. Oh, I don't give a fuck. How did he make you fly across the room, Versace? By him hitting me. No man should hit a woman, Tamika. No woman should hit a man. Except he hit me first. No, I didn't. I wouldn't give you my phone. And what was on the phone, Savon? None of your business. Who swung first? She did. He did. Savon, my daughter would not lie to me. Vanessa, you finna piss me off. Versace has fake pregnancies, DNA tests, and eyelashes. Okay, and your son is no damn better. He ain't the worst either. You know what? How could you as a black woman stand there with a black son and tell me and my black daughter that her assault does not matter? Oh, I ain't trying to hear all that black shit. This ain't no BET movie, bitch. Start from the beginning, Versace. He was on his phone texting, and I knew it was another bitch, so I asked for his phone. Okay. Savon, what did you do when she asked for your phone? I ignored her. Oh. And that must have pissed you off, Versace, because how dare he? Right, because I knew he heard me the first time when I asked. So, uh, what happened next? I asked for it again, and he got mad. And then what did he do? He put his hands on me. You lying bitch. Savon, you better watch your damn mouth. Vanessa, I will eat you up right now. Well, bon appetit, bitch. Ma. Ma. Versace press charges. I'm good. Um, I think Savon learned his lesson. Hmm, very safe decision, Versace. Press charges, Savon. I'm, I'm actually good, Mama. Okay. <laughs> I'm leaving. So y'all want to fuck each other up, make it everybody else's problem, and then get back together? It's very much toxic behavior and I don't have time for it. Get it the fuck away from me. Shit and me. You wanna grab a drink?
I guess not. All right, boys, I got y'all support cards. Um, who's first? Brian. All ace, as expected. Let's read some of the teacher's comments. Mrs. Jackson, you are raising one intelligent human being. Brian is smart, brilliant, and his future looks promising. I don't have any students who have a four-year scholarship to Harvard in my class, so I am honored to have Brian in my class. You know, I have always been proud to be your mama. Auntie, I think it should be getting my report cards now. I did switch over to my guardian. Let's see. Oh, yep, Genesis. Here we go. All A's and one B. Mm -mm, how disappointing. Genesis, this class you have a B in. Talk to me about it. It's a college class. They only offer it to students who've passed their stellar exam during their sophomore year in high school. I believe Brian took the same exam, but what were your test results again? It's a college class. Me and 10 other students didn't pass. It was an exam, not a class. And how unfortunate that you failed that exam. I passed with flying colors though. Aunt Tamika, that is a very challenging class. To have anything under a C could get you removed. So for me to have a B in that type of class, the same type of class that they offer at schools like Harvard, is amazing. Would you mind reading my teacher's comments, Aunt Tamika? Mrs. Jackson, Genesis is a very well-educated student of mine who I highly recommended to five major colleges due to his extremely high test scores in my class. Most students who take my class average a C or C minus. Genesis has maintained a B for the past semester, making his score the highest in my class. He is definitely going places. Hey, that's my nephew. I could have passed that class, and yet you did not. I still have a four-year scholarship to a college that doesn't even know you exist. And yet all my teachers recommended me to not just Harvard, but four other top colleges in the United States. Mm -hmm. Great. Did you get a phone call back? Did you get a letter in the mail? Is it official? I have not yet, but I will. This conversation has expired. Mom, can you read my little brother's report card? Boys, you both are doing great in school. Keep up the good work. All right, Kyrie, there are no scores. It, there's a comment though, it says, Mrs. Jackson, Kyrie's scores were so low that I was embarrassed to email them to you. Please stop by my office so we can further discuss. Kyrie, what the fuck is the issue? Why, why are you cussing at me? School is not for me, I wanna drop out. So damn bad. What do you need from me as a mother to get you back on track? Because 20 parent-teacher conferences in one damn year is insane. So withdraw me. You don't like seeing these teachers? Neither do I. Where did I go wrong with you? Find out where grandma went wrong with you, and then you'll find out where you went wrong with me. You know what it is? I don't beat your ass enough. That's what it is. You want to be like your older brother? You want to be a high school dropout? One kid, no job, no pot to piss in. Yes, mama, I want to be just like Siobhan. How about you homeschool me? I'm tired, mama. I don't want to be in school. I hate everyone there. You are not there for everybody, Kyrie. You are there to get your damn high school diploma. We have got to figure something out because I am tired. That is enough. You are in your sophomore year in high school and you have not progressed. Remove me from school. That is out of the question. Well, then you're going to continue to stress about my performance in school because it's about to get worse. Jesus, I know I have not lost control of my child. No, uh-uh, mm-mm. I'll tell you what, when Travis gets home, me and him are going to discuss what we're going to do with you. Because that is enough. Ma, Travis is a damn kid himself. And you're old enough to be his mama. So don't be going to talk to one of your other kids about me. Mama, how long is Genesis staying with us? Brian, I am actually in the process of becoming Genesis's legal guardian, so he will be here for a while. I need to make a phone call. The 
Is it a problem? Is it? I'm asking you. Just stay the fuck out of my way or you'll end up like the last cousin that stayed here. Brian, I know you're used to thinking you're the smartest grandchild out of all of us. That must have been hard for you to admit. While I'm in your house, I'm going to make sure I humble you every chance I get. Spell humble. How about you look deep within yourself and find it first before you ask somebody how to spell it? You know what I can find deep down inside me? My parents, who are very much still alive and breathing. And that was just a small taste of how disrespectful I can get. So during the duration of your stay, watch your fucking mouth. And don't you ever try to compete with me in front of my mom. Kyrie, get your shit together. Mind your motherfucking business. Hey, Auntie, I was wondering if it was possible to share a room with one of the boys. Is there something wrong with the couch upstairs? Oh, it's, it's just slightly uncomfortable, you know, hurts my back sometimes. But Auntie, I'm very much grateful and I don't mean to complain. No, it's fine. I know that couch can be quite uncomfortable. Kyrie still has his bunk beds in his room, so I'm sure he won't mind. Well, I thought that maybe me and Brian can share a room because we are the same age. But then again, I don't want to mess up what he has going on every other night. What does he have going on every night? Oh, his boyfriend? He sneaks in every other night. What fucking boyfriend? Oh, auntie, I don't think I was supposed to tell you. I'm sorry. But please don't tell him I told you. That'll just make him hate me more. You know what? I think you and Brian sharing the room is a great idea. Brian! Mama, why do you be yelling? It is so unnecessary. You are not outside. You and Genesis will be sharing a room. The hell we are! Who the fuck are you talking to like that, Brian? I would knock your head off your shoulders! <sighs> <laughs> Where is he gonna sleep, Mama? Y'all are cousins, so you will share the bed. Uh, Kyrie has a bunk bed. It would make more sense for him to sleep in his room. I'm about to get rid of Kyrie's bunk bed and buy him a single bed. Now, like I said, you and Genesis will be sharing a room. Was there anything else? I don't know. Was there? I don't know. You tell me. You called me down here. Ryan, don't get fucked up. Don't get fucked up. Go upstairs and make space for your new roommate. <sighs> okay, mama. From now on, you will be my eyes and my ears. Yes, ma'am. Now, I could have sworn I locked my doors. Brian let us in. Of course he did. Now let yourselves out. Mika. Genesis, go upstairs for a minute. Yes, ma'am. Bye, Grandma. Bye, Auntie. Why are y'all here? Gabriella's death was devastating. I haven't had time to process it, you know? It happened so fast, and she wasn't my blood sister, but she was my sister. Like I said, everything happened so fast, and I just found out that, you know, she made you Genesis' legal guardian. So my question is, how long do you plan on keeping him? And what all did she put you in charge of? Why do you care? Your stepdaughter, you know, the one that just died and you didn't come to her funeral, she told me that if anything happened to her, that he was mine. So I'm keeping him forever. <sighs> That's fine. I don't care about all that. Where's the money she left for him? Mama, that is not why we are here. <laughs> See, I'm not stupid. I knew that you or somebody else was going to come after that money. 
That money is in an account that only Genesis will have access to when he turns 18. Oh, I can tell that pissed you off. You weren't expecting that. <laughs> How's your cancer? She was my damn stepdaughter, so I'm gonna need some of that damn money. Tammy, Gabriella hasn't liked you since her father, your eighth husband, died of natural causes, which is why she didn't leave Genesis with you and left him with me, because she didn't trust your trifling ass to do the right thing with that money. Tamika, you out of all people should know I don't play by my money. Now that's $300,000 that you better go get for me. Or what? Damn it, Tamika, don't make me do something that I'm going to regret. Do what you gotta do, Tammy, but calm down. Don't upset that cancer. Uh, both of you, please stop. I need that money. You know what? I'm starting to wonder if anybody has actually asked you this, but what type of cancer do you have? A daughter. Named Tamika. Oh, oh, well, you're gonna have it a long time because there is no amount of chemo in the world that can get rid of me. Tamika, I'll take Genesis off your hands. Tanya, shut up. And what are you even doing here? What you gonna do with a 17 year old boy? I already have one, so I know what I'm doing. Genesis is fine and he ain't going nowhere. Thank you. Let me have him. Why? What you gonna do with him? Tell me why. Exactly. Shut up. Give me my child. <laughs> Wait. Wait. <laughs> what in the Talapuri is going on? You remember when you didn't see me for nine months? I wasn't ready to be a mother. And Gabriella, she couldn't get pregnant. She got a family, a husband. So I let her have him. Mm. Well, you made the right choice, giving him up because you clearly are not fit to be anyone's mother. And Genesis is 17. So 17 years ago when you had him, that was around the time that you slept with my ex-husband. Tanya, if I found out that you and my ex-husband have a child together, you will cease to exist. I just want my son. You ain't getting a damn thing. You will have to take me to court. And even then, you don't stand a chance, bitch. And you, you ain't getting no damn money. It ain't up to you. Oh, but it is. I'm his legal guardian. And I think both of you are starting to forget that. Don't shit move with him unless I say so. I ain't got to do shit. He's mine. Mine. Well, I'm his mother. Spell it. Go spell it. Mother. M-O-T-H-O-R. <clears throat> Get out. Tamika, this isn't over. I'm coming for my child. Spell it. Child. C-H-I-L-E-D. Oh, this is great. I want you to act just like this in court. Dumb. Tanya, bring your dumb ass. Tamika, this isn't over. Y'all should really call before y'all come next time. It has been a very long time since I've seen condom wrappers in my house. Until now. Ma, I don't even use condoms.
Savon, this has nothing to do with you because I actually found this in Brian and Genesis's room. First of all, mama, it is still my room. Genesis is just pest that I cannot control. Second, that is not mine. Well, if it doesn't belong to you, then it means it belongs to Genesis. Auntie, I would never disrespect your house like that. I wouldn't even have time to do anything like that in Brian's room without being caught. Me either. Ever since you forced yourself into my room, I have not been able to have any privacy. Privacy for fucking what? Just general privacy. Privacy for what? And cut the shit, Brian. I know that little boyfriend of yours has been in my house every other night. Even if that were true, I wouldn't be dumb enough to leave a condom wrapper in plain sight. But you're dumb enough to sneak a boy in. Why were you in my room anyway, mama? I didn't know I needed permission to enter any room in a house that I pay mortgage in. You technically don't pay the mortgage. Travis does. Brian LaShawn Jackson, that mouth of yours has become a problem. It's a problem because my mom has become toxic. Ma, can I use the car? <laughs> I'm toxic because I'm getting to your ass about shit. You still have a problem with me being gay. Oh, you love pulling that pathetic ass car. I don't care nothing about you being gay. I have a problem with you having underage sex in my house. You don't have no proof, mama. Genesis is the one who told me that you'd be sneaking a boy in my house every other night. So whoever this little boy is, I want you to bring him to my house with his parents so I can tell them what I found in your room. And then I can tell them where he's at every other night. I'm not doing that. You will, or I'll go up to your school and find him myself. You know, at first, I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off. Getting a condom, taking the condom out of the package, leaving the package on the floor for your mom to find, getting her to believe that it was yours and not mine. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull it off, but I did. Genesis, do you, do you got a death wish? Shut up, Savannah, before I tell your mama you've been selling drugs out of her house. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Then show me. Okay. Kyrie! Who oh, are you not got two pack in my back? Do I? Don't need no clock, got two pack in my back. I need you to do something. Two pack, two pack, two pack, two pack. How many times I'ma have to park it up, pay your crib a visit? Too many times niggas gon' block they lights, just play that for in it. Glasses tinted, I got them panicking. I need my money as well. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. You can ask, but that doesn't mean it's going to happen. Mrs. Jackson, please don't make this difficult for yourself. Mr. Brown, please don't make this difficult for you. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to call security. You sure have been afraid to make a lot of decisions since we started this conversation, Mr. Brown. I need security to my office, please. <laughs> that does not scare me. Where are they at? Which way are they coming from so I can meet them halfway? Mr. Brown, is everything okay? Mrs. Jackson is having trouble accepting my decision to expel her son from the school. Ma'am, the decision is final. Right, and who are you? My name is Tamara. Tamara, okay. And which department do you work in? I'm his secretary. You're a secretary. Tamara, you don't get paid enough to handle a hostile parent like me. So return to your desk and remain unharmed. <laughs> Excuse me? Yes, you may be excused. I'm calling security. Oh, could you? Because I have been waiting for the longest. I mean, do I even want my child at a school where it takes this long for security to get to the incident? Brown to any available security personnel. On second thoughts, this school does not seem like a safe place to have my child at. So, I'll go ahead and withdraw him. Mrs. Jackson, you cannot withdraw your son because he has been expelled from the school. Okay, we'll spell him back and then withdraw him.
Travis, can I have a moment with my sister, please? No, you cannot have a moment in my house. You are just a guest who pays bills. You don't own shit. Travis, give us a moment. You need to start putting him in his place. Tara, don't come in my house telling me what to do with my man. <laughs> my man. Well, you never really had one, so try real hard not to lose this one. Like the several men you have lost to your teenage daughter. Oh my God, please stop. Both of you. So Tanya, tell me about Genesis. She has a right to be in her son's life. Tara, stop acting stupid. Tanya is a whore. She is not fit to be anybody's mother. Wow. Wow. Genesis is 17, Tanya. You gave him up 17 years ago. And during that time, you did not reach out to him. Now that he's borderline 18 years of age, you want to be a part of his life? Bitch, you have missed half of it. He had a mother who passed away. And I don't feel right about my older sister stepping in. I feel like it is my responsibility to step in. Tara, tell her. <laughs> I already shut you down in front of your mama. I don't know what you thought bringing your sister here was going to do. Okay, granted. Genesis is damn near grown. But what you don't know, Tamika, is that one of Gabriella's dying wishes was for him to know who his biological mother was. Oh, she didn't make that damn bullshit ass dying wish. Shut up, Tara. Yes, she did. And you need to honor it. I ain't got to honor a motherfucker. I am going to try to explain this to both you dumb, oblivious ass bitches the best way I can. I'm dumb, but I have my high school diploma, a college degree, and I'm a lawyer. You have a GED, three kids, and a nine to five. And a man who wants me and not my children. Tara, your daughter just gave birth to your granddaughter slash stepdaughter that she had with your fiance. He is not the father. Great, he still slept with her. She was lying. That is the same exact shit mama said about us with Earl. Baby, is everything all right? Can you get out, please? Don't yell at my man because you just figured out that you're a horrible mother, Tara. My man, my man. Damn, at least act like you've had one before, Tamika. But you're a mom who had to use her daughter to keep a man. Tamika, that is enough. You are hitting below the belt. And I don't think I'm hitting low enough. Genesis just lost the only mother that he knew, and he is still grieving. Do you think it's a good idea to tell him that the mother that he just lost was not his real mother? If you gave an ounce of fuck about Genesis, you would let him heal and then we can revisit this conversation at a later date. Fine. Find my ass because you now have two bridges to cross. Telling Genesis that you're his biological mother and then telling my ex-husband that he might be the biological father. We will never be the same after this conversation. Tara, you're a bad mom. Start listening to your daughter when she says that your boyfriends are sleeping with her. Oh, you ignorant bitch. I cannot stand you. Then hop over this counter and whoop my ass. An impossible task to accomplish. Get the fuck out of my house, both of you. What's that all that be? Oh. All right, Ma. This is my Christmas list for this year. Now, I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. But, well, damn.
And did you fall and hit your head on something? Because what type of year have you had, Kyrie? <laughs> Ma, I'll be chilling. You're the one who'll be chilling. Your grades are trash. Your mouth is reckless. And your behavior is... Top tier. Out of control. Period. Period what, Brian? I'm just saying, Mama's right. You do have a bad attitude, Kyrie. Oh, watch this. Mama, did you ever meet that boy he be sneaking in the house? What the entire fuck? Watch your damn mouth, Brian. Ma. Did you forget that you told Brian to bring that boy and his parents over so you can tell them that their son has been sneaking in your house, messing around with your son? Ma, focus on him. He is trying to change the topic. And that situation is far from over. I haven't forgotten. But I'll deal with that later. You ain't getting shit for Christmas, but a damn Merry Christmas and maybe a Christmas dinner. You know what, Mama? You sure do judge me a lot. You call it judging, I call it parenting. Hmm. What about moral compass? What about it? You clearly don't have it. Neither do you. What the hell are you talking about, boy? I'm talking about Genesis and his biological mother. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Really, mama? Really? Really, mama? You know what? I am protecting his feelings. And how the hell did you find out about that, Kyrie? Come on, mama. You and your sisters don't know how to use y'all's inside voices. I'm sure the neighbors heard y'all arguing about it, too. So Genesis was adopted? Mm, not quite. Shut up, Kyrie. When you tape that paper back up that I gave you, that you crumbled up, then I might let my top lip meet my bottom. Oh, hey. I am not your brothers. I am your mama. You will not blackmail me. I will hurt you. Yes, that is very true. But the way I'm about to sing, a canary is no match for me. I'm about to run my mouth like water if you do not comply. Kyrie, who do you think I am? That holding shit over people's head? That don't work on me? I am your mother. I have kept you alive for 16 years, and I will take you out. Ah, uh, Mama, come on. You ain't got to get all inspirational on me. Just give me what I ask for Christmas, and we'll be okay. Your secret will be safe with me. I ain't getting you a damn thing, little boy. You're out of your simple-ass mind. Hmm. I wonder what state of mind Aunt Tanya was in when she decided to give Genesis up to Aunt Gabriella. Oh, wait a damn minute. Wait a... Oh, my God. Brian. I know how you feel about that boy, but you would not say a damn thing to that boy or I will. Let me see my new boyfriend in peace. Is is that what you'll do? Oh, y'all both got me fucked up. What, what do I look like? Am I not y'all's mama? I am not one of y'all. Y'all not finna handle me like that. I'm just saying, if that information were to get out from me and Kyrie, I think that boy would need a lifetime of therapy. Uh, yes, I agree. And he just lost his mother which is not his real mother he's gonna be fucked up for life but if you told him when you thought he was ready then i think he'll be okay you see i think that is your information to tell not ours i guess what i'm trying to say is we will not tell genesis anything if you keep us happy this little gang y'all want to play with me will not end well for either one of you. Well, it sounds like it doesn't end well for Genesis either. But it does not have to be that way, mama. Put your pride aside and give us what we want. Let me remind y'all that I gave birth to both of y'all with no pain medication. I am your creator. Challenging me would be very dangerous. All these little tricks and shit, y'all be playing against each other. I taught y'all that. So are y'all sure y'all want to do this? Are you? Okay. As much as I can shut this down right now, I'm not ready to tell that boy this secret. So I'll play along. Kyrie, go ahead and write me up another Christmas list. And Brian, do not have that boy in my house while I am here. When I am gone, then you can sneak him over. I hope y'all are prepared for what happens when all of this is over. Because eventually, I will tell him. And after I do... I'm coming for both of y'all hard because y'all got me fucked up. So I hope y'all know what the fuck y'all doing. <laughs> Where'd my pen go? Kyrie, I think we fucked up. 
Stop being a little bitch, grind. Fuck. Find me a pen. Mom. I have not been able to bring my boyfriend over because you have not gone to work and you agreed that I can bring him over when you weren't here, but you have not left the house. Well, I'm on vacation from work. Oh, how convenient that you decided to take a vacation after our agreement. I'm about to conveniently pop you in your damn mouth if you don't watch it. I'm just saying, Genesis's feelings are on the line. Your life is also on the line. I'd be more concerned about that. Ma, how's my Christmas list coming along? I'm working on it. We'll work a little faster. I'm, I'm trying not to make Savon an only child. What did I miss over the weekend while I was out of town? Travis, please inform my mother that keeping dark secrets has consequences. What secret? He ain't got to inform me of shit. Hey, auntie, can I buy my friend Jessica over? She just lost her dad and I just want to comfort her a little bit. Mm. I guess you would be the perfect person for her to talk to since, you know... You don't have either parent in your life. Brian! What? Mama, I did not mean that in a malicious way. I was just saying she will be able to relate to him more because his mama is dead and her daddy just died. It's okay, auntie. His hemorrhoids must be sore. You know, you should really start using, um, what do you gay people use? Lube? That was corny. Not really. It's quite disgusting the way you let that young man slut you out behind school buildings, cafeterias, gym locker rooms, science labs. Whoa. You can't sneak him in, so you have to get it anywhere you can, I guess. Brian, you better light his ass up. And after he lights me up, let's talk about who he likes to watch take a shower and your obsession with your pillows and your mom's wigs, Kyrie. I will fuck you up. Save the fuck for your pillows because I am not interested. All right, that's enough. That That's enough. Y'all cut it out. Y'all doing too much. Yes, that's enough. I've heard enough. I don't know what Genesis has on either of you, but I know you both don't want me to know. And that's okay, because this little game of ours is now over. Not quite, because I know you don't want him to know what we know. Which is what? None of your damn tragic business at the moment, Genesis. Now, is it, Mama? Auntie, is, is there something you want to tell me? No. There isn't, baby. Brian, you can invite your friend over. We're beyond friends, but thank you, Mama. Kyrie, I'll start working on that Christmas list. Let it go. All the Christmas presents you want. All the Christmas presents you want. Fuck that Christmas list. Fuck. Aunt Gabriella ain't your fucking mama. Aunt Tanya is. Shit. Kyrie, what the fuck? <laughs> what? what? Type of fucked up shit your family on. Thank you for letting this happen, Tamika. Shut the fuck up. Okay. The only reason it is happening is because Genesis wanted it to happen. So what do you like to do for fun? Tanya, back the fuck up because you jump into places that he did not give you access to. Genesis, ask your first question. Why'd you give me up? I... I was 20 years old. I was in college. I wasn't fit to be anyone's mother. And you still aren't. However... I thought I was doing what was best for you. You did. See? I knew you would understand. So, what's your favorite food? And you can continue doing what's best for me by continuing to stay out of my life. 
Damn. Damn. If you were not fit to be a mother then, what makes you fit to be a mother now? I'm only 37 years old. I can learn how to be a mother. Well, learn with your next kid because you lost your opportunity with me. Genesis. What do you really want from me? A chance to be your mother. My mother died. You were there when I buried her. I do have one final question for you, though, Aunt Tanya. Can you please not call me Aunt Tanya? That's who I've always known you to be, Auntie. Who is my biological father? I've never had one of those growing up. It's not Michael. Then who is it, Tanya? Look, I was just trying to get back at Mama for what she did to me. You and Tara experienced Earl. I experienced Jimmy. Genesis, go upstairs. Who, who's Jimmy? The name sounds familiar. Isn't Grandma Tammy? Now. Yes, ma'am. Mama's husband? Jimmy? What? I was drunk. I bet you were, you dumb, dizzy, sloppy, slutty bitch. I have put all that behind me, Tamika. Tanya, you are a hoe with no boundaries or morals. What is wrong with you? Well, aren't you the cow calling the kettle black? It's the pot calling the kettle black, you dumb bitch. When mama finds out that Jimmy, her husband, is Genesis's father, that money that I was protecting from her, she now has access to legally. Oh, damn. Yeah. Why did you do that? Because mama is always ruining stuff for me. She messed up my relationship in college. I was having an affair with my professor and I was passing all my classes every time I gave him some. And she decided to go up there and get him fired. And then he didn't want to talk to me no more. He wanted to go back to his wife. And it just, it made me feel some type of way because I felt like I wasn't bothering her. I wasn't, I didn't mess up her marriage. Well, I did. I did. After she did what she did, I decided to go and mess up her marriage by having a baby by her husband. And then I got rid of the evidence. Disgusting behavior. I am ashamed to be a part of this family, let alone call you my baby sister. You are foul. I am Tammy's daughter and so are you, Tamika, whether you like it or not. She screwed all of us up. We might not be the same type of screwed up, but we're screwed up. <sighs> we can't tell mama we cannot tell mama we would just bury this it never happened as far as she's concerned Michael oh, god. I don't know how to... oh my god what's up ma hey son I see I missed a lot you did but it ain't nothing that mama can't handle um, the reason I invited you over here is because I did want to share some good news with you. I, I think I got a, a bit of good news for you, too. What you got? Okay. Jasmine is moving back to Texas permanently. And I cannot wait for y'all to get back together. Well, I got to tell you something. You know, I really thought you and Versace were going to work out, but I mean, we know that wasn't going to work out. I just, I'm ready for Jasmine back because she was my piece. She was my piece and she was good for you. And I don't want to hear it. She's the one for you. And when she come back down, I need you to go ahead and propose because I'm ready to plan a wedding. Who the hell is in my bathroom? 
Oh, I am so sorry. I had to use the bathroom. Hi. Ma, this is my fiance, Kenya. Kenya, this is my mom. Fiance. It is finally nice to meet you. Siobhan, every time you introduce your bitches to me, they say finally, like they been knew about me. But not once do I remember a single mention of this bitch from you. So who is this? She's my fiance, mama. You said her name was Kenya. So tell me, where did you find this country? At Zell's, where I work. And that was almost a year ago. He wanted to make sure I was actually the one before he introduced me to you. A lot of normal moms would have appreciated that. You got an attitude? Would you like to see one? <laughs> Savan, I don't think I like her. Look, I ain't got time for this, Savan. Jasmine is coming next week, so I need you to wrap this up before she gets here. <laughs> Well, I won't be wrapping anything up. King is pregnant. I've heard there was a secret card that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do you? Goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. It's not Michael. Then who is it, Tanya? Look, I was just trying to get back at Mama for what she did to me. You and Tara experienced Earl. I experienced Jimmy. Genesis, go upstairs. Who, who's Jimmy? The name sounds familiar. Isn't Grandma Tammy? Now. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> Mama's husband, Jimmy? What? I was drunk. I bet you were, you dumb, dizzy, Sloppy, slutty bitch. I have put all that behind me, Tamika. Tanya, you are a hoe with no boundaries or morals. What is wrong with you? Well, aren't you the cow calling the kettle black? It's the pot calling the kettle black, you dumb bitch. When mama finds out that Jimmy, her husband, is Genesis's father, that money that I was protecting from her, she now has access to legally. Oh, damn. Yeah. Why did you do that? Because mama is always ruining stuff for me. She messed up my relationship in college. I was having an affair with my professor and I was passing all my classes every time I gave him some. And she decided to go up there and get him fired. And then he didn't want to talk to me no more. He wanted to go back to his wife. And it just, it made me feel some type of way because I felt like I wasn't bothering her. I wasn't, I didn't mess up her marriage. Well, I did. I did. After she did what she did, I decided to go and mess up her marriage by having a baby by her husband. And then I got rid of the evidence. Disgusting behavior. I am ashamed to be a part of this family, let alone call you my baby sister. You are foul. I am Tammy's daughter and so are you, Tamika, whether you like it or not. She screwed all of us up. We might not be the same type of screwed up, but we're screwed up. <sighs> we can't tell mama we cannot tell mama we would just bury this it never happened as far as she's concerned Michael oh, god. I don't know how to... oh my god 
What's up, ma? Hey, son. I see I missed a lot. You did, but it ain't nothing that mama can't handle. Um, the reason I invited you over here is because I did want to share some good news with you. I, I think I got a, a bit of good news for you, too. What you got? Okay. Jasmine is moving back to Texas permanently. And I cannot wait for y'all to get back together. I gotta tell you something. You know, I really thought you and Versace were gonna work out, but I mean, we know that wasn't gonna work out. I just, I'm ready for Jasmine back because she was my piece. <laughs> she was my piece and she was good for you. And I don't wanna hear it. She's the one for you. And when she come back down, I need you to go ahead and propose because I'm ready to plan a wedding. Who the hell is in my bathroom? Oh, I am so sorry. I had to use the bathroom. Hi. Ma, this is my fiance, Kenya. Kenya, this is my mom. Fiance. It is finally nice to meet you. Siobhan, every time you introduce your bitches to me, they say finally, like they been knew about me. But not once do I remember a single mention of this bitch from you. So who is this? She's my fiance, mama. You said her name was Kenya. So tell me, where did you find this country? At Zell's, where I work. And that was almost a year ago. He wanted to make sure I was actually the one before he introduced me to you. A lot of normal moms would have appreciated that. You got an attitude? Would you like to see one? <laughs> Savon, I don't think I like her. Look, I ain't got time for this, Savon. Jasmine is coming next week, so I need you to wrap this up before she gets here. <laughs> well, I won't be wrapping anything up. King is pregnant. secret card that David played and it pleased the Lord but you don't really care for music do you it goes like this the fourth the fifth the minor fall the major lift the baffled king composing hallelujah hallelujah It feels so good to spend Christmas alone. I mean, I got rid of everybody. The boys are with their daddy. Travis is in Chicago. <sighs> this year has been hell for me, and I deserve some alone time. Shit. I might even keep everybody gone until next year, because I am tired of everybody and their shit. But right now, I'm at peace, and I'm going to enjoy this day. I can't believe you have me standing out there that long. It's cold outside. Well, I wasn't expecting company or Jimmy. Going into the new year, I decided that I want us to be a real family again. And I realized that that, that starts with me. Could you start somewhere else, please? I realize that I have been a horrible mother. And I realize because of that, some of you have done some unspeakable acts. So have you, mama. But I love my kids. Ma, I would like to get back to my family. Do get to the point. Ugh. No more lies, no more secrets, so I'll start first. Tamika, I am sorry. Mama, you're drunk. Yes, and I'm also the reason that Michael left you. I introduced him and Karen.
Okay. You got any secrets for me, Tamika? Well, wait. Uh, how could I forget? Um, I do hate you. But you know what? I don't think that's much of a secret. I have a son. We all know Genesis is yours by now, Tanya. Tell me something I don't know. That's it, mama. Is it? You see, I never bring Jimmy around, let alone do I come to y'all's houses for Christmas because I have my own life to live that doesn't involve my children. But I got a call from my grandson, Brian, and he told me that he was grounded for a year. Tough titty. He also told me about an argument he overheard between you and Tanya about who Genesis' father was. Now, imagine my surprise. Um, Mama, what are you doing? Mama, what the hell are you doing? Ma. Ma. What are you doing? Oh, baby, 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 baby. Shut up, Jimmy! Tanya, who is Genesis' father? See, you and your sisters have this thing where y'all look at each other whenever I ask a question like y'all don't want me to know. Mama, you are scaring us. Good. Now answer my fucking question, Tanya. Who is that boy's father? I didn't sleep with anybody. Well, that's a lie, Tanya. You sleep with anything that lays eyes on you, whether it's male, female, or animal. Mama, that is enough. No, it's not. No, as a matter of fact, I need more. This ain't enough. This is not enough. Jimmy, did you sleep with my daughter and get her pregnant 17 years ago? Come on, baby. I wouldn't sleep with your daughter. I know better than that. She slept with me. Damn. 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 Yeah, go ahead and get a baby. She done violated. Ma, look. I can explain. It wasn't... It, uh, oh, Ma. Ma, what? relax. Ma, Mama, it's listen. not that serious. We can talk about this. Let's just... You say we're a family. You want to start fresh. Let's just all... Mom. Baby. Baby, what you doing? Baby. Is it wrong that I wanted my mama to shoot me? I mean, take me out, because I am done. <sighs> my mama did go to jail. She shot Jimmy two times in the arm and thigh. Unfortunately, he did survive. Somebody please tell me how my morning went from peaceful to bloody. This man bled all on my kitchen floor, and I gotta clean it up. <laughs> well, I hope y'all are having a Merry Christmas, cause I'm not. So, I'm about to go to the store. I need you to watch Brian and Kyrie. Tamika, I am not watching your kids. They are not my responsibility. Damn. Not only do I have a toxic mother, but an abusive one too. One that can't aim. Savon, I've been told you you can leave my house whenever you're ready. And go where? Right! So the next time you decide to tell me what you're not going to do, think about where you would go if I kicked you out of my house. I already have plans. Well, they have been delayed. You will watch my children until I get back. Then you can proceed with your plans. Okay, Tamika.
Ma, did I just hear you tell Savon he had to watch me and Kyrie? You did hear that, yes. Since when do I need a babysitter? Since your fast ass had a 23 year old grown ass man stop by my house looking for he you. He was 25. Your brother is watching you and I am done with this conversation. Can I at least have my phone back? For what? Savon has a phone and will contact me if there's an emergency. What are we, five? No, but you are an out of control teenager who needs 24 hour supervision. <sighs> Mama is having Savon babysit us. Mama, you can't even control me. What makes you think Savon can't control me? I will beat his ass. Oh, second thought, Mama, leave them with me. I wanna see something. Savon, don't you be in here putting your hands on my child. And Kyrie, I will turn you every way but loose. Test it if you want to. He acts like that because you don't put your hands on him enough. Well, come on, ho. Come put your hands on me. Come teach me a lesson. I don't know about a lesson, but I will definitely teach. Never mind. It is clear that I can't leave y'all's asses alone. I just wanted to go to the grocery store so that I could cook dinner. But you know what? Y'all's asses can go ahead and help yourselves to whatever's in the fridge or the pantry. Or y'all can starve. Savon, what you want to do? Mama is still here. Oh my God. Good morning. Mm, it's really not. Have you decided what school me and Kyrie are going to? You know what, Brian? It is a new year and I am not dealing with the same nasty ass attitude you gave me last year. Find you a new and better one. Mama. You moved us away from all our family and friends and you expect me to have a great attitude about that? I did that for us. You did that for you after finding out that Travis was really gay, Grandma Tammy went to jail, all your siblings testified for her and you testified against her. Now everyone hates you. That has nothing to do with us. Well, I am really sorry you feel that way. Everything I do is for my kids, whether you accept it or not. Look around you, Brian. Do you know how many kids wish they could live like you? Being stripped away from everything that I love? <laughs> they can have that. How many boys have I chased out of my house after you snuck them in? How many antibiotics have you taken because you think you're in love and don't want to use condoms? You are 17 years old living under my supervision, acting like a grown ass man, and you are not. Yes. I stripped you away from everything that was bad for you and gave you a fresh start. And I do not apologize for it. Can I have my phone back? No, the fuck you cannot because you are not about to call my family and tell them where we're at. Mama, I'm not. I just want to be able to talk to my friends. I don't trust you. Savannah Kyrie got into a fight yesterday after you left the kitchen. That's why you haven't seen them all day. Their faces are, excuse my language, but fucked up. I'll be your personal snitch again if you give me back my phone. You will also stop giving me a hard time about us moving here. Fine. I'm not convinced. I was saving this for a rainy day. Why do I need my phone? Savon gave his baby mama Kenya our location and he plans on flying her here so that she would be forced to let her live with us. I just thought you should know. Find out everything you know and report back to me. Will do.
Hey, Ma, uh, can I use the car real quick? For what? Uh, just to meet up with a friend. Lies, we just moved here. You don't have any friends out here, Savon. Was there anything else you needed? You know what, I'm, I'm gonna just take a lift. <laughs> to where? Where are you going? You don't know anybody out here, Savon. Everything you need is inside this house. So where are you taking a lift to? Let me just go ahead and burst your little bubble. I heard that you've been trying to get your little bitch Erica here. And I'm assuming you need the car to go pick her up from the airport. Her name is King, and I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, you don't? Oh. Oh. I intercepted her flight that was supposed to land here in the next 30 minutes. I made sure the little bitch couldn't board the flight. Now she is stuck where you left her. You were going to bring that bitch in my home and not tell me, Savannah? Ma, she is carrying your second grandchild. I don't give a fuck. You don't want Versace around, so Kenya won't be coming around either. Tired of dealing with your hoes. You know how many bitches I dealt with last year because of you? Do you know how many abortions I have paid for because of you? Ma, this is different. Me and Kenya are engaged. Oh, then go live with her. I can't. She stays with her parents. Interesting. They don't want you living with them, and I don't want her living with me. She is pregnant, mama. You keep saying that as if it's going to make a difference. She nor that baby are coming up in my house. You are more than welcome to go see her or find a way to live with her. But your shit is no longer coming in my house, Savon. I'm tired. Call me a monster. I don't care. You have put me through a lot last year. And I still let you stay with me at your big grown age. And yes, some of it I did allow. But this year, you won't be putting me through a damn thing. I will kick you out first. Oh, and another thing. If you put your hands on my child again, I will put mine on you. Kyrie swung first. I don't give a shit. You're the oldest and I hold you to a higher standard. Keep your hands off of him. Get out of my kitchen.